An electronic inside of a bomb site that is about to get pinched from two different angles, and they need to win the first fight. Device will take down Perfecto Electronic in the pit. Can he stand tall one last time? He lines them all! Oh, no! A beautiful spray! Electron is in! It's it. 16 14. Now he do it! It definitely caught him point off guard. It cost him the round. It's those little micro adjustments, those little mind games. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! Face crack! That is ridiculous! That doesn't make any sense. And Keto and Tizian have an arduous task ahead of them, tentatively moving back and forward. Sappy takes the opportunity to come out into the open, and Tizian now, last player standing alive. They need him to play that hero position perfectly. There's a rotation into heaven with the aforementioned scout for Cadian. Picks up the bomb. They know that he doesn't really have, realistically, time to rotate to the other side of the map. So he has to sit this one down. Tizian with another frag. He's picked up. Oh, oh, oh. There's the clock. Collectively, big can wipe the sweat off their brow. And pat Tizian on the back. So they just don't want to fight there for the minute. Dupree down. Oh, actually, it's device instead. Two big headshots to slow them down. Dupree still waiting oh in graveyard. God. He's going to stand up, just popping out of the box. Oh. And he lands one more. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. Taking down another one. Dupree with a beautiful triple. It's only so long you can hang out up there if you're Cirque. Before things start to get a little awky. Oh. That he's going to actually take down Gratisfaction. Hello. Legly as also take out Jacob. Woo. It's a third Azure. Bang. Oh my goodness! What a shot! See, look at Tabson South. He's even dropped a nade. Stop that. Hi. Twist finally goes down. It will fall to Sears, and he's hitting some good shots. Very good shots. A double. Hunted now. Oh. Nork on ramp. He taps away. It's a good duel. He double up, and he hits them both! Sears, and what a round! He actually hits the final bullet. Just consumed by the void. Shox is going to run out from Palace. Finds a player completely blind to the form of Nico. Cadian's getting covered. Oh. With the 4K! Incredible fourth frag! That headshot onto Apex is what dreams are made of, and Borup will close. Runs out beneath him, too. Uh, man. Oh. We got angles. We got angles. Let's see it. Automatic taking a shot. He has no way. This is a huge round here for Taco. Finds the one. Gets that second as well. Brilliant, but he loses his teammate in the mix, and that's the bomb dropped in connector. He has to go for the hero play here oh. with 30 seconds left. Some fancy footwork on his side, but oh, he's caught in a crossfire. Sam missing the shot gives him an opportunity, and there's the follow up. Taco can oh, absolutely clutch this. He, he can knows that guy told jungle. this. He's going to plant for CT. Bomb has been planted. He has some space to move right now. He's going to move towards jungle. Oh, this is unfortunate. Does he have any way? There it is! Taco! Quad kill clutch of a third map attempt here in the finals. But they've lost the player immediately, and these CTs, they can smell victory, so they do force the issue. Zanteras charging up into the tunnel, oh! sprays down three bodies, and Malta, one versus five with a deagle. You have no chance. Big have done it. They've taken it by storm. They charge their way into this. It's them. Big, and Aussies go home. Best performing player on Nuke. And a pretty rough bunch, if we're being honest. And Glaive's got a fourth. He could be on for the ace, but Saiwu takes it away from him. 30 seconds. Low HP, has the bomb, but no idea as to where the remaining CTs are. Flicking up into the header device. He has enough time to feasibly clutch this. And Esther Tag is the last line of defense on A. He'll be playing this one a little bit more passively, a little bit more patiently. Hell, just give this fight away to Zaiwu. Wait for the cavalry to arrive. Make sure you double peek him simultaneously. Zaiwu so nearly lands the no scope, but on one HP, he's still alive. He's still here. He's still kicking. And you cannot disrespect this what? man because he will punish you. Storm Zaiwu comes in and leaves nothing but carnage in his wake. That's outrageous. Trying to catch one and he does. Flame has gone down and out just perfecto and simple. He needs a multi-kill, first found, twist aggressing. They have to double peek, he's getting his shot, he's hitting oh! another one! Simple, no, simple, that's unbelievable! What in his name, number one in the game, he's done it again! RPK hopes to bring it back, but he's just hiding in the back of this bomb site, dodging the grenades as Zaiwu continues to walk closer and closer, but Flamey is his kryptonite again! Oh! 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 
kick kicks, kicks three. three. Then just do that. Are you kidding me? For 15, for match points. They are keeping an eye on him, but there he is, blindsiding Apex, caught looking the wrong way. That actually now opens up this vent rotation. So there's a lot more bodies in the vent where that came from. Down goes Zai Wu and it's left to shocks. This time, it's a big clutch again required, but no longer is it the 1v1s. It's a 1v4 turned one on three. Four shocks to try and pull off. Surely not. Oh, oh, shocks, so you're not meant to win these. He's not meant to win these, Blame F. The last man left standing. Shocks on for the ace. There is no way he's landed the dink. This cannot happen. This cannot happen for shocks. He's out of there with the bomb. Up towards the vent, trying to fake Blame F out, but those shots have given it away. Oh, Shocks might him. have it. Shocks has got it. 10 on the board for Vitality, and this guy is the clutch king. My, oh, my. Cool as a cucumber. You Look wouldn't even this, know dude. he's just done it. You wouldn't even know it's just happened. If Kova wants to finish this out and make this go all the way to the third map, but yet again, they'll try and push through Cat. We've seen this time and time again, and we'll see it once more. Six has tried to get up close and personal, and this actually could be monumental. He's pushing out through the smoke and could couch a lot of people off guard. Let's look at this place. Ooh, they have no idea he's there. All the space comes down. Gets two, gets three, Sixer. What is this? Oh. To do this? Four kills for himself. Oh my word, Sixer. The aggressive play works out, and Twixie is all by himself. This is overtime on the cards here. Sixer with the fifth. Oh my word, the ace comes through. And what fashion to do it so. Overtime now calls for LDLC. All through Ivy. One man through to all of my Sephroglis. And they will be swimming this A bomb site. They have the group positioning Sonic around the side. From old bomb is just snapping them left and right. And oh god, the headshots continue here as Sonic is just. Raining so dominant in this train yard, and that bomb is under control now. And it's gonna be very difficult for Subrosa to find a way back into this one. Sonic's been on the pistol DM. James, he's uh, he's got himself an ace very confidently, but it's not really going to be enough, unfortunately. Looks like, looks like, duel. What does it look like? It's hard uh -oh. to say right now uh -oh. because he just picked up an oh. AK and he's found another one. No! And another one. That what? is outrageous stuff from Keto. Oh, he's got to be the man of the match. If he's going to close things down like this, it's just one leftist Nico around the corner. Oh! And Keto's absolutely ruined them. And now, unfortunately, Beamass, it was a two-pronged assault. He does get tagged by Poison, leaping now from the balcony. Gives him a chance to isolate one. 15 seconds, he'd need Poison now. Just a Glock. It's just not enough. It's just not enough, but he's made it work. Switches to the AWP. Beamass, oh! you are insane! As he pulls the 15th out of absolutely nowhere. Here we've got it, the big peak down the lane from the trains. Taco takes to the top, Ethan drops him. Sir, combat offing, looking for another, Woo! and he slaps back KNG up third. Man. Cirque is out of this world. And now while TRK tries to claw this back, he's gonna jump <laughs> right into the scope. You can't stop the rock, baby. Lee, we're in with a chance. Good nade there though, taking damage off Percy, Alakez, and Radifaction. Flames, flames, one, two. Oh, flames! Oh, come on, get the that's four, what mate. I want. That's what I want, flames. I really like that flames. Okay, oh, come on, go for God. the ace. Why not? They lose their orb. They've lost all of their rifles. Oh, and then Tenops gets dropped. Ace clutch oh. from flames. That he deserves. That what an absolute beauty. Unbelievable. Uh, the only real saving grace is that Floppy is quick on the flank. I don't know if Sonny's going to be able to do anything here, but here's the peek from Floppy. Sprays down two, gets into that 1v2 situation. He's got to be careful. There's a man behind, but he finds that kill as well. Leaves Zipix all on his own. Clutch master to finish it off and may actually just go for the defusal. He spots him a little bit further away, just trying to bait him in. Doesn't have a kill. He finds a kill as well. What a sick play coming out from Floppy. A one versus four to give them their eighth round. Taking down Kenny in the middle. And there are all his shocks is on the other side. Oh dear, if either Jax or Hunter goes down, that's it. That's a disaster. Jax is on his own, and they know exactly where he is. He's trying to escape, trying to reposition, just to make it a little bit tricky, but he's gonna have to get at least two more kills here before this round is even close. And there's one of them hiding inside the smoke. He oh. might be a genius. He's taken down the suture, and now the pistol's out. What a godlike play from Jax, and he's still baiting them out, Whoa. continuing on top. What Whoa. a god! That's the ace from Jax. I've never seen anything like it. Dark's about to get very hot. Frozen's forced out. Oh. Nearly lines him up. Chris, it's not a plan for you, but you've been having such a performance. You got anything more for me? Nades. 
And another. He's trying to evade it. Oh, Chris J is just popping off. He needs one more and he takes it by force. Chris J will not go down, but with a whimper, Astralis are shut down by the Netherlands representative. That's crazy stuff. One by one, they start to go down here. You can see they're being overwhelmed by some of these little set pieces from the CT side. Yet another kill for Buster. A 2v4, unlikely a 2v1. Look at James positioning. He was so ready for that before he even zoomed in. Issa thrown into a one versus four. He's already made it a 1v3. And if he wins the duel versus Jame, I would give him a chance. First down, kick it gone. No. He knows where Buster was. Oh he got the God. headshot. A one versus one. The flames lick him down even lower. 14, James holding the cross. There's no way. It's a left eye peek. Okay. Bomb will be picked up. 40 seconds. What do you do here? Is are you really just oh going to give him the fight? Oh, my God. He missed the shot. Now he gets another chance. Issa for the ace clutch. And James missed the shot. Issa, you ballsy boy. James dropped down. Issa knows it. He's looking to bring it home. Oh, and no. Issa is an animal. Nine for OG. He had no right to win it. Oh, and he's full blind. Entries out long into A. Junior forced back by the Molotov. Nice shot onto Twist, but there's so many more. Junior up for the task, up oh for the God. triple. And then he's now being split from the cat oh. and the long. <laughs> Junior with them all. Wow. What a monstrous hold from Junior. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, well Shots is going to take down one before he gets eliminated and that's a clean open bomb site. He didn't go for the default plant, that would be the only safe plant. Went for a risky plant in the open and gets punished really hard here. Keto, I'm going to take that player down. Oh, oh what to do? He might just do it. Oh, oh Keto! What? That doesn't make sense, but all right, what? he'll take it. That's so fantastic. How on earth does he actually make that work? Juan with the quick trade on to Obo and a four versus three now. 37 HP on Percy, 40 on Juan, but would it be enough? Oh! Oh my goodness, Config with a deal, even tags up one. Make it three for Config. Can he go for four, Rollin? Don't peek him. That's a bad idea. No Molly Config out. He's going I for can't. it. Config I can't. I can't. Four maniac. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. Someone come in. Barrage into Amanex cross it. See how he handles it. And he was expecting the flashes. He ends up just getting humiliated. Staring at the wall, Kenny. He's looking oh, for more. And what? this is phenomenal stuff. Holding the wolf from the door with an orb of all weapons. He finds another one, man. I th I, he's, he's already gone above and beyond. Flashes. Looks like he wants some more. Rops is on those close boxes. He does drop in. And Kenny, he's doing it all. Oh, oh, it's Kenny. Yes, on. baby. Never forget the name. Four kills. He finds G2 the ninth by force. The waiting game is the way MIBR are going to slip away with this. I mean, at least they'll find the plant. A Molotov down on... Oh, oh he stopped it! Four, Taco three, has no time! Five. That's sickening! I'm not sure if he may have been spotted there by TRK, but he's still going, trying to slide into those DMs. No one answering, though. It might be all looking to block, but he's persistent. Nifty, still alive. And there's the bomb 1v1. He's doing it. And again, time for the team to swap it a miles away. Nifty still. Did he just get a decoy? Oh. Nifty looking for one more VSM through the smoke, but no. Has he done enough? And now just Rush and Oboe left. Only Rush now in the 1v3. They're in the site, but no one's on the bomb yet. Rush trying to hold on. Oh, he's got them all! Rush, what a way to take it! 16 for complexity, and Rush digs them down, baby! Nico, he is hungry for frags. Comes running into elbow. A four versus three to play to their favor. Utility to work with two. Best case scenario is four rounds on this CT side. But looking dire. As they're rejected off of ramp. Brokey's gonna try to play this post plant, give cover. Stewie's working in on him, and this is the duel that really matters. Team Liquid picking it up. That's gonna put Rain into an awkward spot. Cold trying to cover short. He too toppled Rain. Oh, oh another tap! Oh, Good night! Oh my god! Phase win another oh my god we call those raindrops <laughs> yeah yeah the pitter patter the raindrops the one taps oh man eliciting the tears of liquid that's just beautiful
Of course, more headshots even beforehand. One, two, three. Wait, that's an ace. It's spitting, yeah. Oh. Excuse my manners. Oh, you Could heard it. Kill them. There it is. It goes high. Rain off of the side. Takes two. And look at the damage off of the utility. Bombs dropped on top of it. Phase. They are staring a 16th round in the face. And they're just going to desperately try to sprint in. This one's over. That's very strange. Oh. It's going to take him a while to get there. Actually, he's up on the heaven position now. And here it is. He's got so many players. I think it's hard around inside here. As he gets to the 3k. Oh. Easy frags there. And now it's up to Brolan with the Deagle. No Kevlar. Has to oh, hit some bomb, insane though. shots. Oh, oh there's, there's no time. time. Oh, he's still getting Brolan He's still getting frags. Oh, oh, go oh, with oh, with three. He didn't even need to do it. Way. Oh my god, what on earth is that? What are that? you doing? Oh. He's like 10 years old, man. He's an alien. <laughs> How's he got these skills? Oh, talking about that. This has been painful. Fairly, fairly painful. As they hit by the off guard, the flashbang works well. Bialy, oh. that is a spray down coming from the god himself. There he goes with the double flash. Who just who sent that through? Apex again, a gift sent from afar, and it set up so much success. Only two remain for the tease. <laughs> Unplanted. Drops could really do with a quick one, and he does. Lovely. Drops is down. Frozen left with a peculiar task. That's great. Apex gone. Instantly looks for shocks. Knows there's going to be more, but now on the bomb is Suta. How do you get him off of this one? He knows he's sticking it. He's got to go now. Frozen! That is insane play. That was an ace and a post plant 1v4. Every eco round, no matter how little invested, seemingly a three on two, a five on two, right? Every single time, still winnable. Fallen needs the ace clutch. He's got uh -oh. two. Uh -oh. oh, come on, Fallen. Yeah, the blood's flowing now. Fallen, oh. another. Oh, oh, he gets oh it. The God. ace for Fallen. And my goodness, MIBR. They almost throw it away, but not with Fallen in wow. the server. They tried to crank that dial, but most sports just crank their necks. It is only Glaive left, and he is going to find Vmas at least inside of the site. Chris J creeping through. Smoke goes down. And Glaive, well, if he had the bomb. Oh, maybe he doesn't need the oh, bomb. He looked in that direction. He knows. He knows. He's got an inkling. How is he reading this, though? Okay, maybe he doesn't know exactly. Let's see if he pulls him for. Oh, my God. If he's he gonna wins sit this. Here, if he's he gonna wins this off crosshair placement. <gasps> he's going to sit here, and he is going to shut oh! down. Glaive, baby. Ah. The Fnatic are being out-aimed and out jeweled for the first time, it feels, in this entire map. And with Crimson Golden about to walk into another crossfire. Hard to see how Golden can somehow remedy this situation, but he's gone in for two. He's weakening Vitality's economy. He's moved on to 14 and 4 with 93 ADR, and he might even be on for a clutch as well. Has a flashbang, but is being pincered. Living on borrowed time. Apex about to collect any second now. Has the timing just worked against him, though? As Golden goes behind the pillar, I think Apex may have missed his window of opportunity. And now Golden can stand his ground a little bit longer. Not anticipating both players over on this side. The IGL for Fnatic is a star player. Momentarily just destroying Vitality. What the hell have I just watched? For Fnatic to do. 2v4, it just doesn't seem possible, especially with the angles currently being held. Nice shot from Golden. He'll start off onto one. It gives his teammate some space and Golden goes huge again. He's returned to the table, but there's one more left to find. It's RPK, the tank, trying to make his way through the window. It's a tight squeeze and he's not going to get it through. It's Golden again. Four kills, the same as Inferno and Vitality. They're going to be having nightmares about this man tonight. He can plant in this. He started that before the Molotov. In fact, Molotov's not going to reach him and he might chase down and at least get one. Good start. Aggressive. Finds out Flamey. Not done no there. Way. Sees the play no. on the tracks. He's actually got simple down. We know this guy can ace. We saw it in New York. He's got it into a one on two. And he's actually sliding away. Oh. He's got another shot on Boomich. Is this guy up for the play of the decade already in 2020? He nearly got it in 2018. As Chris sneaks away, Electronic is found. He's baited him out. He's got the time in his favor. What an ace clutch this would be. He's got the bomb off the situation. Yo! And he's got Electronic oh! down. Put it in for play of the year already. What a clutch from Chris. Unbelievable scenes, Matt. Chris J in a one on five. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. He's out of the server early on, though.
It's up to J.O. to hold this long possession. P2000 is good for the first kill. And the second, then the third. J.O. going absolutely nuclear. He's going to get them all. It's an ace on the long hold. He was there alone, Dinko. That should not be happening. So many players about to round this corner, and Kenny's gonna just have to hit some heads. He zanks for them, and it's just the first. He's able to fall back. He's got to put his we weapon back together, and he will. It's a good time flashbang, but he knows the magazine's low. Now he's got the knife out. Oh. It's a stab onto Issa. Oh, oh my and god! And the headshot onto Volda. Hunter's gonna help him out from pit, so Alexi B is all alone in a one versus five. Hey, but Kenny S. He'll find him. Doesn't need to overcommit. Needs his teammates now. Don't give away the free frag. Oh, goodness. Next up. It's coming. Two on two. Down to one. Keo looking for a 1v4 to secure match point. Or rather, for them to take it to Mirage. Jack's closing in along and he hits it. I can't believe it. It's only Amanek. Kenny, he had done so much. And Amanek, he can finish it right here. He needs to hit the shot. He can't do it. Keo. They called him the problem, and he's taken the French all the way. What a comeback. Be the case though, Bedito and Corey on this A bomb site. Nades pulled out from Bedito, shouldn't be doing too much damage. Corey's found one, two, could it be three? Yes, it can. There you go, baby. Corey's back. Corey's here to play. And you know what, Honoris? <laughs> you ain't never seen a beast like this one. Nice one. I, I appreciate you trying to sell that way, Sam. I think you, I, you haven't quite got me on it yet, but you know. Listen, JW oh. approves. Legia gonna chime in though with a scout shot of his own, takes down Jerry. We're seeing some, a lot of interesting shots coming out just as the smoke pops there. Leggy is on it though. He's gonna get one more. Did you see him? He surely must have, but might have just said, you know what, doesn't even matter. Just try and get the bomb down. They don't realize there's a guy holding this position. Leggy continuing third scout kill. Wish he had a smoke or something here just to make sure he could absolutely get the bomb plant. They are right on him. Gonna be opening the door surely. He's just, he's just running out of there. Lightning fast, okay. Can he do it? He realizes. There's the shot. Ooh. What? This is sick. Now we get another one. Does he do manage to pull this off? 1v1. There's the molly going on it. He comes off of that diffuse as well. Legia's got everything going his way now. There's a kit on Flit, though. He's trying oh. to toast, but now he's down. To, now he's with his scout what? shot. Now he's with <laughs> scout an ace. shot. He just aced him with a scout. I'd be impressed if he even gets a kill here. I know it's simple, but this is a very difficult task. They're all trained on the box holes. There is a chance for a flank refresh is looking towards that now, but even still, how does he find a timing on this? Yeah. Oh my uh, God. No way. He gets two of them and he spots the third. He hits it. Refresh loses his head and I lose my mind. How? Oh. How? How? But to no avail. Zaiwu holding that secret. Oh, nothing from Maiden to do. A second, perhaps, it's Zaiwu. He's trying to do it all. Oh, Ridiculous! Zaiwu, you just cannot do that. A monster in the server, winning the round all on his own. Four kills, the rest will come. As we do so quickly, I want to, well, maybe not so quickly. It seems like we might have a bit of aggression coming through. Yeah, Kinder. Oh my god. Newest addition to the team showing up in style for the pistol round. That's a triple. Make that a quad. All headshots. Yeah, Kinder. Calm down, boy. Can he get the ace as well? Just do it. There you have it. Oh my god. What a way to start this game, Dan. Um, some of these Sparta players have probably looked up to some of these uh vp players. oh yeah kinda he's got what is it 11 frags two deaths native form is he gonna get a second ace in five rounds this is too much
5 HP and he's about to get an ace. I feel it. I feel it coming, G. There it is. When you're up against that, it's it's very tough mentally to find your footing in the game. I mean, it's just, it's not even fair, is it? You kinda just walks up mid, catches Sotvik nade in his hand, and just it goes from bad to worse. He's gonna double himself up. It's gonna be another two. Okay, there's another race. Flying and Xiao are going to look to pull off something magical on this B bomb site, but they've only got 15 seconds to do so. And getting a bomb plant down won't Ooh. be easy, but there's the first chance. Flying not covered well enough by Xiao, and he's going to have to do it now alone. One on three. Bomb oh. plant has to go down. Oh. They peek him. What? No. <laughs> no. You are not what? serious with me right now. That's an ace for Xiao, and that should never have happened. But I think Snappy did jump peeking for the info. Dupree still fighting. Is this another one where Dupree's able to just single-handedly close this last round out? He's done a lot. He's gotten three, and now it falls to Twist to try and get three or four of his own, I guess, if NIP want to keep themselves in this game. He's going to take a very lengthy rotation, 1v2, and all the time in the world, but that's the only friend he has right now. Ooh, Device is going to hear this. Device has heard him rotating. Ooh, but Twist playing the mind games, and Device on the angle. Oh no, the quick switch, it couldn't be worse timed. He gets the kill anyway. And a 1v1 now for Twist, an AWP in hand, his weapon of choice, three points of health. And a 1v1 versus Snappy. Yeah, Snappy is just, you know, rolling the dice at this point, right? He doesn't want to move. And, you know, as a, as a CT in a position like this, you know, obviously it's the wrong call, but I think Snappy makes the right call by not moving. You don't want to be caught on rotation uh, as Twist picks his sight, because at the end of the day, you know, it is 50-50 to a degree. Snappy, unfortunately, the, the problem with this position is it's so far away from A that he won't be able to, like, walk through CT. He's just going to have to run. And now he knows. 10 seconds, he's not seen anyone. It's got to be A. There's the plot to guarantee it. And Snappy's going to run on the flank. This is a better idea than going CT. It's very loud if you go up those stairs. And Snappy, oh, is he making noise? Does Twist know? I think he does. He's heard everything. Twist is in the three position. Snappy's not going to check it. And that is the clutch. Twist showing up here, man. He's looking good. Device still sitting close. Looks for the trade. And Rez gets caught looking the wrong way. It falls onto Twist. Once again, Dupree up through short. Twist with a hell of a flick of his own. And down to the 1v1. This round is KO. But Twist is going to deliver the clutch. NIP, 12 to their name. A damn good try from Magisk. It's down to the two on two. Yugi and Dupree armed with only USPs right now. But an AWP's been retrieved for Dupree. Oh, 1v1 as Yugi was somehow able to remove a man before he goes down and it's Twist once again. He has clutched so many of these rounds to get NIP here. Is it going to be wow. another case where it falls to Twist to do it? He gets it over the line, a 1v2 for a brief Ooh. moment and Twist, the clutch king of Nip, has kept the dream alive once again. 14 on the board now. Going to be able to get two. No, it's just one on four. What a cross. Actually, left wind, a mountain to climb with no his bare hands and an AWP. He, he could find the kill on Minio. That's a head gone, and he's got a bomb on his back now. Leads forward, will be able to drop down and get it planted. Smoke out to the hunt just to make sure Jedka peeks in and no now it's a 1v2. Way. It's suddenly doable. Molotov over towards heaven and Snatchy's rotating back down towards B. He goes. Does he have time? 10 seconds on the clock and as it ticks away, he's got it. He's got the bomb plant. That is going to be enough time. It's a perfect spot as well. He's got two that flashes to work off of. Now he's going to be peeking in. Gets another. Now it's a 1v1 and there you go, Snatchy. Takes it away and you'll be seeing Snatchy. Over in the lower bracket final versus Sauce. Sprout have carved their name. And Heart Legion, they'll want to punch their ticket and get their opportunity as well.
All the while, Snacks with oh a USP, God. get out up here. Are you kidding? Snacks with an ace from ramp with a USP? That is just straight filth. And if Zantaris can connect a cheeky shot here through this smoke, that would be huge. But the reload is going to give his position away. They know that he must surely be close. He's going to do something insane here. One, oh! two, there's more to be had for Zantaris as they're challenging his position. Oh! There's another! Oh my, oh my goodness, Zantaris is just proving that online especially, this guy can never be counted out. That's phenomenal from him. Uh, they're a bit far. We'll see. I mean, the smoke... Smoke's usefulness will wear out. Flash will go down as he establishes, looks for a kill. There's no one to be found. How long does he stay on default? He's got one flash left over. Still hasn't found an exit route from this bomb site. And Big Clan, like a trident, coming in from three directions, looking to pierce this site hold. Molly on the mark, and so is the headshot. A second from Zewu. He shuts down Tizzy and Keto with an off, looking to close the distance. Flash thrown towards ramp, predicts the peak, and gets into the cover to clutch. Zewu, incredible 1v3. He grabs it on match point. I can't believe it. That much space was given up. And he took it. We all love. 30 seconds on the clock, and he's going to be joined by... Actually, Azza will take the bomb instead. Gratis faction with a kill. But Stanislaw doing a great job. Turns around, and he's ready. One more headshot, and that's the bomb back oh. there. Stanislaw to kill every single one coming through. A fantastic quad kill. Working on the ace, and he will get it. Stan the man. They are getting themselves ready with a smoke put in place. Biddy, I think, is going to be the man to go in first. As the deeper peak comes in, he catches one, instantly falls back onto the ramp now and just hopes to be able to delay further. That's a mad cross. But it's actually probably going to work in his favor now as yet. Yeah, they aren't quite ready for the up on the corner. More to come. Oh. Stadoto just taking all what? of the kills for himself. He wants to what? end it with the ace, and that's what we get. <laughs> oh, wow. Perfect way to end it, honestly. Yep, too many players to handle. They all come at him at the very same moment. RPK. Meant to be slain, but oh, oh he connects oh. three! USP taps and Zaiwu! Yeah. Or simple to catch Zaiwu crossing one more time. Still, we got a bomb plant for Apex and a headshot on RPK. Electronics waiting just on the other side. You can see Vitality getting a little nervous, wanting to go for the peaks, and the timing's there! The spray Ooh. hits two! Oh, the P250 taps! No way! He gets it again! He did it again! I guess you see the intention with that oh. sort of thing. Kenny and Jackson combination, though. Finding two heads and tearing them apart. So now, it's a little bit of a threat on board. Kenny's got himself the orb. Hunters, of course, still got that M4. So the T's are up against it. CT is not safe. There's a player by Ticket Booth. Two towards okay. jungle. Next is in this one. Nico with a double. He's got to line him up again. Oh, the reload. And now the 1v1. He needs the ace to keep this safe. It. He does it. Nico, the timing could not be better for him again. But damage gets one. Trade is in. Device there with the AWP has really come alive in overtime here. Brokey pushed back and he can't finish the job. Olaf has to do it on his own. They don't know and oh. they almost line up. The Deeg is out. The plant is in and Olaf has to win a one on two. Oh, that nade is huge. Both these players in the 1D realm now. And Olaf here looking to we wield this deagle to effect. They both hold beneath for the drop. Olaf, how on earth is he expected to navigate this one? This isn't, there's the AWP, mate. Have it, take it, oh, take the AWP, take oh, it. But you're not yes. taking Olaf, wow. he gets the clutch done. We call that the simple. Losing two players without dealing any damage and taking even more damage here, actually dealing damage towards their teammates as well. Good frag from Pizzola through the smoke onto Valder, but MBK connecting on Durkep's Alexis with the nade tools. Pizzola does manage to answer back once again. He's gotten a triple for the round, but he's the only one to get anything done. The bomb has been dropped over by Pool. Not a whole lot he can do about this one. Does have the potential though. But a good setup from OG, both players. Pretty much right next to each other. Pizzola going for the shoulder peak. Gives away the position of one of the players at the very least. And he forces them back with that molly. Again, they're lining up. They're actually lining up completely. And he finds the first. Gets the second as well. That's the ace for Pizzola. The big start for K23. The first kill that these two teams have found against each other on this map. And Ponchek finds the second, oh! turns it around for a double of his own, even standing as the bomb makes its way to the B site.
Oh, Sparrow, though. He can at least try and find a pick, but Ponchek, he's still fragging away, JB. Oh, oh, okay. He's oh, on the end. Oh. Ponchek has found him. What an ace coming out of the pistol. Oh, my goodness. Where's the crack off? That's a way to start Mirage. Uh, but you got to draw a line somewhere, I guess. Only good for that one week. NBK is going to be in for a bit of a tight uh, time here. Whoa. Nicely done. Point blank. Finds one. Gets a second. A third. Looking for it. And he gets the fourth as well. French CS. <laughs> if you want to bet on them, you can. Might not be the most uh, exciting bet for you at this point, but we'll see. The pistol coming through. Nork to defend, Ooh. and he nails the first shot. Oh. Second, maybe the third. Get right. Trying to find some form here. Rez will be with Nork here. It looks like the bomb's down. And can Get right even get close to him? He's going to give it a good shot. Nork's found another one. Anybody no, else? No, 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 no. He's no, going no. for the ace. Oh, <laughs> he gets five, six kills. He's got the six K. Unbelievable from Nork. Six kills in the round. How does he do it? It's mathematically impossible. Yeah, impact player, but you got the it's six kills, not five. So huge. But Nafani now in position with the aforementioned Jewel Barrett is waiting for a flash. It never comes, doesn't need it. A little too little too late. Jo's already lost his life, and now they're forced to push in, and it's the Julies again that come out ahead. He goes in for more. Every single second that he stores them in banana, Namiga knows the possibility of them being flacked in, and Nafani's going from strength to strength. It's three kills, make it four, oh! and the ace with the dual Paredes. Oh my god, that's such a sick play, and you can see how hyped he is. A bit of a tag onto Letney, but again, will not make too much of an overall difference. Esperanto does get the return, though, and Neo... Oh, Neo! Oh. Neo! <laughs> Rolling oh. back the years, the scout Baby. triple headshot, all three. We see the difference now. He is aware. Oh, my God, what an adjustment. Goodbye, Dexter. Now 20 and 9, and oh. Keto just one tap. Oh. Down. Cat into Malta 2. Make it another. Very well could be. Zara Renegades trying, trying as they might to get their footing on this beast site. They've been completely turned around. They've been completely turned inside out. Pat, God damn. blown away in the wind. Tapson. Avanzan por Sapo, el resto de los jugadores. Habilitación de Johnny para su compañero Reversive. No, para él, para, él. para él mismo. Cae frente a Rock, queda Johnny uno contra dos. Ahora porque descontaba el primero de este uno contra tres. Le empiezan a apoyar por Sapo. También revisa Cemento porque es donde mataron a su compañero. Uh. Johnny queda uno contra uno. Avanza a poquito. Agachado. No lo vio pasar Johnny. Pero me parece que sí lo vieron a él. Se reposiciona. Retrocede. Le traba la cabeza. ¿Dónde se metió Johnny? Dice GT. Lo está buscando por todos lados y no lo encuentra. Ay, y Johnny viene de arriba. ¡Clavio! ¡No, no, 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 no lo conecta. Salta. Lo va a buscar. ¿Qué? 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 Lianz does return though. Grats in such a prime position, but now he's been Holy. spotted. He's burning just on JKS. Is anyone on the bomb? They've got a kit. No! Oh, the transfer! It's all three! JKS is savage! Justin is savage! That's a triple, and that is the seventh for the hundred thieves. Good grief! Sunny, falling back a bit. Alu with one good headshot to maybe slow them down. Shush has got the only kill so far, and maybe oh. the only kill will get. Great triple from Yampi. All of them headshots with the USP. And now Acor, as you said, he's been having a pretty good game so far, but they're not even <laughs> going to give him a chance. They're running him down. He's trying. Oh, he's no. doing it. Are you kidding me? Quad kill for Acor, taking down Mad Lions. That is so outrageous. This is brutal. Under these, I just have to go through it and hope for the best. The flashbang's affected. They have got through the smoke wall here, but Chris J, he is the final boss of the bomb site. He's got the glow in hand, waiting for a flashbang for his teammate. It could work out perfectly. Flashbang connects, and they have no idea. What? Why do they know where he is? Chris J with the ace. He tapped the first two heads, and they go completely unchecked for the next three. He just killed two. Hey, Serato, eats a nade, but we'll get the plant. Vinny's very deep. Oh, that barrel. I think he gave it away, Stewie's ready for it. And yeah, he's gonna get caught out. Caserato again, having to clutch it out with Henny, side by side, and good night, Liquid. They all line up. I've never seen anything like it. Look at this. Ace for Henny. 
unreal round, and it's found Furia 15. Nico, right into the Krieg. Keto, big play. Xanteras' Molotov was crucial to kill Dexter, and now Hats finds himself. Oh! Spraying the wall and clearing the 1v2. That is. Mwah. We don't have talking horses, but we might have three blind mice as Team Liquid throw that flashbang in and they try and pop oh, out on the back baby. of it. And Liege with the spray transfer. And oh dear, this a bomb site now has just been torn open again. And it's a Liege opening it up. Go on, bud. There it is, number four. A Liege is on for the ace. And Liaz, the last man left standing in the 1v5. Duel Berettas for Dafu. And right now already. K23, especially oh, over yes, here. Yes, Zillian, yes, what? Yes, no way he fights a yes, tempo! Yes, give it to me, yes, No way did he do that. Nice shot from Stanislaw. Now they're all on the catwalk waiting. One AWP and that one Krieg. They do almost line up. And oh, two for one for Acor. Taking down Circa and, he, and he's back for more. He wins the round. An amazing triple kill, putting Mad Lions in the lead and shutting down EG's economy. And that is a heavy sigh from Stan. Here we go. Oh, just the helmet. Tarek's going to be so upset that that's what showed up. Yeah, he had to put that that little extra, you know, fluff it's, on his helmet. It's the reflectors. Getting a kill and trying to transfer it. He's going to have to do so much work here. Aiko with the AWP is now going to be alone and trapped in that corner yet again. 30 seconds as he walks onto the bomb site. One versus two. He needs to be a hero for his team right now. The flashbang taking all his attention away and he knows someone's there. He gets the kill on Sirk and actually falls into the bomb site. There might be a shot at this peaking. Oh, Tarek, that's dangerous. 10 seconds left now. And Aiko already with a double swinging wide. One chance. Not getting it, a second one, and taking down Tarek. A ridiculous clutch from Acor. Yes, he will. He is going to get one. But his teammate will get even more. And see. Wait, will get one. He will get two. Will he get a third one? Yes, he will. The eagle. He has one bullet left. And he's going to be low. He has to get. Bomb. MP now, but he's choosing to make it as a deagle ace. We'll try that, and he's going through the smoke. There's a boost. Oh, we can hear them. They line up for him. Oh, he's going to get the first. Will he get the ace? He's going, not going down, and he has 10 seconds left. Kratos has to survive in order to take it, but oh, he's going at the corner. Four seconds, he has to reload. Oh, there's no time. Until who oh, he's going to get it. That's four and two now. Son gets a one for one. So we know enough now, and Penny's also going to grab automatic. So, Ben Tet. We know he doesn't fancy himself too oh. badly in these clutches, and that's the reason. Very sharp. He's Accuracy like a turret. He's doing it again, isn't he? Open plant for him. He's going to drop a Molotov to CT. Riot can't rotate in, actually, and he's going to set himself up here towards that new box position. Triumph have a couple of smokes to their disposal, so they can chuck that on the bomb if they wish to do so. They're taking their time clearing out ruins, looking for Bentet. They expect him to have pushed into a closer position. Would be vintage here from Bented if he pulls his three on one clutch off, and that's about it. Gen G gonna grab the round thanks to Bented. Well, he used to play for Record Esports, and he's just done that to Triumph Record them out of the server. Bented, if he gets there at the right time, he denies the bomb plant. 25 seconds left on the clock, and he might oh. even still be able to find a way to win this round. He oh, knows Penny's no in way. front of him. Oh, <laughs> tried to hold the trigger for longer, but now he's got that AK. 18 seconds, Mac. <laughs> There's no one here. Shake, he needs to come through. He needs to make a move. And Bentet, he's going to be playing from get right, but he needs to go huge. Five seconds. If he just stays alive after this point, it's good. Oh, oh second. Bentet, he's absolutely nuts. Junior, he's got three seconds. Oh. He's at the secondary. Bentet is a monster. And again, maybe some emotion this time. There you are. When was the last time we saw one of these? Katie, though. Plowing through, gets one, almost a second, but it's FNS falling down. Crashies though, eliminates no. Calm, eliminates the no. second layer, looking for Poland. No. Oh my goodness, Crashies! Four kills, looking for the fifth. It's gonna be Katie to finish it, but He's there's no it. more time. He's done it, Roy. Oh. That's a massive blunder for Riot Squad. They had an opening, they had a window, but it was slammed shut by Poland. Crashies though, makes it a fighting chance. Eliminates KD, and here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. Bomb going down, double op retake on B, up against the Krieg. I can't help but favor the Krieg in this scenario. There are kits, there are flashbangs, but it's Crashies. Wouldn't be his first clutch. Oh, that was dirty, but he's not, he's not expecting Catroy. Oh, he heard the scope, Ooh. he heard the scope. 
He knows now. ZNF. Does he realize he went E-Box instead of inside? Mark it! Crashies again with the robbery. The 4K this time. It's coming out in hole. The AUG spray catching Zappa. Trying to do some damage. The Mal will take him down. But the trades are coming in. He gets the spray. Trying to line up for four. Not going to happen. It's Dazzle with the bomb on his back. Looking for another 1v4 for the T side. He'll get himself two picks with 25 seconds. Considering a rotation towards the A bomb site. Surely he shouldn't have enough time for this. Yeah, look, he has to. There's no time to go up to the A bomb site. So he's after going to commit to B. And 26 points of health, at least if he's able to isolate some of these 1v1 fights, it's definitely possible. <gasps> off angle, he can get the bomb plan, and look how low the- No, the lane! The lane! Oh! <laughs> what a clutch from Dazzle! The HE! Oh. And Jerry and Almas are ready with the crossfire against the Nord of inside the AK. Spray it up, M4 takes it out. Chroman gets a kill, but Almas doubles up. Bomb drop for the triple, not quite. Chroman gets himself two, but he's on for the full blown ace against the CT forces. Scratching your face, Chroman. <gasps> and XC power. Oh, oh boy! Chroman! That was ridiculous! <laughs> Trying not to drown in the Danish murky waters. Device doing more. That orb save worth its weight in gold as he picks up the first onto Naf. Elise first man in. He hears the flashes. He knows fights are about to come over. Device is even here to help out. And that orb, while it is good for one, they give it the respect to get back to the car. That might be their undoing. The short play now from Twist. Oh, oh Device reads it in with the flick, burning alive oh. and the collateral in the flames. The ace for Device. And what a way to put up 14. That is unheard of. Device doing them dirty. And the little spicy sin the tour is so solid. In on this beat bomb site, absolutely tearing through. Denied the A spy Dima, but the round surely has to go the way of SG Pro here. No saving as it is the final round of the half, and Dima's making things interesting. Finds another frag. They're somewhat split here on the T side. Need to not give him anything. Great little Molotov coming in, watching the right-hand side. Drops him as well. And now into the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no. Dima has been playing out of his mind in this series. And this round is the perfect culmination of all of that. His ability to get into this site and now fallen, only just arriving in a 1v4 to try and keep the dream alive. Lands a tag. That nade might finish the job. And oh, fall! Whoa. Lands that shot onto Art somehow, some way. And come on, Fallen. You've landed two impeccable shots to get this down to a 1v2. He's dealt with half of the op of the opponents that are up against him. And now just Yuri and Vinny to be Fallen on the other side. The bomb planted. It's Fury on the clock. Yuri and Vinny slowly but surely getting out through the market. Falling going to clear the back line. Now he knows there's nobody here. Starts to turn his attention back towards the bomb site. They tap the bomb, but oh, Vinny gets man. deleted and fallen. Now just one man left to beat. This would be an impeccable clutch. He's tagged down low, no but he's able to get away. And wow. MIBR, they get the 11th round. Fallen, what a clutch to oh, keep the dream man. alive for MIBR. And well, with having that many players who can entry frag, it's also nice when Device just decides he's going to kill everyone. There you go, oh. falling! What is that? That completely caught me off guard. He's not even broken a smile. He's just digged three players in a matter of seconds. Although he's dinked down to nine HP, that is not the death. And he should realize that there are two players up top. It's a four versus four though with the nade, but he can't get anything, just some damage. And it's not good enough. Is there going to be a boost here? Finnegan thinking about it, thinking about whether he can catch off the bomb plunder, but it's not going to be the case. Finnegan finds him after the bomb has been planted already. And it's a 2v3. Nade goes through. Freddy Frog is tagged as well. Can oh. they bring this together? The secondary boost. They're not expecting it. It's back to a 2v2. And he drops down as well. They don't think that these players are going to come in from below. It's boost after boost. It's boost <laughs> gaming. And Finnegan is completely wrecking this. He has four kills so far. Going for the ace clutch. He's going to be swinging out soon. Relaxes underneath him. Finnegan knows. Finnegan's peeking. There's a P250. He doesn't have HP. Oh. AWB in hand. And Finnegan with the ace will clutch it out. His butter. Take it away. It's not easy. But it's damn well pretty it's going to be supported by cap very quickly though flashes into the site grim blind he can't call for anything does drop the first in though davy gone grim follows up low hp and pollen's dropped two and grim even scared of his behind he's got to look forward because the ace might be on his plate grim shutting down mythic and that is a beautiful hold from short
And Grim now a one on three to close the map for Liquid. Can he do it? That's a pretty big ask. Grim runs into the site and he does deal with the AWP of Flom. Now, Adren over here towards the market Ooh. next up. And now just one oh, man, okay. Grim, my word. He gets it done in the 1v3. It's Gambiter closing in on this A site. But I think Spirit might have a heads up here with okay. Chopper with two Deagle kills, make Ooh. it three. Will he go for four and five? Let's find out. Those two players are hanging out of Tetris. So they're not out of earshot. They're not out of sight. That Molotov, oh, though. Look at him go almost with a fifth. And to the amount of times he seems to go down towards long. I do believe that with at least a decent amount of rounds, this is possible. And Chris, he almost gets two there. He, in fact, he's going back for more. Feeling the confidence is Chris J. And he gets the last as well. This man's come out of nowhere with an ace. JW's holding the angle. I'm waiting for more to come up. And this is a god tier, a genius play for me, sir. Yeah, this is so next level. He just has to capitalize on it and it'll be just fine. Two kills would do it. He's seen all three and yeah, he's just counting them right now. What a surprise it is. He's some of the great spray down and he's gonna get every single one, certainly winning the map. What a genius. He let JW live for so long that nobody even thought it was an even a possibility. Flush up, one versus three again, but he's dropped. What a brilliant round from Isa. Quad kill as well. Molly deep, flash follows suit. Champy sees the barrel. Because Electronic just turned to check behind him, he saw the barrel. Yeah, whoever falls first for the CTs has Champy's oh. attention to try and hold, but they both fall. So that kind of puts things into question. Champy, nice two-piece. And he has a chance to now push up and wrap around the E-Box. This could give him a frag versus simple, and he's gonna nail that one too. Champy, eight oh. to close. He sticks the landing. It does help him get that kill on the gratisfaction, actually. And this grenade, it does actually do a lot of damage as well. And time. Oh, oh no. but JKS, a double kill, even a triple. A oh, fourth. my God. He's going to get the oh, ace. Oh, my gosh. That's filthy. Needs to multi-frag. He's got Zywoo, but oh, not no. Drops into the site. He lives. RPK does well to find one. Enables Zywoo to find another. Now simple. One on three. Charging through the vents. The bomb in his grasp. He's going to be stopped by ramp. Apex, should he get there in time? He does. Oh, he th second guesses the peak. Gives Simple a chance. The bomb is down. The doors are closed. And now Simple can work his magic. He's low. And he's already waving the wand. He's taken down Apex. All the bluff. Opens the door. Executes another. Zywoo's gone. Simple, what are you up to? Some mischief here in the lower site. He's already on for a 4K. Shocks as a kit. He's faked it again. Simple calls the bluff with the doors. Opens it up and executes masterful stuff. Steals the ninth from under their nose. Some daylight robbery as Na'Vi post nine. Aggressive on the anti-eco. Has a rifle to give away, but also a lot of information. And there's Simple. Takes down Zywoo. There we go. Electronics like uh, deploying his shield. That's the bomb. And that's the round. Jesus. <laughs> Another three. Oh, another four. Boomich, who has been playing these positions on his lonesome quite often. Whoa, Boomich, what are you made of, my man? Nothing at this point. Simple did manage to find one on the cat lurk. Don't take back control. Here comes the first wave of smokes, and off of this utility might be dropped. Simple Look at down this. One. This is so deliberate. And now he's going to try and play around this as they push into the site. They're continuing. They're actually taking the site. His own smoke to play around, and it's worked. Oh he isolates God. the jump up. Now he can peek into this Navira. Ridiculous. This is a shooting gallery for Simple. It's practically deathmatch. A battle of the world's greatest. Or is it just the greatest? Simple with five. We'll see how much we can confuse you out there as it will be a uh, long duel. Orp versus Orp. Simple's won it very quickly. Very very stylish start. 21st frag found as Zywu tries to take some initiative. The best map to do it on, some might say. He wants Apex. And he's found Apex just he is a marauder. sleeping. Anyone else? Peek me! They all do. Anyone that presents into his crosshairs is eliminated. Go on, Flamey. A quick one. On to RPK. Simple wants another quad kill. I think he hasn't had enough of them. A 24th frag. He is sending vitalities, practically packing their bags for them. That's a nice shot. And you get a kill as well, Blood. Uh, he was going to stick around. Oh. How is P2C still alive? Oh, there we go. Finally. Oh, 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 oh no! What, what is that? <laughs>
What is what that? Is he doing? From Jam Young. That is disgusting. <laughs> That is the I'm sickest sorry. ears I have seen in <laughs> so long. It does make the terrifying crossing into the bomb site and lives to tell the tale. But this smoke, Jacob barrels in. Stewie with one. Oh, Ooh. JKS lining up a double from nowhere. And it falls onto a liege. JKS navigating this smoke. They say he's a savage, and now he needs to show us why. Looking for a liege, and he's no. going to find it. A hundred thieves, they keep the dream alive. 1v3 for Mr. Savage and Twists. See if your Kindar makes his way into main. There's Molly's on either side. The team Molly will be to delay. And he's caught off by Hooksy, in fact. Didn't quite spot Spools. And he will be exposed to pretty much the entire site there. Not realizing that Buster was already in B. That leaves Hooksy with much to do. A long spray. Got to get that reload in. 17 seconds to plant the bomb. Trying to spot. The AWP will be on the way soon. Oh, Jame now. He's made it one versus one, Hooksy. Managed to plant in the site. Jame on the way with the pistol out. He knows Hooksy's low, but he's not low enough. Hooksy straight deleting. A brutal clutch from him. Four kills in total. Just nice and calm using the sound cues. Eastall will go for a peek from the stairs. Thought he was going to find all three. Not quite. HS coming in with a couple of his own. HS has really opened this up. Oh my god. No way does he get this. No way does he get this. He's got his hands onto an M4 now as well. A bit of utility to boot. The bomb plant going to come in. So, so far, massive damage, massive money. Mopod's going to go walking through the smoke. He didn't spot him, or did he? He's going to come round the side. HS runs out of ammo, oh but he finds the final God. one. And a clean headshot just to add insult to injury. What a round. Might rather save that for the door, but they'll just go fast into the site. Brolin is waiting, and Golden's gone. Ooh. Get right with the kills to make things happen, and Dig are in B. It does burn Halzerk down to the grave, three on three. As this retake tries to kick up a notch and out from the window, it's Flusher dealing with one. Get right still alive. No. And how's he managed that? Four kills in the round for Get Right. And Dig put a fourth on the board on the back of it. Too much action yet. Get Right is awfully low though, and he's kind of the first line of defense. Can't get a tag before going down. The Deagles are in fast, but they are getting mowed over right now. Holzerk though. Other things to say from this man. The fourth man, the fifth man, they're not entirely sure whether he's coming from middle or not, but I think they've got a good idea. How's it? Great angle as well. Looking for more. Cannot miss. I don't believe my eyes so far, Keith. It's looking so damn good. Tag onto Kai. 9 HP. The ace on the cards for Halzerk. He's going to look for it as well. The bomb plant comes in. Oh. But the fifth and final headshot for Halzerk lands true. What a round from the young gun. Then only tickling Sicko to his death. But he couldn't find the second man. Ince just laying in wait around the smoke. And you don't want to be walking into this man, not with an AK in hand. He's got the Zagel in hand. But Gump just even better on the entry. Just look at the staggering as well. Great patience coming out from Gump. But unfortunately, this patient means that Inns able to kind of like slice and dice these angles. He's able to open up and he just can't get what? those angles like that. Because he'll get an ace. He shows the Chiefs boys how it's done. He's gone humongous. You did it once. I'll do it as well. Tizkin taking care of Mantu. This is falling apart for OG. Two players alive. Vissa is able to clear out one towards B. Yeah, OG shouldn't really have much of a chance in this one, especially with Sersen posting up with that AWP. Issa, he could throw the Molly down. That will give him some coverage. Flashbang, Flashbang maybe. is not going to do anything. He finds the frag instead. That helps. Still needs to get the bomb down. Time is running low, but he will get the plant. Two players moving in from tunnels. Flashbang through. Oh, no. the kill on oh, my God. Oh, my. There you have it. How does he expect to have any kind of an impact? Look at that smoke wall. He can see nothing. Has to be over aggressive, and he gets a kill out of it. One more for Acor. Jumping on the box. I take it all back. He's so hard to stop when he's in this mood. Gonna try and see if he could do it again. He's not even afraid. Jumping up. One more kill. And that's the ace. Absolutely disgusting. Trying to buy some time with the smoke. A little bit apprehensive here. Gonna be overwhelmed. But does find the first. Can he convert the second? Absolutely can. Doing so much damage with these Kriegs. The B bomb site oh. is looking strong. But Brolan, he's still got 27 points of health there. A chance to get a third oh kill. God. That is just absolutely remarkable. One on one against the Orpa, wow. the in game leader, the big brain of MSL. And Brolan is on for the ace. How has he done this?
four kills. Double came in so damn fast, and now Brolin's got 45 seconds for a 1v1. But the bomb is down. I believe MSL can see it. That's why he's holding this angle. He will get challenged. And oh! Let's what? go! That's remarkable from Brolin. The fact he's done that, it looked like it was just a matter of fact of whether he's going to get a couple of kills, make it expensive. Two left, one on the edge of the smoke. It will be Olaf Meister giving him the easiest and slowest peak. Nice work from Brokey, but only with a Galil. He's presented three to keep FaZe's chances here on Dust2. Dupree will... Ooh, I think he got spotted. Brokey does peek in and hits a great shot. Now upgrading. Maybe there's a chance for Brokey. What a clutch player he is. He's disappearing to be. He anticipates the long. Can he get on out of cover fast? Can he get out of there enough? Tucks in. Just about safe. He's going to B-Boys. He absolutely is. This looks great for a one versus four clutch. Brokey will get the bomb down. Magisk, he knows he hasn't crossed over towards double doors at least. And we'll see Brokey challenge. He's got him if he actually goes now. He's looking towards the window. Oh, he has no idea. Magisk might have it now. He's assuming he's coming from tunnels at this stage. Oh, he seems to... Oh, did he catch him? Oh, I think he saw him. I thought it was the backpack for sure. He's done it. Brokey. Yeah, he wins. What a clutch king. The Latvian Latvikan. 1v4 keeps phase in it. Peak down middle, Ryan catching out Exotic on his own. And we're going to need more output here from Curry. Shot from Junior. This is looking good for the defensive side. Suddenly it's all Carson. Big gap in that defensive smoke at spawn. There was 40 seconds to work with. There was no rush. There was no panic to go for this play. And oh, what? The second kill completely blinds this great transfer. And it's going to be Carson who clutches it out. The 1v3. A little bit of a celebratory wiggle out of you. Gonna save them there. A faster hit coming in towards mid. Ryan scoped on in. Good for one, good for two, not good for three. But that's okay. He's done his job. Carson with the trade. Holding it down a bit. They're taking control of the library. Taking control of Raj. Penny spots the player out. Finds Phantom. The trade is good though from Carson. And he will gather up in bananas. While once the information is gathered, they're committing to the B site. And Sheikh Zola has connected the first headshot. Now Carson required for another big clutch. If Rebirth won a ninth round, Carson has to dig deep. Neared into the fountain. He looks for a little bit of cover. The first headshot is there. He needs a second to come in quickly, and he's got it. This could be incredible from Carson. He'll fall back into new box, and I'm just playing the time. This could be the most incredible clutch we've seen all day, and Carson oh. has got it. All five kills. There is clutch coming in, and Rebirth reach nine. We're gonna need big pairs. As he's totally streaming in, one HE is gone, and there's the other one. Not sure where they went though, but. What we can see is the headshots being landed by OG. They've got some utility of their own. A bomb's been lost now, and Tizian is alone. A single T versus three of OG, who are all on long along the bomb. Alongside the bomb. Tizian now trying to get those one versus one. So huddling together as best they can. OG being really fiddly, jerky, body. They're going to swing. Oh! oh the first fire. He's actually turned it around. He's ace. with the ace, no less. Ace. That is... If ever there was a time for them to step up, it would be right here. And right now, Tessa's getting closed in on. Does find the first. Hunter's gone. Nearly a third. He's got to clutch it out. A one versus two. They're low. It's certainly not out of the realms of possibility, but so much pressure on someone so new to this level of play. Nice. That's another. Head off of Amanek, maybe Testus can do it, he does it! Big time players making big time plays in big time games. Testus keeps heroic in it. Only person with armor in that round as well was Mentu. The head armor, that is. Oh, Vinny! Oh, Vinny! What on earth? Even Mantu went down there, AWP in hand. Surely not like this. He pushes oh! on out into it. Four kills, four headshot. Vinny saves the day. There is still a solid advantage for Big here. They have control of the site. The only thing is that bomb is in no man's land, but it looks like Vitality are challenging forwards. And now it's just going to be Zaiwu left in this position. In a one versus three, he has a smoke. He could potentially try to smoke that bomb off. It is still in an awkward position here for the T's. They will put that forward smoke. And, oh, there's actually a gap around the side of this. They must surely be checking this out. Oh, and so I was going to take down one. There's just two left here for the French Titan. Azaru presses in, using that smoke finally to cut off one of the angles here. Oh, they've got to be so careful. Cool. Tizian's so low. Any bullet would do him. In and he's got to be really cautious. He's trying to just occupy Zaiwu's time as much as possible. 
while Searson plays around the top of the smoke there that Zyru dropped. Zyru elevates himself. There we go. Takes down Searson. Out comes the USP. He's got to be quick. He's got to force the issue. He takes him down. Zyru gets oh. every single kill. And there is time with the kit to go for the defuse. Zyru, it's just insane. It is just insane that he pulls that one off. And Cold's pushed apartments. Perfect play for FaZe. They have a huge bit of real estate here as they just mow down these B push players. Santaris will trade, but he should know there's a second man here, and he does. Players coming from the market, gonna have a crossfire with that orb. There's nowhere to go for Zantaris. He's walking into death on either side. Nice kill, the spray transfer. He's so fast, he won't hit the shot. Cold has to play retake, and Rain's coming in from the market. Yeah, and it's the fact he doesn't know where Rain is, but that nade's given up the aim of the game. Cold might just catch the positioning here, might just catch the timing. As Zantaris has looked away, Cold has pushed through the apartments. And Zatares goes for the fight, gets it. Oh, now down to the 1v1. And even as time to get the reload off, oh, Zatares back up again. But Cole not able to deal the killing blow. Zatares no. gets it and he gets the clutch. Four kills in the round. And Zatares take a bow. You can see the smile on his face as he... Here we go. Into the site. Good dink. Woxic's waiting for Frozen to come online. Rops does get neutralized. And now the bomb's loose. Woxic doing everything he can on this site. And that's phenomenal. A double kill and perhaps a third. Graz Faction falls and puts it all onto Azza. He hasn't got the health to really make any impact here. The pre-fire wasn't far off. But Woxic, he's jiggling with him, giving him the chance. Ooh. His greed could potentially lose them the round. He wanted the frag, but now he's just got a 50 caliber bullet lodged in his skull. Woxic doing everything he can. And he's got more than enough. A double, oh! a triple. Woxic, phenomenal way to end the half. Mouse Sports, well, definitely need Woxic for that one. That's his best work sometimes in situations such as this. 45 seconds remain. They'll abandon that mid bombs on the floor, but no one's close enough to hear it. And then lining up a Keto now. And this really is the gauntlet run. Oh. Try to make it. Oh my god. Oh. Up against the chain gun. <laughs> and it is absolute brutality. Moves towards the barrels now. Oh. Position on hey. oh. and that is a sexy ace. Pass me the crayons, baby. <laughs> Slightly deeper wall towards Mini, and it'll be Alexi B to take a kill on Esatag. So, really great start here. Five versus three at the moment, oh. and Alexi B will go down, actually, being found through the smoke. Isa, though, still out here. Yeah, and he, he knows. He's just thinking about it. Another kill, and I think they're being... Should be safe at this point in time. Walks to get a one versus three. He's going to have the bomb, sure. He could maybe even get the bomb plant, but then what? Then what, indeed. One minute left. Woxic now dialing in the bomb. And has the ability to reposition. He's thrown a Molotov, he's op he's closed the door. And he wants to take a more forward face. It's not planted for him in this position, so he has to get everybody on the cross. <laughs> he's putting himself in a really troublesome position with this. I definitely agree, and he can't even blame anyone but himself. It's a nice flick to take down MBK. They've already got a smoke oh. up. One more to follow it. Found the death. Oh! A one versus three for Woxic. It's an ace at the end. He absolutely blew up OG. Him. Now it's Henny at the bottom of Banana running up and getting rid of Vanity. I really like the points that Potter were making. Praising Vanity for his input, for his impact on the team. Zeppa, are you kidding me? He's gotten himself two kills, a follow-up gush. Oh my goodness, he's gunning for the ace and he takes it! What an incredible play from Zeppa! Yeah, they're having some success now against Vici. Got it back to 5-4. Zoking playing anti-flash. There is a couple of players oh! in the smoke. Oh, that's disgusting. Zoking a three-man spray down and a perfect flash from Advent. That's Vici in a nutshell. And Zoking has four. Huge. HG as well as the spray down and Dupree will he pick up the pieces. Well, he's trying to do that damage. He's got those players both wrapping and peeking up in oh, front. Sweet. Zip. Oh. What? Oh. What? Yo! 46 HP remains on him, and they are moving faster towards the B side. Centauri is locking things down for now. Tizzy and even moving towards Van, but the Molotov does deter him ever slight. Oh, this from Zen. Zen. He bypasses Searson altogether, and the flank on B is looking deadly. Zen could be everything at this point. He knows exactly what's going on. Three on five or not, make no mistake. This is an advantage for Godsend. Zen gets one, Zen gets two, oh, and Martin has been given free entry onto it this side. Sirson just wondering where did it all go wrong? How did he get here? How did he not kill me in the meanwhile? And Zen 
with that one smoke, he's locked away all the CTs. There's no way for them to come on. Tabson doesn't even have a gap in the smoke that he's so desperately looking for. Zen will hear him, Zen will see him, Zen will fell him down and under. With two AWPs left, all you can do with Big is save, but Kido has something else on his mind, and so does Sirson. Unfortunately, one of those has died, and the other is not long for the world, and Kido will go down. Zen, what an ace. Oh, this is interesting, though. There are no smokes on EG, and Isa has a Molotov, and he's running through the middle. Oh, my God. Alexi B! The UMP overpowering every single one, and it was set up with that man to flashbang. Boomage positioned far forward. Flashbang. Not going to be that impressed. He's actually completely ready for that. It's a, it's a nice idea for this. Oh, he's got the Seuss out. Could he find someone with it, though? He's He's got he's got the right idea. This is everything we'd want. Zeus, MP9, knife, he's, he's got every chance. Just anything but the rifle. He's right behind him. Oh, this is beautiful. He's going to stab one. Jumping on top with the Zeus. <laughs> An absolute god. This, one's, this next one's going to suck. Well, double op in play. They do seem so fine. Oh, look at Boomer. It's just a lacquer his face. Like, I know you guys might be waiting. Zeus is out. He's done it again. He's Zeus, Zeus, and he's back with the AK. Oh my god, what a brilliant ace! That is amazing. <laughs> oh, it's done. Here in potentially the last round. What a couple of shots out of him. If there's one player pushed this far forward, you don't expect there to be anybody else in A main. Forrest wins that opening duel, but he does get traded out. That's fine, I guess. And it looks like he actually might get the bomb down here. So now it's gonna be the three on two retake. Blame F is pushing very far up towards the CT side. Well, he does hold off. He just spots out Freiburg. Now down to the two on two. Exist gonna actually try to get the kill onto him now, and he's gonna finish him off as well. And it's all in Halsark now on the one on two. And Blame F gets the ace, Damn. keeps complexity in the match. Please drop the bomb, and Freiburg has picked up one more. Get right catches the rotation. This is looking like it might be it. It's left all on to Blame F. They've made a major mistake in this round to give Complexity a chance to throw it into a third overtime. But here we go, looking to push the smoke. Halzerk's waiting, and Halzerk will be killed off first. Blamef's got to find a second, and he's able to no. against Forrest. Don't tell me! No. Blamef is going to clutch this out again! He's done it before with the ace to save them. He's done it yet again. Get right's defending his teammate. Flashbang comes up, and they both die! That's the issue. Freiburg has made the rotation in. Okay, he gets that first kill, but both players tag so low. Blame F, he's looking for another ace. Four kills already. And exist. Cowering in CT. I wonder if they're gonna let Blame F go for it. It seems like they are. Obo just flashing his IGL in. They are playing with confidence and it's another ace for Blame F. A little longer. He, he does like a nice lurk into mini every once in a while. Yeah, and that's a possibility. Old oh, device from behind the AC unit. That had to be a great shot. And then the quick rotate over towards ramp because that's the gap that Mouse Sports could use, could abuse. Oh, no way. Chris unscopes and device will see the shoulder and of he hits a third. It. Falls back in with the USP, an absolute animal. Device inside of the ramp room, tearing him limb from limb. Ah, like a wildebeest. Poor Mouse Sports, they're gonna walk right into it. Device, a hell of an ace. Oh, he got all five, my God. But unfortunately, not winning the duel. Now they've got the doors wide open. Do they want to go down through the door or move up through the one that's already open? And top and short, Ooh, Dirk hey! Epps is just popping off. He's got four kills. He's popping their heads. They were too focused on short, and he's aced the pistol round all by himself. But it's going to be three kills to his name. It's a half by. Can't get too carried away, but maybe Street can put this back in the realms. A possibility with a leech who comes out with two. One Deeks onto Amanek and Hunter. 50 seconds. SG at his disposal. And he has control of the bomb. As far as clutches go, Wolfie, this is looking good. Yeah, there is a world where Alij wins this. He's starting to push his way up the A ramp. Nexa and Kenny, two of the high flyers of this G2 roster, still standing firm. Can they hold on? 30 seconds left. Alij looking to clear all the angles. He'll find the headshot as well. Nexa goes down, and it's the stars of the show. Kenny trying to rotate in. He knows this round is crucial. They cannot be losing to these half buys, but he misses the shot. And Alij, the one-man army, four kills in the round. Liquid. Early on, like all five players Free just patch. immediately. <laughs> Free patch, exactly. Arlig's got one 
AWP out. He's not taking advantage of the low HP. And they're like, oh, that's a fight. Oh, I'll take. And they get destroyed. Lined up for him. Not only is it all one player left for Favon, but everyone's still alive for Heroic. There's so many guns they can pick up. Favon's going to make sure the clean sweep does not come into effect. And he's going to dart away with the bomb, which he still has control over. So if Heroic are a bit slow on the rotation, there is still a way back in for Favon. He is full HP. Does still have a flashbang to his name as well. Now, of course, there's no way of him knowing they've completely vacated the site. Now he's going to find Borup. Headshot connects. And Favon's still alive to tell the tale. Now, at this point, Estatag just wants to wait for the rest of his team to make a move around through middle so they can all push in together. If they give Favon separate 1v1 trades, he will end up winning this round more than likely because the firepower is so stacked in his favor. But they're going to be coming around the corner, jumping up. Here's Savin. He's put down, and Favon keeps going. He keeps landing shots. And this is where the lack of a kit and nades is going to hurt Esetag. It's looking good for Favon to clutch this round out. He's going to be coming around the corner, and Favon's been fragged. But there shouldn't be enough time for the bomb. I believe it's going to detonate. It's going to be very close indeed to the defuse. But it's not going to happen. Favon clutches it. Nades come over the top. Welcome. Oh, he turns Hello. away. What unfortunate timing. And that will isolate the execute. They don't check for Grim. And he's able to win. Oh. Four fast frags. And there's the ace to close. Sensational defense on that B bomb site. As Liquid, they do it again. Will this be the one? No, it's not. Impulse re peeks out. Ray Flick and Necro to provide the backup. Baltics left in a 1v4. He does find one, but there's three more to go. The shot's been missed. Not the second, though. Never twice over. Horzak has isolated some deals potentially, but with the vents being mollied off. He's just going to go for the bomb plant directly. He knows there is not going to be anyone coming in from decontamination. He's given himself a chance. Horzak. It was a 1v4. Impulse had dominated them. But can he bring it all together? Holzak. He's waiting for this. He knows their positioning as well. But a smoke is not available for the CT side. Kits are, yes, but the doors are also open. Holzak can just swing out. Holzak's got the first. Holzak's got the second. It's a 1v4. Holzak keeps them in the lead. That's three kills for Grim on this B hold. An anchor for Team Liquid, but a solution in Henny. Two kills in the 1v4, and with 40 seconds, he slips back out. Well, options are actually wide open at the moment. It would be one big rotation over towards the A site if he wanted to go that far. The longer he waits, the more nervous Liquid get about whether or not they should split up. It's in his best interest to take his time here, even if he goes for hitting B again. So really costs him nothing to seek out some information. There are no 1v1s to be found. And it looks like Henny is thinking about going over towards A. The door is open. He'll make the rotation. And they do not hear this. This is going to be a free plant. This would be a 1v4 to absolutely destroy the confidence, economy, and scoreline and stats of Liquid on CT side. And there's a pretty big chance. I'd chalk it up to... You know, 50-50 at this point if he gets a free shot on the first kill. So he posts, and he sees the head, but he misses that first one. Now the pressure's on. Henny, they're getting closer. Three kills, and the fourth! Henrique with a clutch for Furia! An absolute dismantlement of Liquid in one of the most crucial of moments. It puts extra, extra stress on you. Not only do we need to figure out how to win a round, we need to also make sure we don't get out. Oh my god. This play from Chris, it Dude. turns to two. Oh, sorry, Robs and oh. Top of Mid. He's knocking him down like bowling pins. He gets four. Is he on for the ace? He is. Naffle, tuck tail and run. He's back to spawn. Robs, will he find this? Oh, he Robs locks it up. Robs is so damn cool. RPK tucked in on the elevator and Cold Sarah spots him out. This is the first, and that's Zywoo. Biggest scalp done, oh. but RPK's knocking off scalps and handing out headshots. Good grief, I didn't expect that. Vinny here Dude. from the back pit. Eternally blind, it seems. Gives his back up to reversive. The man he needed to, a 4v2, in fact. But little HP for half of the remaining members here for Furia. Reversives looking to nail a one versus four, but the frag grenade takes him down to a third of his original health. And his hands on the op with a minute on the clock. What can he do here?
There's a player up there. Ooh, haircut. And a second, Whoa. gets back around the corner. No way! Oh, reversive! Reverses the situation! And that is Isaris with a fourth round. Kill a lot that Nip can do. This is yeah. much more uh, of a... Oh, no. Where's Perfecto? Kill B, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and it's like, just, just gonna... Just gonna remind you, this is who you're playing against. Four kills. I mean, all one taps. Let's see it. Broken, cut out of the wall. Box and the boys swinging. They're gonna get going. This is B Crunch in motion. Very nice. Kick it now. Oh, that's lovely work from oh. him. That's Go a third. Go, Go make on. it four. Barely Ooh. any bullets left, but he still does everything. Caught out. Can be pretty dangerous, but on the other side, Insta can be as well. Where he's got the lineup, but Coolio is the one to bring them all down. Just isn't working out for them, Rick, so bad. I feel so bad for him because he's, he's also on the bomb side itself, so he can't save. They know where he is. <laughs> yeah. So you're just wondering, why am I here with you guys if you're just all going to be dead? Yep. Is he really going to fight for this? Oh, he's got the bomb? Oh. No. No. Oh, he gets one kill and oh! the second Rixo has a chance for the ace clutch. Could this be the round where he redeems everything? Could it be the round where Ambush come straight back into it? He's planted for the double doors. He knows where they are. He's heard the footsteps and backed off the safety. Now, the only problem is that Torsi has a smoke to work with. And this could be trouble that is brewing. Rixo is waiting. He expects them to come from behind. But the glass is broken and so is cool. Julio's body and spirit here repeaks, misses a shot, but he's so close oh. and so <laughs> well done. The ace clutch, the one versus three. Rixo does it all on his own. Try instantly. Probably depends uh, on the map. Well, if you need more armor, you need more armor. If you need two shots. Uh, Sides able to get a kill a piece. Valder there on this committed position by the sandbags. It's going to be really careful. This is getting pushed from the short, uh, from short and from monster. A little D vitality. No, they, they actually are able to plant the, this bomb. Suto so might go for it now with the assistance of Zou. Zou. So it's like, oh my god, he's going for it. He actually connects some bullets there. Told you, he knows everything. <laughs> he knows he where from everyone's at. I'm surprised his teammate went down there. I think he did take two scout shots and the bomb plant was clear. Simon's so in the clutch though. He's taking a lick of damage here. He's very vulnerable to the scouts. Oh no! Saiwu! Of course! He gets it! That's just Ace. so unfortunate. Ace. Well, they've got numbers over here towards the B site. Let's go, Blame. We heard you roar! And now he's gonna get two more. He's just got to clear all these corners. Deagle shot, just a bit off. Yep, RPK flushed behind new box. That's a crisp headshot. There's the second. Oh, oh there's the third. 1v3s again and again. Is it because oh we're ca it just keeps happening? Flank out and spot out Arky. That's the game now given up for Soul. It's going to be a side emphasis. Oh my oh. god. It's all crisp and concise. That is perfect precision from him. Oh, this is a problem. A big problem now. Look at every second that passes now. Refresh has got a lot to do. He does deal with Flusher. A repeat and a JW frag. That's everything. Refresh the impact. This man has delivered all four and pulls the seventh straight out of the bag. Mad Lions breaking Fnatic. You basically just let off Mobby Star Riders. You give them an opportunity to build some economy. But with these fast plays, I don't know if it's going to be expected. Alex already gone. The AK retrieved as well for Relaxer. We saw how much damage he could do before. He sprays down two through the gap. He should be dead here, but he's going to get a four. Just one man remaining. Oh, right, he gets my. The pit. What is that from Relaxer? Realized because out and about the spray, not connecting Carrigan low, and walks it finishes the job that Chris started. Carrigan gets killed, and that's a nice double for Perfecto. Is there any more here for Na'Vi? A two on three. And Frozen spraying, desperately looking for damage. He does a bit. Electronic finished off by his teammate. Perfecto looking for the ace in the one on two. Oh, and they line up ding, for ding. him. As he does at times. 
And yet now he's found a good bit of success here in an important gun round. But Olaf on for the clutch. We're talking years of experience versus Zanteres who's got his double flashbang and sits posted back by Firebox. Olaf has no clue where he could have gotten off to, but he oh. does tap out that bomb, no kit. So Olaf needs the kill fast enough to jump back upon the bombs and Terra's oh. peaks and dies. And Olaf should have this. An excellent fifth round. GP than we did see before. Yeah, double P. Oh, two people going into pop. Actually, one. The bomb doesn't drop down, or it, uh, it's a qualifier happening, I'll face it. And uh, that's James' name, I'll face it. Oh, but PR gets a dub. Oh, what? What? What the hell just happened? PR with a quad headshot. Doesn't want to fancy them pushing past him. Elise oh, continues the spray. Okay. He does grab that second, but Nico, 1v3, has a player in the open, jumping, hoping, oh, was an oh. fly, and there's the head on display. Oh, yeah. He takes it. Woo. Face Clan winning a round off of a beautiful clutch. Well, he has low health, but he does still have the AK cold with everything to do, just popping noggins. He's cleared three bodies oh! and the fourth. I didn't, I didn't think it was actually gonna, I didn't think he would actually do it. Smoke down towards Xbox, makes it a bit more problematic for Nexus. So there's the flashbang. He needs at least two kills out of a chance in the round. There's the first, not bad at all. Oh! There's the second, it's working oh! out. Right? Oh! Let's go, Nexa! Jesus My Christ. goodness gracious me, he's pulled it off. We said it needs two, he somehow gets four. They've chosen not to contest it. Instead, they've got Nexa not only with the AK, he's hunting the ace. And on the cross, he has to be precise. And Nexa, not only is an in-game leader, but a fragger as well. He does it all in a kiss. Smoke, which is actually giving more vision to Hampus. It is a top hit. Yeah, it's aggressive. Rez been so good at the start of this game, and he's tested once again, one for one. Poison so low. Plopsky spray did connect in the smoke, but already the damage is done. Hampus has caught blame elsewhere. It's really on Oboe. Try and relieve some of that pressure. He does tab away at one. They know Hampus now yeah, kind of walking into his domain. That's just the first and the second. Oh, no way! Obo delivers an ace clutch. The babyface killer pulls complexity back into the realms of reality. For sacrifice. There goes Calix first with a pistol, but there's no traders. Kusta cleans up. Five versus one now. Fenta looking to delete Nifty with the AK-47. Got Kusta to swing or take one in the face for the president. And Nifty takes out two. He's one versus three now. Looking for an ace with a minute 20 on the clock. He could do with collecting that bomb before the smoke goes. There is a flank from Daps with the MP9. He's pretty damn close. And Nifty's only got 19 HP here. So we'll see what he chooses to do. This round could be concluded quickly, unless if he's fast enough straight in the dome. Down to two HP now. Two more for the ace. Oh my god. Nifty, he's so devastatingly strong. His form is excellent. He's been spotted now though. That's gonna create some problems. Again, there's many ways the CTs can play this position. Nifty is wary of a push here from Som, and he's, oh, he's correct. He pays out a couple of shots, the anticipation here, but there's time against him too. He does have to get the bomb planted. The CTs don't have to push him. They can force him to act instead. And indeed, which way will he go? That's the question. I don't know that some will... He's going to hear they're running yeah. there. So he knows exactly what's going on. Well, I mean, or he should he hear not? him from there, but it doesn't look like he did. Yeah, he didn't look like he heard anything. Oh, my God. They're committing to everywhere but A. With the time on the clock, I don't think Som needs to be in this position, really, because the bomb sites are what's important, and A is completely yeah. exposed. Starting to run now, but in the long term, maybe they can pinch the bomb site, so they've got a worst-case scenario in order. Now, with that smoke, you can jump on the box and look over it. I've seen a clutch like this from Apex before, peeking towards a short position and going beyond it. Now, he could be in a number of different places. This becomes super awkward for Genji. Automatic of the AWP moving towards the site. Smokes are up, but Nifty has an angle for a spray if required. So where will they come from? Nifty with two HP, looking for two more for a very unlikely ace. Automatic makes his way towards the site. Has he been spotted? We've got grenades again. He's got that spray angle. Some trying to cover from up top. Has he got the angle? No, he doesn't. Some will make the save. Is there time to oh, defuse the bomb though? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think, think he's is. got it. No. I think he's actually done it. Oh my days! <laughs> what the hell is that? James, this should not have happened. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, this is old school MIBR. They used to love flexing like this with mass op strategies. 
just for no good reason. Nifty, one versus five. He's got two. But where? Oh, he's going to do it. He's got a one on one. Yeah, and this time it's not an AWP. Three of them are peeking him. Taco's got all the health in the world, but he's only got two kills. He hasn't had to do anything this whole game. This is his time to shine. Yeah, he's finally been called on. He's the ringer. Oh, the turn around Nifty. That's a nice ace at the end of it. One versus five. I can't believe it. One versus five ace. That is uh, that is really something. I mean, Good grenades. Perfecto's getting bullied a bit. He is having a rough game right now. Bimas pushed up. Perfecto. Oh, the flash is good. That's so nice for a phase. Off of play. Bimas, no. Leave him alone. He's turning them up. Oh the pistol's goodness. out. And Bimas is just making Na'Vi look like fools in the apartments. Bimas is here alone, but he's got Brokey on the rotation. Molly's going to find some good damage, and Bimas is repositioning. The cold gets caught. Bimas is going to have a bit of a stand here, and he's getting pressured. Wow. Oh, does he answer the call? Justin Brokey holding down this round for FaZe, and they just might find the map on the back of it. You've got to get past Simple, and Bimas will. Four in the round for him, one for Brokey, and FaZe. They'll pick up Mirage. And it looks like it's going to be the bomb going down as well. All of the one back. That's probably all they'll do in this particular round as Cold Zera. Last remaining player. Lovely shot there with the Desert Eagle, but not really much else he can do. Yeah, you might be able to get across. <laughs> yeah, and you're actually trying to throw that Famas away. Make sure that they force the CT economy for the rebuy. Another shot hit by Cold Zera. And oh! another one from Cold. Triple kill, $700 spent, and he could shatter the CT defenses. Oh, He's done it! Way. Cold Zera, remember the name. He's back to his old tricks. So we'll see how their T side goes. Coolio and Tarzi. Oh no, Coolio. He's so hot right now. And he's just got four straight headshots. And the A's do not contest this man in pit. Port of call here. It looks like Kusta's ready to swing on it too. Holding coffins for now. I'm... And here comes the play, but they've got to move. As is there, Greta Faction. He's got some of it, but where's that? Oh, come on! Oh, he's done him! He's done him! He's absolutely done him! Pack it up. Yeah. That's the kind of kid <laughs> who falls in the gorilla pit. It's like watching someone step on like the plexiglass on the top of the CN Tower. Yeah. You no get thanks. scared irrationally. Man, I can't even stand on the manholes in the street because I'm not falling into the sewers. It's <laughs> the last not place, the place I want to be. be. Oh. And actually, I, I take that back. That's the last place I want to be. On the receiving end of devices mm. on. He's still dodging flashbangs in the midst of it all, smoke denying any kind of vision, and he is very much alone here, so a dangerous game to play, but oh my God. regardless, swapping to the M4, let's go. Shut a up. All trades. He stops that bomb, and he knows he has another target here. Chris, dude, top get Tom deleted. Cruise, Otherwise, it's going to be separate 1v1 encounters that go the way of Liquid. At least can see them hopping up and down. Time is dwindling away. They need to start getting some kills. It's Elish. He's at the backside of Catwalk. He can see players pushing him. He's very back and forth. Elish Electric hold. Liquid have a fifth round, all thanks to him. The four Kriegs pulled out by the Astralis squad. This is the weapon that has changed the tide of New T side. But play me. Ridiculous. Oh. Ace. Five kills, five seconds, and it's the fourth on the board for Na'Vi. They must know there's a good chance of them moving on to a site that is stacked. And to make matters worse, they've lost another player. Mighty Max has gone down to the hands of Steel. Surreal with the spray, but whiffs it. Doesn't land it where it counts, and now Flamesy. One versus four. First headshot comes his way. He knows his second player is behind the site, but now an additional player has joined the ranks. There's another one. Falls down to shocks and moppers. If there was one player on the server you'd want to be in a 1v4, it is this man. And he's also on for the ace. And he's also picked up a fourth. It's all down to shocks. And flames, he takes it out the cauldron. OG 2v4. It is still a winnable round, though, for Flusher and Golden to pick off. We've seen them land these before. Flusher getting a what? two and a third out of nowhere. How is Flusher still in this round? And keep in mind the XP favoring Alexi. 
who may be able to get the frag. This has been flawless. Oh my god! That is sublime from Flusher. And finally, we see a smile on the face of the god. And by the doors right now, he has ramp control, but he doesn't have control of the situation. Bested by Barupt. Horus will hear Decon swing wide open. Decides that for now, the prioritization will be towards ramp goes in bangs through the door gets the kill onto Cadian, picks up no. the orb as well the second as he picks up the frag onto barupt he just needs to deny the defuse and waste a little bit of time a fantastic flurry of frags from forest no. as he wins the round causing mass atrocity snobs great flash from zori's gonna set it up and it looks like Havu or they're just dismantling this whole mibr offense zori nice shot there and it's gonna be up to fallen and kng thing doesn't find anything just yet and zori he has been a dab hand with the awp as well fallen takes the cannon up close towards shot spot zori jumping oh. over now and he's got a one versus two does he have an angle for the bomb plan he's got a he grenade which will go on the low ground looking for a ct to cross oh. straight in the face for hoodie and it's down to slowy got no grenade does have an awp he'll touch the bomb he'll hold it does Fallen go for the wide swing? Looking for the ace is Fallen. Trying to bait oh! the shot with the M4A1S. The start of the match, you're certainly going to be feeling happy now. Those have quite literally flipped as North look to bring the fight to Nard. The AZ is well, slaughtering them. Four kills, fully blind with the USP. He can't okay. get the ace, but who even cares at that point? It's a done deal. Fury is going to be broke. Well, uh, maybe not yet. Looks like Steel's gonna be broken there. Very fast approach towards the B site, and will we see Art get overwhelmed? Drops the smoke for safekeeping, but just trying to play around it now. Oh, gets another what? Oh, it's a collateral Zeppelin leave. Take it in oh. one shot. Art is nuts. Hasn't quite worked out, but at least baits the shot and gains the angle. Nade into the perfect spot. Jonji wants to go through, and oh, he's a madman. Somehow oh, no. survives. Ooh. And oh, again, P250 fall out, but Art manages to single handedly open up that B site. Bomb is going to be thrown across for now as we see oh. the consistent aggression. Doing? Art with a third, and he's hungry for more. But up against Steel, he's he'll a man find on a mission. Another leaf. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that. That was insane. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Safe from the flash, double flash. He's going to surely go down here, Jack. And <gasps> oh, what? They were lined up for simply plugs them both from the air. A double P. Oh, oh and a fast flick. Simple's furious. Nico's gonna go down as well. He's on for the ace, Simple. Uh, let's see who's gonna take the lead. Simple's double. Flamey, very lucky. Mid-air. Very lucky. He was supposed to be screwed. I don't know how he hits that. <laughs> Still no, sh not really sure about that one. As he re-peaks toward APOC. Now sets himself on a different angle, and that's a bit of a sharpie. Again, this is the flick, but hey, early on in the series, let's give Alistair the benefit of the doubt. He's work. So as long as order can keep the AK and the two orbs, they'll probably be happy. Oh no, APOC, how's he done that? A 4K and Avant are gonna win the round again. That's not a 4K, that's an ace coming out from APOC. Man's just had huge impact in the last two rounds. Make their minds feel as though it could be this A play when in reality- If man two like... kills cold, I reckon they got this. What about nice if Alexi B kills Kierby? Well, it was more about this duel, and that's a miss that he can't afford to make because now it's all onto Alexi. The fact that they're running towards him, now Alexi's got 20 seconds to get his skates onto the other side. He knows they're not going to be coming. Cold's already very pushed up. Nine bullets in his AK could have ramifications. Oh, Broke is faking it out, and Cold's rotating up heaven. He can hear them both. Alexi with a winnable situation here. And that's the bomb. He can just survive. Alexi with the oh clutch. He's just hiding God. in the corner. 15 found. Welcome yeah. to the clutch, yeah. folks. Not too shabby. Three kills. Might be something they have to think about before we get to map three, because that looks like where this is going, unless somehow they do something in this round. Hobbit with the pistols. Found one. Oh my goodness. That fell out of nowhere. This is the round where he goes nuclear. Two kills off the back of a USP. An orb shot as well connected. Shit. I'm sorry, Gambit, but what the hell is that? Exile with a 4K, and just as we were saying, he had two kills before then, Tommy. He was on 40 ADR, he just jumped up to 60. Amanek and Kenny left in a two on five. Amanek's caught a timing out through mid, and they don't know he's here. <gasps> Kenny is the bomb and Ooh. almost goes down. Amanek could win this whole round, and yeah, they're not ready for him. He gets the kill at B, wow. he turns around, follows up onto Dupree, and he's carved a path back into this round for G2. It's all now hinging on whether or not Kenny can survive the journey, and it's looking good for him. He's ran all the way through T-Spawn. Zipnix is going to try and cut him off, but 
Amanek's already moved into the tunnels. He's already here to help out, and it's another kill for oh, Amanek in this round. He's put them into a two-on-two -two with just a Mac-10. Magisk and Device. It more than doable. He's almost locked in the round for G2. Amanek, the savior, the Mac Daddy. And come on, get the ace. There it is. He'll get it. Five kills to his name. $3,000 made. Sprays around the corner. Bialy, all that remains. He's not clutching this one. He's not keeping his teammates alive. He will get psycho at least for one burn shot and the second kill, actually. Hold the phone. One on three, bomb plant towards B side. This should be a retake that works well for Crazy, but I wouldn't put the clutch out of Piani's hands just yet. We've seen him clutch time and time again in 9 to 5 3. He's been probably one of the biggest clutches for the Aves camp and comes up when necessary. We saw him clutch out that one on one in the previous round. This is a little bit more difficult. A one on three, no utility to work with on the post plant. And if he aggresses out through CT, he should get spotted out. He turns it into. Oh, oh into the one on one. Piani's going to win it. 11 rounds up for Aves. A one on four for the veteran. Aves have somehow made that work. Piali. How has he done that, Jay? They isolated so many one-on-one -on -one angels. He started on the right path. Rain fast in towards this upper site, and it's a fast A play. This time, no more oh, kills found. Beamast with a stellar 3K transfer. And Farley still very low. He's still looking for more, and it's going to be a Zen, in fact. He's going to get the kill, but that's going to be the call for the hit to its upper. Oh! Time, Beamast, that was built. And this could be around going the way of guards and loud. Let's see if he sticks it. He does not. Bimas going for the duel, finds the kill, and that should be it. Farley down to 9 HP. Now know where he is. All Bimas have to do is stay alive, and that's going to be round number 15 for Face Clan. Molotov to push them back from the half wall. App set up. So this is very much a one and done, and that's the one. They'll be done. They'll back up. Nice moves. He pulled the molly and the smoke out of them. And now he can be very quick behind them. They're going up, hey. And Cadian, if that smoke arrives, I think they're going to disrespect it. He's got a good chance at another here. Cadian's on for four. Oh! Maybe even the ace. Go on, Cadian. He takes over the game. He takes 13. And it's all down mid with his AWP. He does grab the kill onto Tabs as well. Pretty sure that Aves is going to win this one. It's all down to Dezen. Retake. At least going to try it. Grabs one headshot. In the end, surprised that he's even able to isolate it this far. Three headshots and a dream here for Dezen. As he is now on towards the oh, site, finds no. another headshot. All of a sudden, K all by himself could try to get on this bomb. He has a kit to work with as well. No. He's going to go for this one. No. no way he pulls this through here for Galaxy Racer. As he clutches it for a ninth round, an opener pistol here on the CT side. The Molotov for Snatch Heat. Shut him out of things. That's not too good at all. The bomb plant to go down shortly here for Sprout. They're all coming from one angle, though, Big. Oh. Tamsin gets the critical kill. It's on Didiha. One on three to keep Sprout in the round. In the position to do it from, though. Oh. He'll get the headshot. No, oh, he's got them all. That's beautiful. Huge from Dika. And Sprout survives. And the Miga hold a real good chance to close this out in two if they can secure this pistol and continue with the pressure. A lion back up with the USB. They're going to take that first frag as they don't check all their corners. He gets himself two overall. Joe and Ollie put the fallout here to the USP. Flashing him in two more blind shaky aim. Can't quite find that oh! third frag. He does in the end. And shoulder bait out to pop speed now. All left to MDS and a 1v4 and win strike. Look to at least claim some early control. Oh, Namega try and go quick out from ramp. MDS is the last one left, and they're able to goose down Nickelback. A lion's sort of stuck in a corner, and you're thinking, all oh, right, maybe he gets one or two here. They have no idea he's here. He's found the gap. So he really is playing spoiler. The uh, His teammates need to play game helper and wait. Look at this. Oh, insta, insta ding. Uh, it's still going to be pretty unlikely, but if they get any damage right. done, that's pretty good. Simple's gone up. And now he's electronic. He's got the old metal. This is very winnable. I don't us, know, you guys might want to take no, this away, but I'll us, keep Rush. going. They're Come coming in. from both sides of the map, swapping out for the M4. A bit more versatile to find these fights isolated. Ideally, he wants to find a 1v1. Praise to God he doesn't get double peeked in. But this would be a huge round to win. This is just Glocks and a few, uh, few little Deagles. So this is definitely doable for Electronic. He is the player. No armor, though. And there is a HE on Quickert, as I like to call him, because he's quick. We're ramping now. 
but this is it. Time. They're slowly sleeping at the time. They've got the kits. They can do this, but they need Nade's to get loose. on it now. Nade not finding a position. Playing well. Back turn. <gasps> they don't know. And he gets both of them. They have no idea he's in the back. Oh, my goodness. Electronic again and again. Turns it around with the AWP. Scopes in does some damage towards Liaz. Next, Davey comes up with that kill. And they don't really finish, actually. So JKS gets away with another good frag Ooh. and a second headshot. Bomb picked up. Where's he going with this? Probably back towards the A site. No, continuing the campaign towards B. Poland in the bat lines. Flash in might allow a peek up. And JKS is just evading as much as he can here. Needs a headshot in and a chance back in this round. Hey, he wants them to push forward. As soon as they push forward, that's the chance. Oh, he even gets the orb, Jay. He gets the orb through the stairs. Now this is so much more winnable. The bomb on his back, and you've just got to think, does he hold down the scope, walk into the side? Mythic is starting to take some uh, mid-control back, so really, the site's completely open. Imagine JKS wins this. 4K clutch in what was a, I believe, a 1 versus 4, yeah. He has B-Site control. They're sneaking in the back. Do they think it's going to be an A play? They could get caught for a loop on this. Where are they going to look towards? Connector, they're going to go up ramp. No, they're going to split. Okay, No, no they, they are know. going to go back towards the B-Site. Okay, they know what's going on. That's good. Now on towards JKS to try and cover off against them. Does he read the positions? He'll have to look upon us now. He's on takes the eagle shot to a 3K. Flashbang over. Stop panicking a little bit. Oh! See it wrong with takes fallen. JKS, what a clutch is going to be key for mouse sports something that's really hard to attain in this online environment but uh, off to a good start so far on this deco here against endpoint what a blinder there from chris j on the robin and he quickly follows it up on the mighty max that is a clinic from chris j with the scout what in the world was that and chris j's just run him down that's not great hunter yet to really fill the feed it's his chance now one kill so far to his name a fake plan oh he's revealed his location now swung on carrigan caught no bullets. Oh, it's enough, though. Using the four of them. Now six from the scavenge. Bemus AK doesn't reload. He holds his nerve. Rops is on default. Smoke fading. A chance for Hunter for more. And he's used them for perfect third frag. 15 HP oh. as he takes down another. They're just taking it in turns. It's Hunter to take the ace. Five scalps are fixed to his belt. And a second round for G2. He gets Mir, but he's got zero in the chamber. What have you got for us, Chopper? I'd like to see him give it a good go. There is certainly a world where he can make this very costly. Of course, stopping the bomb plant is a big priority from Na'Vi, and he's gonna try and plant in that smoke. Oh, ah, okay, simple's found. That was the one HP simple. He's desperately gonna go for the plant. A fake hoping to draw Perfecto out from Decon. Ramp push as well. God, this is a messy one. Oh, good find. He's taken down the very healthy Chopper. And now, divide and conquer. He knows Decon. And he knows likely ramp. Perfecto's push and he hits it as well. Chopper, he's making this round more than winnable. He's practically done it. Boomich has got three HP. He spots him out. Just finished the job. It's a headshot for style points. Chopper, four kills. What a clutch. One versus four against Na'Vi. Pretty much got out of the window at this point. If they can get a bomb down, then potentially it might them another buy in this scenario and those two headshots might actually gift another because innocent now has an opportunity a very slim one at that but what a headshot oh and a follow-up innocent what are you doing that's four on the board and now neo has to avert disaster here on the b-bomb site he's got the org in hand but this blaze might be about to set the b-bomb site alight as he negotiates through the smoke and finds the ace. How did that happen? Innocent. Peek through the edge and leaves just one defender as Keto alone. I said he had a very good first match. Now he has to try and do a little bit more. First kill go this way and he gets back around the corner. He gets another 1v1 fight. Keto, he's isolating these jewels. And that is now three for three. Now just has to try and buy some time. Nico's already made the cross and he hits the headshot again. Now up to this point, it hasn't really been too much of an issue, but we are starting to see a few other players get slow down oh, okay. and look how aggressive this is. They're trying to disrupt the play, but it's similar to what we saw on Keto again. A triple spray down. He just has these explosive rounds out of nowhere. Goes in with the orb. That's a quad kill as well. He's looking for his second. They're just barreling through short. There's actually three players waiting for this. All the footsteps going to be heard by Nico. Kito looking Oof. to try and find the opener. That shot's gross. Looking for a little bit more. Tabs them will be alongside him, but it's down. The young Dane to try and hold on to things here. And once again, it's Kito in a clutch. A lot more time for him here. 
first one goes his way. There's a player trying to look over the top of the smoke, but it isn't quite giving an angle. And he hasn't seen Tesla close, but he gets there. Try anyway. And Keto ends it. What a 4K again. This man is the 4K king. They're going to leave Kenny solo on the site. Hello. Oh, oh, Olaf wasn't ready for it either. And now this duel and Kenny's won it. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. No, no. From the A site, do clip rain on the way in. And Kenny, he can see the arm. Another frag. Brokey boosted. It means he knows where they're coming. The commitment's on its way. And Kenny, he is playing a sublime game of Counter-Strike today. Holding the line. Misses his first, but oh. won't make the same mistake again. Looking for the ace. It's Kenny. Yes, baby. He fights back and finds the 19th. This overtime continues. Fantastic stuff from Deha. He could keep the dream alive here for Sprout. Four players now on the A-bomb side. No! The lineup. One bullet, two kills from Mantu, and a third kill as well. He looks to end it all. A fourth from Mantu. And now just one more player left. And Favin is left in a one versus three clutch. Mantu wants it all. He wants to finish it, and he's done it. Five kills. Welcome back, everyone, to the second half between OG and Big, and we're straight into it, as you can see. MVK, he's going to clip off Mantu's head, look for a little bit more. As there goes this up, leaves just MVK and Alexi B, but MVK can find one. Second of the round, it's big play, trying to push forward. MVK is going to try and play headshot. A beautiful shot towards Zatares, and MVK... Talk about a crisp eight, and that is phenomenal. Now left in a 1v1 as his teammate falls. It's Keto versus MBK. Could this be a huge round for the OG side? Is MBK going to secure the eight? What? Of course he is. That is outrageous. He can't be doing this in the pistol round, MBK. Well, they've got to smoke it off. It's OC holding him blocked in for the moment. They had to appear that hit. Four on two retake. And Orglis, they've struggled with these. But again, this is a massive advantage that you cannot let slip away. MOTM might have just made the round winning play. That's very, very hard to check if you're coming in from the CT spawn for sure. Could see not even thinking about it. And he sees his next player. He wants more than just a kill. Could be a triple if he lines it up. It's brave against an MOTM. Big double taking down FNS and Ye. That is so well played. Just a discipline to not even take that first shot. And now it's a two on two. The bomb ticking away. MOTM continuing a triple, adding on top. He's at 21 kill. And he's finally showed up in this game. The quad to clutch the round. Incredible. It's a very viable strategy, by the way, if anyone thinks he's suddenly trolling in an 8-7 game. That is a very easy one-shot knife, and he's demonstrating! Oh, no! oh, that's unreal! Unbelievable scenes! He took off the silencer as well for show points. Show points? Shulk's going to be under the pressure. Masuda as well. They have cleared the first play, but will they expect Shulk to clear him? They've just run right past Shulk! My god, that's disgusting! Three kills collected, a fourth as well, and Shulk could tear them all to pieces. Can't hold them back. Breeze will get the kill on NBK. Pretty good long-range shot with a Glock person again, just driving by his Tarek. And now it's all on Val. The P215 hand, he's gonna close the door and try to play a little game, but they're double up on it. He gets two big kills. He closes it back up again and runs away. Terry wants to catch him, but he can't. And he's back for more. Val will take him down. A quad kill for OG to win the round. It's true, it's true, I agree. It's definitely something to look at, but there's also something to look at over here, and it's the fact that they're getting kills. Of course, some diesel shots as well. Chiming Ooh. in, Uli. Maybe he doesn't need a rifle at all. He's got himself three. Suddenly, it's dangerous. It's deadly. It's Uli. And he's got four. Looking for more. The five on the way. And it has arrived. An ace. Tixie's going to find Grim. But it's Kusta oh, to huge. really pull this through. Lovely, lovely playoff ramp. And now automatic. Track on now. Expects the follow-up from Twist. But loses the fight now. Kusta is low. Does Twist have a kit? Yes, he does. And, and a scout. Oh, here we go. For the job. Oh, God, I'm not... Oh! What? Oh, that's the badger. That's what you want to see. <laughs> what? What? Is there a gap in the smoke there? Twist just goes for the Hail Mary. Surely there was a gap there. We'll see it, it again. Yeah. Re 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 it. Rewind. Like, Please. Okay. Is, smoke? Is there, is, there a is, there a is there a gap? Is there a gap? Absolutely uh, not. Uh, 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 Excuse me? We'll see this one. They have no idea. First kill for Sunny, but I don't think it's the second. It will be converted. 
As he takes Masuta down at 20, Alu converts it, and now they have the man advantage and then some. Four versus two, but not for long. Zywu will find his second of the round here. It's very tense. No utility remaining on either side, and no armor or life for oh, RPK. But ace. it looks like Zywu is on for the ace here. Can he close it out? He absolutely can. A show-stopping performance from Zywu there. Just what you've come to expect from this young man. Two versus three, 30 seconds, and the bomb is going to be going down. Nice attempt from Dupree. That's not a bad try at all. Sip nearly lining up for a double there, but it's not going to matter. 15 health left in a one versus two, and I don't know how he's possibly going to get in here and go for this retake. It's just going to be so hard to get one. Oh, absolutely impossible. They gave him almost nothing at all to work with, and he just destroyed the whole world. Into mid, it looks like they'll take the peak now, and Frozen will actually activate early. That's huge. That's attack going down. Woxic in the back game plan, obviously. Oh, cloud nine, but a kill through the smoke from Woxic. He's gonna pick that bomb up. Go ahead for the plant. Let's see it, Woxic. Let's see the clutch factor. He's got two players ahead of him, one of which on an op. And Woxic just sitting here on the back of the site, catches Chris J hopping through. Now all of a sudden, Woxic got them all. And then look who's around behind them. They've seen all this. Yes, Brokey and Nico have got kills, but wait, there's still the, the bomb goes down. Okay, Valder's kill towards Brokey is massive. 20 seconds down. Nico needs this fight and he loses it. So now Valder is still a problem. Spots out cold. Zera destroys him. And now Valder, the positioning. Oh, he's done it all. Everything required saves the day for OG. Bit remiss that hasn't gone better. Don't forget the MBK investing into this one with that scout. He's going to be the last one posted up with that bomb and Colt's having no issues. Valder though, if he hits this shot, we're on. But it has just forced them off the plant and now Kirby's flanks come in. Valder to clutch. Oh, the timing. Oh, imagine if he just goes A. <laughs> Kirby's ready. He's got the frag. Knows there's another five in bullets. the side. Valder, can you clutch with five bullets in the mag? Oh. He can. He absolutely can. Game winning play from Valder. If Vitality are to jump on top of this round, they have stacked three players over on A, flashbang through, but it doesn't affect JW. And he holds on, but so does Zaiwu. Be careful, <laughs> tread lightly. Zaiwu will punish you. And the thin veil of weaponry has been cracked, crunched, Stop and Zaiwu's not slowing Stop down. It. Oh my God, Zizu Zaiwu, that is outstanding. Actually going to get a second before being traded out. Art, however, is going to sneak his way through. And actually, Yuri's killed the man outside. Mihu as well doing something similar. Ryan's going to take the art. Mihu's going to drop the bomb now. And it's going to be a one on three. Save the map for Fury to throw it into overtime. And Yuri's going to get the first relatively easy shot onto Nifty. He's got Ryan on low HP. Takes him down and out through the smoke. Don't tell me he sprays. It's actually going to run away. 20 seconds left. He immediately gets down the vent. He's going for the bomb plant. He's playing for the win. And Mihu, the slight health advantage. His position has been given away. He's been heard. He's running around. He's trying to get into this doorway in time. And Yuri knows exactly where he's going to be. Mihu, how do you fight your way out of this spot? He does have that one flashbang to potentially open up the push in. But Yuri has just trailed directly on him. And look at this. He's even gone above him. Mihu's not going to expect this. Genius, Yuri, the clutch master. He made that look so easy. The first shot clinical and everything after that was just for style points. All the closer with that op in hand. So two of the three defenders here on the B-bomb site wielding the big green. Zelsif connecting onto Stewie and through the smoke he'll take Nav. Now he repositions, he's got a little bit of cover, welcomes the third peak. It's a trio of frags, a quad for Zelsis. Been brought back by Sonny and Ariel somehow, but... Oh, what's going on? Whoa, that's a problem, flashed off. <laughs> Couldn't find the man he was looking for. 53 seconds, thankfully, the one on the site, the last one alive, Alexi B is the bomb. He'll plant it at the truck, knowing that both were on the flank and positions himself accordingly. Bit slow to the take. X7, even considering that it might have been back over toward B. He was in toward the stairs at Connector. And Alexi B, considering that he might have gone that way on the flank, is starting to check the stairs. This is touch and go because there is a smoke for the CTs, a nade as well. Alexi B's got one of his own. And now he sees the Molotov go a little bit deep. He can use the railing, can't quite spot the bomb. He's gonna get a jump shot. Oh, he does. He does get it. Even though he was off of the aim, he's hit the second as well. They're on it, but this is done, surely. He just needs one bullet. He's lost the track of it, but he gets on the knife. 
and he just barely gets there in time to catch out X7. What is that? A lapse of concentration, goes to the deep smoke and said he saw the clock, said, oh, let's definitely win the round here. And he goes to the deep smoke, cost him his life, and that's all they needed. I think this is the game. I'm not yeah, going to lie. I think, I I think, think Windstrike so. have got them uh, a bit of a loop here. Unless Almeza walks on in and Goblin defuse, he, he could do this. There's a chance if he goes now. I think he has the kit. Up. This is a ninja. Face oh, crack. How has he done this? Face crack has legit done it with 15 HP to spare. I can't believe it. Chad, good spot. <laughs> he waits long enough to get the ninja. What? And it's left onto one lone Lithuanian. Esperanto, the star of the last map. Over 30 kills to his name, needs another three. This map has been a little bit more quiet and he's been spotted. They know where he is, but he's gonna try and isolate Rain. He does just that. A first kill, but he loses a hell of a lot of HP. And the time is against him. Two to five. He spots the man on the corner, gets the second as well. It's up to Brokey, who misses the shot. The first doesn't go, but the time is ticking. 13 seconds, he lands it, and we go to overtime. Esperanto saves contact once again. Look at this push, Tatsun rushes straight in towards the A side. I think they want to just take the site in full force, but they might not be able to. Twist is there yet again, and so is Liege. Oh my <laughs> God, an absolute slaughter to finish off the game. Big part of that, and now with a recovered AK, to do it all, just to save the Copenhagen Flames playoff chances. And first found, very precise into Carrigan. Unfortunately, he's caught a orc bullet to the thigh, and there's two more orps where that came from. Nade won't find him. Voxic likely too, though. He's worming his way around, trying to find the open space. He's doing well to get this far. Spots Chris J. Now if he finds Rops, my goodness, Farley... Something's telling me he's got a chance in this one. Another great shot and off to winner. What a play. It's unreal. Farley might have a chance in this one. So smart. He had 13 HP this entire 1v3. And boxing with the AWP, he actually has the advantage now. We've got another round here. Wow. But he doesn't even know what's going on. It's certainly not done yet. Farley still has to put the bullet into Voxic and around his own smoke. Voxic will wait. Okay, Farley. Looking good, and he hits the shot! Spectacular! Up against the ropes! Behind it, they don't give Renegades a chance, and Ren Renegades with Dexter. Again, the audacious play. The fact that he's pushing in here and catching Shush with a nade out. He's not been fully punished either, Bobski couldn't get him. He goes back in for more and drops the bomb down. He's gonna have to smoke himself alive. What a pain in the backside he must be for Mad Lion. Does he push the smoke again? Does he actually go for this? You better believe he does! Dexter is a one-man wrecking crew, giving Mad Lions a tour of the back of his hands. Straight up demolishing them. Not the greatest of smokes, but they've done enough. Splash K is gonna find one back, but there is a one HP play, and never mind. Quickly finding kills. Instant shots from Danking, though. He only needs two more, and one of them's one HP. The jump through, he's found his third. He gets all four. How has Danking won that round? Yeah, that's the thoughts with Brolin as well. Flusher, another impossible clutch dealt his way. Does hit a great shot, and another oh, into no. Kenny. Yes, Flusher turns the round on its head, and he's watted Amanek. Now the advantage is his. Another tag. He still wants to fight. Time is on his side here. He doesn't have to rush it. Picks up the M4. Amanek pushing as well, using the smoke to great success. Flusher is a genius. He is just the rain man of Counter-Strike, as he's once again pulled it off. A one versus three with only the Desert Eagle to save what would have been map point. Set up. He takes the first shot. They now know the op is exactly position. Mad CT, they repeat it. I'm surprised they do. No utility. I suppose Voxic was confident, but now he's given Flamey an absolute wow. monster situation to work with as he comes back out for a third kill as well. Finding Frozen and confidence on the secondary AWP. We might have a 9-6 half. Unless Chris can do more. Simple's not able to connect. That puts him down to 14 HP. Round's not done yet. With that incendiary, Chris is going to get caught advancing through the smoke. Frozen's done the same, though. He's on that bomb train now. He could try and contest. They're going to push together. Voxix oh. going up the ladder, and he's got so much damage done. It's Frozen. Ice in his veins. Three frags to his name. Kenny, however, standing his ground. 2v2. Bomb down and in favor of G2. Frozen off on the line. <laughs> That's insane. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. That's a bit much. <laughs> You're gonna have an ace on the agenda here. And Nexa, 
and he'll be behind the e-box. Full diffuse certainly available. Frozen's gonna have to go for it. And now we will see if Nexus oh. can convert the spray. Looks like he's done enough here. Frozen's still on for the ace. He's running out of time. He's he has to go for the full defuse. He jumps up again. Is oh. it gonna be as good? It's he's good. Got it. Has he got to be close? I think he's done it. The ace clutch from Frozen. Oh. Oh, I can't believe oh, it. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for anybody listening with headphones. By 100 Thieves now committing. Good utility of their own, but Tech gets one. Spray is good, but the Molotov cuts off their line of sight. He goes back in with a flash and gets his second as well. Dink to the third. It's actually finished off, and JKS trades. Now stacking a one and three. Does get the plant, but past this point, surely it's a retakeable round. Oh, JKS. Where's he going to decide to hide? He doesn't have a lot of room to work with here. Daps. We'll get dealt with over at short side. A nade spotted over in CT has given up Soms position close to Molotov. Oh, oh JKS in with another. And now just Som left to find. He's played wow. it to perfection. Wow. And JKS a savage. Hey, get rid of one of those AKs nice and early, but look at the flash. It signals that BMS is close. JW realizes it. Oh, hit the tag. Can't get the kill with Cold down in the second shot. JW not stopping. Oh my, three with a scout. How does he do it? Decimates phase on long. I did simple Zorp, certainly not going to benefit from that scrape. And look at him go, pushing in on the flash. He's going to get them both. James says no. 1v3 now, finds the first. And the second as well. Perfecto's gone. He knows electronics. <laughs> and James, last man alive, but the last to leave. And now hide and run is the prime objective for Chaos, just to save these two weapons to be able to afford something in the next round. John G at least staying up close enough that if some shenanigans take shape, maybe he can go in for a ninja, but I seriously doubt he'd even go for it at this point. You want to hold on to this AK. And see that they're going for these wall bangs through the vents. Is he actually coming up? No way, John G. No way. He's actually going for it. Molotov towards heaven. He's going to stick the bomb. No. There's going to be enough time for the no. but is anyone coming no. up right now? Oh no. my God! John G, you beauty! Living on a prayer. Looks like it's going to be the double drop into the pop dog or ladder room. And it's going to be successful. Config with the CZ. Could rain down death from above and Z powers at a range. He hits a shot. Almeza follows up with two. And now just the bomb left to do it all. Convict here's a flank. He's going to go back. Face crack dead as well. That opens up a route. He could go A. He split the players one per site, but Flit is still close pop. And that allows him to flank considering Convict is committed towards B. Going through the smoke and dropping on the site. Z power. He can guess, but he doesn't know. It's only an assumption. This allows Config to get close, and he's got time to get the plant in as well. Trying to go as deep as he can. Gets heard, fakes it out. Goes for the shot and gets the kill. Now he can commit towards A if he wants, but does he know that Flit's coming in through the connector? It's that or the flank. Config has to gamble, and he goes for the plant in the center of the site. Flit being silent, but he's been spotted, and Config has a chance to ace this round. Woo! He's there done it, it. 15 for complexity, and what a play from Config. But now. It is going to be buy versus buy and a straight up approach here from Virtus Pro, charging straight out onto the A site. Monster Nade, yes, Yakinder eats most of that magic apple. Keto going to go ahead and hold the line first, and he gets two kills with the help of his teammates. Tamsin with the monster flash going over the top. And the defense holds perfectly here for Big. What wonderful work. What? He just aced them. Oh my god, three of them with an MP9, two of them with the USP. I can't I don't even can't even fathom how you do that much damage. 25 seconds remaining. Magisk up close. This is vital information for the rest of his team. And he's put bullets to faces with two, and that's the bomb drop. That is huge. There's so much time that he can now fend away from Fnatic, and he's gonna clutch it out as well for his team. The quad MP9 spray. And the kills keep coming through. The bomb has to get planted. Mad Magic's now into a 1v3, and he needs to be a wizard in this clutch. He's lined them up, what? and there it is. A rabbit out of the hat and a round added to the tally. Team Spirit, two to one up. It's problematic for Naf. He's going to have to have, find a very spicy multi-kill instead. Just a single bullet connecting and nothing. Converted into the frag. They're tucked in on the corner. They're just traveling as a death ball. You really shouldn't oh. have a shot. Oh my oh. God. Oh. I said I wouldn't squeal, <laughs> but Liquid, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous, unthinkable, impossible. Usually that is amazing information, but the fact that they only have two people on the A-bomb site will still make it a very difficult defense here. Lucas looking to move forward. Oh, the blind spray coming through, and it'll take down Lucas. And Leo, he's already got that double, looking for the triple, and actually take it, and he keeps going. That's so low on health. The bomb is down by the Haycart. What a mad round this is. 
I think Exit Power must have scoped in when he saw him. And Leo Drunky's just gone for a little garden stroll, which leaves Jerry to try and survive. But no, it's the full ace for Leo Drunky, starting blind, absolutely dismantling Forza on the A bomb site. You've got to worry about it. Tarek, along with Breezy, have at least opened this up. Ethan now comes in. Nath trying Whoa! to hold the line. And oh, oh my, my goodness, God. down from the depths of mid. Team Liquid. Ooh. They will play behind that smoke a lot. And Dara talked about it. The pressure onto Woxic. He's got to get away because that kid would mean a lot for Gambit. And he's going to be punished. Actually, s has been punished behind that. Oh. Smoke. And that's the second kill from Nafani. Oh. Huge opening kill. Three men down for Cloud9 in a matter of five seconds. He got his skates on. Opened up with the first kill. He's looking for more as well as Woxic falls. However, there is a world where he loses this duel versus Kadian, and that bomb carrier could have gotten into the A site where Nico has just cleared out Ziwoo. No, he finds nothing. It's all on the shoulders of Nico yet again. His attempt in a clutch is good for the first and second as well, but they're on Ooh. top of the bomb. A third kill for Nico and shot. Well, he doesn't have a defuse, so Nico takes the clutch. Nico, he needs this 1v2 to keep FaZe on Nuke, to keep the chance of the 2-0 alive. On FaZe's map pick, no less. Here's that bomb going down now. Realizes it's at this B site. Oh, well. Rez already here with the orb, holding the angle, offers up that 1v1, and now it falls to Hampus. The man who made this whole round doable with a double kill from heaven now is to be the angel of NIP once again if he wants to get them to Inferno. Nico taking his time, but time is not leaning in his favor. Now he knows where Hampus is, and Nico with the damage, not quite the killing blow, and Hampus just hiding, wasting time off the clock. Nico does have a kit, but he needs the kill. He's going to get it. The bomb is a oh, long way away. It's very, very oh, no. close. I think he's got it. I think we're going to overtime. Maus, they need this for overtime, and it all falls onto Frozen. 1v2, back of the bomb site, and two players to beat. It's an open and M4 up against him, Ooh. Rops. Or Fro Frozen, rather, delivering Ooh. the first, and he just gets out of there. One HP, still alive. No idea how. Orp in the hands of Twist, but he's on the 5-7, looking to deal with it, oh, looking man. to deny overtime. Frozen, the game is oh, in his my. hands, and he locks it in. We're going to OT. You've been on the movie dives, haven't you? <laughs> Do you remember that one, though, where yeah, the scarabs are all under this? I yep. freaked out. Freaked me out for a long year old time. me, very much. Yep, the mummy freaked out. Multitudes Bang. of Here things. We go. Hold on, hold Watch on. This. Poison's kind of in a bit of a fool oh. here. You can see it happening, and now the 1v1 device is... Oh! <laughs> he doesn't have his life! I knew oh. it! Poison is a gangster. He holds his orb sideways. Hempus walks right into a headshot and a cleanup. What a great amount of damage done by RPK in this round. You had the nade on top, and what a beast. Good kill from Rez, but I don't think it's enough. That's at least going to force the defense to ro rotate away from middle. RPK is going to be the first line, and he's got red HP. Rez with the AWP, one kill for him. Spots out RPK, another kill. And he must have this round for his team. If Rez can pull off some heroics, NIP can keep vitality from series point. Yeah, and I mean, what I ask it is, right? It's a one versus four that he just at least turned into a one versus two. But now they're slowing it down. I mean, they're already being a little bit too aggressive. He didn't even have the bomb down. So I think this is the reminder for Vitality. Don't give this round away. He's going to have to put that bomb down at some point. He's moving forward. I think it's a great idea. If he could find the kill on someone out here and make it a one-on-one, -on -one, then he's got a chance. But if he looks the wrong way here, he's dead in a second. Looking for it almost. Ne nearly going down. That could have been the end of him. And now Apex is moving up behind him. So that box that he's in is getting smaller and smaller every second. 20 seconds left. And he's going to go for the bomb plant right now. And um, he can't escape the bomb site any longer. Does see where Apex is. Nice shot. And can he go? Oh, my God. Oh. What an amazing clutch. The ace is in for Rez. A godlike round. Last two pieces of utility here from Nitro being thrown, trying to set up Stewie on the sidearm. Coldzera just gives him a kill. And there's Olaf now. He's got the cover. Stewie's Woo! honed in. But Stewie goes down. Oh, boy. It's just Floppy trying to make a bit of a ruckus. Trying to cause concern. Keep those three CTs on A as they look to sink teeth into B. OC gets the headshot.
still connects the shot and plenty of bounce oh. behind it. There's a second as well. He is coming alive on Inferno. And he has Barton in close proximity to help him out. OC with two of his own. Surely he's oh. up for the clutch this. OC has picked up three already. And he's going to be able to get the bomb down as well. Pace is making moves round the side of short. And it's going to come down to this wide swing. OC has the right idea. He's landed the first shot. Pacer gets obliterated. Flashbang over. OC switching to the Glock. And with the spray down with the Glock takes the head off. And Clutch is such an important round. That could be the comeback. It's just a, a delaying tactic. Another nade through. Great utility usage. X7 through the smoke. But refresh. He's got himself a triple. Three seconds is all it takes. And they've got the bomb down just in time. Copenhagen Flames in a 2v3. And refresh keeps going with the op. He's got a fourth. Looking for the ace. Ariel's left. Wondering how it went so wrong so quickly. Through a molly he goes. 50 HP off him already. And whilst Refresh will be easy to take down, Queenix is tucked in the back, but Refresh has got the ace. I was tucked in on the corner. He is just so mobile. Here go. First frag found, and they're now retreating. Might call for the rotate. Bomb's off committed. The bomb, and another frag for Zaiwu. This is what Vitality needed when they put the orb in his hands this oh my round. God. Three, four, give us the whole five. Not today, Mir. The support, the supporting cast. And they're gonna fly out behind him here. Misuta can't contain this. He can't do anything. What's I was supposed to do? He's tucked into the site. It's the right choice. And a oh. quick flick. My goodness, is SDY though. 2v3. Yeah, it's certainly not out of the realms of possibility, Chad. The bomb will be down thanks to disbalance. The smoke were deployed to buy some time. So Double orbs. By Young and disbalance both opting for the AWPs. Let's see how this one works out. Against pistols, you better be hoping you're hitting your shots. Disbalance can drop a smoke short. Apex is being hunted. SDY was some oh, no. very surprising play, and that's oh, what I was no. talking about. SDY for the ace clutch. Swips to the deagle, makes sense. Half health, and he gets it as well. Just using that smoke as it fades. An ace to keep spirit in it. They've got the individuals. Would use the Molotov back there, although if they did, that obviously would be a, a, a godlike decision. We'll see. Here's the fight early on. Flamey's still alive. Simple's waiting, biding his time. There's one good kill. Another follow up. Big double for him. And the third one to add on top. What a monstrous quad kill. Taking down four people. Back in it. He wants these. Let him have it. He's almost crossed into it. There's just Kenny left. He's a bullet away. And he's right back there. Simple trying to see if he can get it done. And he, oh, there it is. The last one is in. The pistol ace comes through. And that must be crushing to G2. Oh dear, that's him dead. He tries to throw out a nade just to do something before he falls. A one by one, they get executed. Some of them, that's two and a third. How does he clean that one up? A ridiculous play coming out from Summer. And he does at least manage to pick off one. Oh no, that looked like another scroll wheel issue. Azza has found another in the meantime and Summer, he has to clutch it out once again, but he's already got himself two. It's only left onto Liaz. He's guessed it perfectly and back to back. 1v3s out from Summer. What are they going to do? 30 seconds. Another smoke's been put down. North have actually done very well in this round to hold on to their utility. But the fact is, they're going to try and play off Vinny. They did fantastic in the last round. This time, what? How does he get Kajum? Kajum was literally waiting for him. He's just solo triple entry the A site vids. And I'll try and formulate this point as well as I can. I'm a bit under the weather. My brain's not really working, Tom, so to tell me if I'm talking out my backside here. But when it comes to making comebacks, especially on the T side, I feel like if you can get some... That's not what you want to see. That's not what you want to see yeah. at all. <laughs> and now, next is here still. You can get one fish off. Almost there. Flit is there to trade out, but I think puts him down to just 11 points of health. He won't be feeling too good about himself, but he's going to go aggressive because of that fact. Going to try and bring it into oh. a quick 1v1, and this might be the absolute perfect play here for him. If he can catch one of those oh, plays, this is the answer. Out. This certainly could be it for Forza. This might be an absolutely amazing positional play from Flit. He gets the first, and now he's going to rotate all oh the way around God. towards Jor. Sotvik, he does pick no. up a, a, a hit, that nade, it could end it, and it will, but the Molotov, oh, does he have time to get oh. a hit? No, he doesn't. The Molotov what? is absolutely huge. 
It's two Cloud9 players down. Team Spirit looking to double their round count at the end of this first half. And it is only Floppy, but Floppy on his own has gone ahead to take down three players. Idis Balance misses his shot, and Floppy understands exactly where they're coming in from. They do not have Bomb because he is sitting on it. And that Molotov confirms what he needs to know. If Floppy can clutch with an ace, this would be ridiculous. And Idis Balance has only 20 health left over. 20 seconds to the clock. And Idis Balance, he has to walk the plank. He doesn't want to do this, but it's inevitable. Floppy finds five. He literally was surrounded by all five players of Mouse Sports, and I'm sure that's how he has felt all map long. A chance for Cloud9 to redeem themselves after getting thoroughly outplayed, completely manhandled in that first half by the game plan, as you mentioned, by a chilling Kerrigan. And Floppy, if there's anyone who could clutch on a pistol, we know that it's this boy right here, but he's getting flanked, I think. Someone coming in through back of hut. No, he's wrapped around the other side. How will he read uh -oh. first shot? No, uh -oh. come on, dude. He cannot win again. Are you serious? This is another 1v5. This is 5, 1v5, and he doesn't have the kit. He, he does have it. a smoke if he wants to get on the bomb. He has a kit in hand. There's a chance. Dude, he could just one. stick it right here, right now. They have to come out and peek. No him. way he's going to pull this off again. Incredible. Orb still in play. The money now for EG starting to get a little bit rough. Deagle for Stan, Galil's across and all. Oh, <laughs> Zerk, there we go. Uh, oh, what are you meant to do against that? That is what you do against that. Nav has found him. There's more. Twist is on hunt. Stan on the AWB. That's getting me a little uh, excited. Hot under the collar, I imagine. Certainly. He's going to go down here. There's no way he's clearing this position. Don't lie, Chad. Done him in. Don't lie. This is 100% done him no, in. No, he's going to hit the flick. Ah. Uh... Okay, Twists uh, readies himself for a massacre. Uh, wait, Ethan. Ethan as well. Ethan. One, two, three. Twist is teaching us how to count. That's all four. In quick succession, masterful execution. 16 to 8. Twist is alive and kicking. Ali Yoop to try and delay the bomb from being planted. A smoke to create some space. Distraction being run for sure. All kinds of junk being thrown at the A bomb site. And MIBR are falling. We might see our first round on the board here for OG. Oh, but first, 1v1. 3 HP for Mantu. There's still time for VSM to plant this bomb. This is chaos, carnage. No one knows what the hell is happening, but VSM knows he can get the bomb down and he knows that Mantu was on short. Does he still know he's there though? He goes for it, he gets it! Mantu goes down, another round for MIBR. One feels like a must win pistol round and well, Buster getting the first man down. Carrigan tries, uh, oh. what? I didn't even, I didn't oh. even see where that came what? from. Woxic tired oh. of waiting around Damn. and there it is! Four kills from Woxic. Where on earth has that been over here at B? And Woxic is on for the ace. It's only Jame left on the other side and Woxic hungry there for it. it. Delivers all five in this pistol round for Mouse Sports. Bit of an issue here for Movistar Riders. They don't have any players over towards the B bomb site currently. Terrace does manage to find one, picks up a Galil, could potentially find another because we do have one player being very low on HP, that's Steel. Oh, San Terrace, nice transfer, finds them both, still 20 seconds left on the clock, he's gonna back back off close towards the A-bomb site now. Could potentially find a bomb plant here as well, that will give them extra money to work with, but Alex posted up in a good position. Oh, Santeris makes his way through and will be able to get the bomb down. Actually, very well done by Santeris. Not only getting the triple kill, also getting the bomb plant. Giving them so much more money to work with than they would have had otherwise. And dealing so much economic damage towards Movistar Riders. Santeris creeping forward. They line up for him! Santeris with a one on five clutch, an ace clutch on an eco. Are you joking? Oh, look how comfy they're getting. They've got the LP out, but... Okay, there's a kill back and forth. Nick's off the new box. He's still just standing in the open. Nobody's able to punish him because Naf is incredibly blind. Oh, and Zipnex sprays into his head, takes down another. The rock in the back of the bomb site. Four kills for him, and Astralis with 14. Yeah, by Sally, they're doing a stellar job here. Set up a cat, the flash is oh, good. Perfecto hey. and simple. Gonna chain together two kills. Zai Wu. 
Getting pressured. Only eight seconds oh. for this whole plant. And Zai Wu is not faltering. Simple going to start plugging in the numbers. Zai Wu trying to land a shot. And instead, he's going to kill everyone oh. else. And Simple as well. Zai Wu, stellar round. My goodness. Four kills there from him. In they go with loads of time to spare. Oh, oh dear. Maybe not players to spare. Okay, he gets traded. Boomich up short. Needed that from Stewie. Two to the belly button. Boomich gone. Bomb on the back of Flamey. He's in the oh! side to nab the shot. That's great from Stu. One more required. And he hits it as well. Stewie 3K. And he puts the 11th on the board for Liquid. Push. Look at this setup. There's two players here ready to just absolutely ruin this. So telegraphed. They know what it means when they, uh, the T side put someone down lower. But maybe, maybe it doesn't matter, James. Sonic has a lot to do, but with over a minute on the clock, there's a hole somewhere. He just needs to find where it is. Can he catch somebody off guard? We can see a Borup and S-Tag considering playing a trade frag situation, being proactive. Sonic having a look-see, not seeing much of anything outside. Now, where are the CTs? What is the way in? Borup trying to pick the most awkward angle possible underneath heaven, which is pretty smart. But does he have cover from Mini? As time continues, does he become more concerned, in fact? Sonic heading towards Mini, got to check the off angle in the garage, which he's looking for, nobody's there. Check the hut roof. Oh, did he see? I think he may have just seen a, a smidgen of Bora. Pulls out the Molotov. There is a player in Squeaky as well, he's shot at. And now his tag might have the superior angle. Sonic moving into the site, creates, a, creates some space with the smoke grenade. Oh my god, that headshot's absolutely ridiculous. Time is running low, one versus two, he knows one's in the vent. Can he actually do this? Oh, he's gonna close the door, making it feel like he went behind it. He's very exposed! He's done it somehow! Sonic! Oh, God, you're right, James. How did he pull that one off? Uh, team money's flush. There's no reason to not oh, do some this. derps. I feel this. Don't. I think a little throw. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, no, run! Don't stay and fight! Oh, gosh, no, This okay. is not the weapon okay, for the job. No, this isn't it. But Simple's doing dirty, simple things. Because he can. Heard. Well, he's heard them. Definitely been heard. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Those foreboding feelings. They're all there. 30 bullets and an eagle. 70 HP. He's found one. Oh dear god. Of course. Of course this is how it happens. He's got 10 seconds though. He's got to make something happen for the bomb now. He wants the time on his side. The additional man. So now he's got a teammate once he gets this down. Nice. Okay, hits the reload. No, he doesn't. Just gonna go for the deeg. Four bullets, which is it over. Right, here we go. Game on. Simple is playing Counter-Strike for us today. We get a treat. Playing around those smokes oh like an God. absolute villain. Look at him! Isolates another. If there's anyone who could do it. Oh of my course, God. Of oh. course, Carrigan knows! <laughs> Carrigan knows it! Oh, this... <laughs> Oh, no, what's happening here? I don't know. I can give you a little update. I believe the mouse stopped working. Oh, my God. Yeah. If it can't be... Oh, jeez. See, it's a fake and a hit towards B, but Popsky's pushed through the tunnel. He's denied that aggression. Hampus finds one with his orb. Needs to double down here. There's a player close, but Zywoo overwhelms him with a tech nine. And one more shot for Zywoo. He won't stop. Two on two. The bomb's dropped, and so is Apex, but Zywoo trades as he often does. And now that leaves him in the clutch. What a god, he even picks up the AK. He's got three kills to his name right here, one on one with Rez. Rez has a Molotov and a kit. And Zaiwu really had a pretty advanced or aggressive positioning there to begin this retake scenario, peeking out the window. You never really know who's on the other side of the window. In this case, it's gonna be Rez, working his way up slowly into the site. Taking his time, not sure where Zaiwu lays and waits. That's going to be in the back of the site. So just a crash course, a collision course at that. Who's going to get the shot off first? Zaiwu lets Rez into the site. Here's the bomb, get tapped. And that's going to be enough to check it. An easy one bullet, an easy one click. Zaiwu oh, makes it look convincing with four kills in the round. Really mops up what little bit of trouble Vitality ran into. Flash up cap for Renz into the orb. Mantu's in the air on his teammate's head. There's a trade from Sonny's Deeg. We saw these Deegs get dangerously close. And Sonny, with the open plan, has an M4 towards long. This could still get claustrophobic for OG. Alexi B with a kill. Sonny trying to cover. And now he's alone against four with a bomb in his favor. He's found a headshot. There's a second and try to get them off the bomb. The defuse is in, but Sonny denies it. And that's the round for ends. All off the back of Sonny in the pit. Four kills, giving them a beating.
Throwing it all over the carpet, leaving plates out. Oh, no care. that's a big nade. But the dual Marauders do not Malbs. go what? away. Malbs has absolutely railed them. An ace. The big Malbs in the server. And that's MD. Big Malbs. Wow. Where did that come from? Look at this. Look at him. <laughs> He just demands respect. Like, you don't want to give it to him. You don't. You really don't. But he he, he gets it anyway. Make it a joke. Ooh, Carrigan trying for the flick there. Oh! Out of this world! That is absolutely impossible. Anti side does two were ecos in the same vein. So, Stralis lose some money. They will have a reinvestment. The device is all gone immediately. Kenny is quick. He's not even looking at them. And he's still firing off kills. Four for Kenny. Blinking, you miss it. This round is done. Astralis, oh my. They're made to look like fools by Kenny S. And G2 just a kill away from the fourth round. There it is. It's the ace for Kenny with the AWP as well. He picks it up and he knocks him down. Kills in the second. Here we go. Over towards Banana. It's quick. Flash it was caught out to an extent. And it's Golden stinked. doesn't go. Oh, damn. Oh. He doesn't go quietly. Golden. He is an absolute monster. Every time we watch Fnatic, the leader does something inexplainable. This round and, and with that, at that point, you would uh, you would look at it as a real potential comeback. Freiburg actually decides to drop down because of the fact that they lost the control back towards the door. Just charges forward and finds three on the shotgun. Kind of destroys the hopes and dreams here potentially for Nordavind as they begun that push. Three on two right now, Favor and Dignitas for out, but Maverick didn't even actually take any damage. He uses that Molotov to force HS out of the corner up close and is now sitting on a quad kill looking for the potential ace. But either way, he most likely has sealed this round in favor oh of God. Dignitas and he actually finishes it with the wall bang. What a way for it to happen. Last 25 or so seconds if they don't deal with these threats, but Magisk has now been nullified. Dupree holding the line with Ooh. the eagle and it's headshot after headshot. 15 seconds left. Dupree, oh. another headshot. This man is unrelenting. The Danish demolisher is in full commission and it's Dupree behind the wheel. He just has to stay alive and this round goes their way and Kadian has no idea that he's on the site. That is oh. outrageous again. True. Alex will pick up the one that's trying to track them through the smoke, and that almost works out. Immediate attempt. At oh my god! That can't really be happening. And Electronic, how is he doing this again? Three kills, and two of them, if you blink, you missed it. On the forefront, Electronic's gonna get burned out. And that's a nice little pick from Bit, but simple. Nice trip quad! Oh. Quad kill on the hay bales. Sick. Guns them all down. With the farmer's one mag. Look, Look at this. this. Little flick too. Oh. <laughs> With an A plate from NIP, Masuta back here in CT spawn has Apex and Zaiwu inside the site to help him out. And Zaiwu, here's a nice start to the pit. What? Oh my goodness, he's on for the A. Oh. oh, he's gonna get it. And that right there is why I'm flying the the French flag right now. Can't do much more from Bank. He's got his teammates cycling on through. Nice nades coming through, actually. Yuri's down to very low, but my god, Mata Vinny is on top of things with a triple, with that clock finding every headshot as the complexity players spill out of these choke points. Vinny is going to have everybody here looking for the ace as he drops down. He wants it, and he's going to get it. The ace for Vinny on the pistol. That's how you start off a second map, especially after that Mirage result. Fury are surely going to be lifted after that performance. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Again, just had the base explosion. They needed to get that space in A, and it forced the CTs to have to feed through, and they just ran through the blender. Vinny, again, that new aggressor on the team, coming away from peripheral, being a more active player. Fools, eh? 
they are going to push in as you stay towards that B site. Can't see close range. Can he find multiple? Of course he can. What even sort of question was that is? He takes down Facey and Jerry. There goes Flips as well. Taps the four. Can he get the ace? Come on. Come oh, on. Jesus. The trades continue. Puts NBK in a 1v2 that's certainly not easy. But if he can isolate this duel, and he has a purple. Oh, oh, no. Let's go. Oh. That's what Kelly, I like. Screw Kelly. It's NBK. Oh. Pearson with another one. Kenny's up close. He will get taps in at least, but then Santeras close lines him out of it. Nexa, he's got to come alive here and now. He gets the second kill versus Searson. It's him and Keto locking horns, and Nexa pierces through with all three of those players. It's better late than never. Not with him this time, but he's got his team in man advantage. Oh, he's so aggressive. He's loving it right now. Maybe a little bit too much. So, and I can't believe he got that spin in, Lecro. That's just a Mars, and somehow he's able to put in a double kill. Not bad at all. And now they almost line up. This could all get taken away right here as all of my still will get one more in. It's that's, now one versus three. That's a, is that four kills for Lecro? Yeah. He's been an absolute monster with that Farmers coming out of the stairs. He's done perfectly. He's going to find the bomb as well. Olaf rotating back, 19 HP, one on two. He won't expect this. Wow. That's an ace for Lecro to keep NIP in the game. Well, that just doesn't need to They've only won singular rounds. They've never won more than one round in a, in in a row. row. It's been a really, really rough map for NIP. Yeah, Apex and RPK coming in through the tunnels together. Too many for Zen to deal with. Madden left up, 1v2 Ooh, now, 1v1. Baby. Madden holds it down from the car. Three kills to his name. This is where 100 Thieves should really show their dominance. Either way, it's going to be an aggressive push towards this B site early into the round. Somebody leading the charge, but is met by Lee as he runs out of bullets, but somehow still manages to survive and comes back. A third kill for him, four for Liaz, and it's left all onto Summer. There should have been no way he survived that round. Had some dinner. Wait to see here if Keto can make this happen. The turret, Tessus. No, it's going to be the turret, Keto. It's the other way around. Tessus signature move has been turned into the hands of Keto, oh and you get God. the 4K. This is next level, Tom. This no, is going for the ace. He's oh, what? Back. Keto's what? just aced the pistol around with dual Berettas. So they're going to use it for the execution. The eight damage will come through against several. And actually, they make the kills happen for it on the CT side. Jake Zula and Grim chiming in for kills, leaving it all to JKS. 17 HP. He's found himself one on the return. But the bomb needs to get picked up and planted 53 seconds to pick off the rest of the CTs here. And slowly but surely, he'll creep back over to the alleyway. And try and look for Grim, who has rotated off position, potentially rotation back to that B bomb site. But with time running low, and very few options available to him. He might have to force a plant again. No utility for this man either. He's got to isolate these kills. I don't think he saw Curry. He's expecting Grim. Spray is good for one. Oh, he gets the headshot. JKS with three frags. 25 seconds. Is he going to try and bait in a rotation? He surely hasn't got time to go towards the B-bomb site. He'll grab a smoke. Potentially cross against Spongy. AWP playing close on the cross. JKS needs to land his headshot. Not baiting in the orb oh. shot, but he makes the clutch work regardless. Four frags for him. A beautiful round for 100 Thieves. That absolute rock solid info that the second player is on B. MSL is going to creep back into the angle. Yugi playing a dangerous game right now, but the smoke denies his route. He was thinking maybe he could fall back into construction. Now he's oh. going to need these crisp AK headshots, and he starts off with the first one. Hit oh. the second. MSL's low. New oh, Jersey. Yugi. Seven rounds for Astralis off of the back of the 1v3 clutch. Multiple knife kills here. No, he's oh, just going to get the money. No, he's going to farm the Multiple cash. knife kills. Multiple yeah. knife kills. 3,000 bucks, baby. One. Oh, oh, he's going to get a second. Oh, 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 let's go. Does. That is so they good. They might still lose the round. Does catch the info on that jump, but he's expecting to be watched, and Crimson was checking it out. So, it's in position. Just a matter of time before this one ends, and maybe a knife is on the cards. It's gonna be seen for a while. Oh, it's been a while. Let's, Let's have do a couple. It. Let's have a couple knives. Oh no! Is it gonna work? Da -da. Da -da -da. Yes! Yes! Da -da -da. Let's it go. took us five maps, but we get the Fnatic knives out in full force. A double. He matches JW's record. He could have single-handedly won them this round. Let's not forget the rain is low. Robs has already caught him, and now they're coming from one direction. They can focus their attention, but Cold no. Sarah's on a mad one. 
This is epic from Cold Zera. Another one versus one. Three kills already, but Chris Ooh. J looking to shut it all down. And that's a nice move from Cold. He would have lost the round, I think. So he has to go for the plan once again. Loses half his health, but he has got a more of a fighting chance at this point. One more plan. Oh. And it's just beautiful from Cold Zera. Absolutely destroys Mouse Ward there. And this game is just warming up now. Oh, that was so perfect for Mouse, but Cold Zera, he had other intentions. Those first two was so quick. Let's see if we can catch any more of them. This was Carrigan, who I thought had just won the round. It was a good little move right there, but I don't think anyone was expecting this. Bang. Now, where's number two? Oh, oh my God! Oh, one bullet on Frozen. That's how you win a round. I, the readjustment on the plant as well. And there is no helping hand for him. He can't even backtrack his. He just needs to hit the headshots. He pops three. Unbelievable ace. That is stunning and sensational. I think they were trying to do that silently. But now Zelsius has been spotted, and nice frag onto Cirque. There's two in that pit. That doesn't even matter, because Zelsius is killing them all. Finally, he gets him. He won't expect Freakazoid. He will expect Freakazoid. And oh, another one! No. Freezy's back, baby! 9-7, and it was such a spectacular way to acquire it. It's there, but they still need to bring everything across Galil's MP9s. They're still not great even at range. Mantu's in middle. Oh. Alexi B through the smoke. Apparently, it doesn't seem to matter. Alexi B hasn't seen them. He hasn't seen any of these players. And he's going to find JW as ace. well. Could be the ace. A clutch required. Flash is low, and they are going to meet CT. Alexi oh B, ladies God. and gentlemen. The Finn finishes with style. And it will be a fourth as the defuse will be locked up. Looking for anything he can shop around for. Aminek, he may be the first to die, but Magisk doesn't check it. And Aminek sees them crossing. He turns out... Oh! What a way to start the day! That's it. Wow. That's the game. That's it. Yeah, let's, oh, a 4K. Oh, with a beautiful one tap at the end, too. He should be walking in straight to his death here and waiting arms off Magisk. Well, not yet. He gets to kill. 1v3 now. He's got a smoke. He's got a Molotov. He's got a utility to work with. The problem is the other three players are ready and waiting for him. He taps the ball, pulls him into the open. First kill for Borth is on to some guy young. Now he has a little bit of time to play with in terms of getting the bomb down and getting a better position. He indeed has a chance to win this clutch. He's gone back to control room. One position towards ramp, the other at decon. He's starting to move forward, mere limiting the positions. Each and every position limited starts to tick off the list. They know Borup will be towards control room very shortly. They will know he's either flanking around the door and now they're sticking the defuse running forward. He's gonna spam away, opens the door, denies oh, the defuse. No and now 1v1, the time is ticking. Nick goes through the spray away no and way. Borup wins the clutch. 19 what? rounds for Heroic and a huge clutch from Borup. Almost out of bullets and has to reload and Kalix is wondering why is there no one here for me to fight? I'm sure they would have loved to push that fight into A for Kalix to pick it up and there he goes. Strong shot. Still a minute. Still a minute. We're going to face him together, it looks like, as well as the smoke clears. This is going to be the big fight. And he has realized it now. That's exactly how you do it. One and two. Kalix clutches it for Envy in the end. G2 to cross over to Tetris, but this is a classic trap. You've gotten stuck on Tetris, and you need somebody to crack open this bomb site. It looks like Kenny could be their man. He comes in from connector. Oh, has cover. And the quick shot versus electronic. Oh, another. Perfecto. Dropped off of catwalk, but the time. That's in so far so good i mean this is all really really cool putting down the bomb almost immediately still got five members alive sneaking in behind oh robs with a kill oh he's gonna continue lining up what a triple absolutely surgical and he's looking for more quad kill now all of them headshots so this is impressive and finally very much going to have to spot 
Both sides frozen, doesn't quite have an angle. So the front side of the crane wants to get flashed in, knew he had to go aggressive. CTs likewise can't push back through and retake the position, so they've got to go for a retake post plant. That's a huge kill from Kicker because they wanted to get not only the planter, but immediately take away the post plant situation. He is playing excellent. Four kills for him in the round. HP that he's up against to the positioning, similar without the flank against him, but no easy task because they have smoke in place and it will be an ace. What a brilliant one. He's simple still with the AWP and of course, audacious as ever. He wants blood. He hasn't been spotted, has he? Now he spots many targets, multiples. And he's oh, gonna get twisted as well. Surely not a third. Green oh, added to the on. list. And Cadian the other, they're lining them up for a crossfire. In come the T's. Are they gonna check all their angles? They need their due diligence. They're not gonna start off with that, but they do get the kills down from none other than Zai Wu. And the retake comes in the cards for the Danes. It's going to rely on Borup and Nico for some nice crisp headshots here. Double flash goes over, wasting no time to dump the utility. A little bit of time wasted to get some kills, but the CTs do connect too. And then they get sandwiched. Borup, he's actually down into the 1v1. It's the Zaiwu pistol ace. That's what he needs, and he does it with the knife. Vince, explain this. Closed. And the rest of the gang has smoked off in mid, but the B players are holding their ground, at least right now. A bomb plant is available to Rops at a bare minimum, and that's something for Mouse Sports to work with. He's retrieved an M4. I don't think it's got any ammo left in it, so he's got to get this done with the Deagle, and he does find the first man in. He's just checked, and yeah, it's oh! another for Rops, and the Deagle might be all what? the takes, Rops! What in good name is that? A fourth on the board, Mouse Sports. Rops is here, he's behind the smoke, he can go through, Config's looking deep past it, and Rops has a window, Rops has a gap, no one's watching this, and Rops could shut down this entire round on his own. Ooh, Rops, come on man, let's get it, 1v4, and he's opened up with one, they've left the bomb, they've left the bomb, oh no, Rops is sticking it, they jump up, but the shots are missing, Rops has got the defuse, and no one gets him off of it in time. Mad Lions are going to try to recover it, or at least look to recover it. Molotov locks it off as well. Shush gets a kill through middle with the scout. Look at this. You can see Roy. He just, they really want this weapon. Oh, Ooh, nice work from Shush. He needs to get rid of Chris J, and he's being given opportunities to do it as well. Three kills off the back of the scout. There are just big plays round after round at the moment. And he just, this is ridiculous. He's going for the ace at the moment. Just one more needs to be connected. And Frozen just peeking back. Surely this is going to be it for Shush. A ridiculous round off the back of the scout. This pistol already exploding onto your screens. Blame F behind triple, helped out by Poison. Oh, and Blame with the two taps gets them both. It's left to Shocks in the 1v3. It makes the jump, but did they hear it? No one's looking at window other than blame for the palace poison tucked. Can't get caught for now. Now he's looking to the right place. Now Shox is trapped in, although he doesn't know it. Not really many options to go. On a timing, he could make the CT. So JKS needs to consider that back flank. Yeah, this is a really rough spot to be in. There's so many eyes looking at him. They're so aware that this is likely where he's heading. And so shocks, it's going to require... Oh, oh no, oh, Poison dear. checks close left. Now they've been holding... Like, Blame F has been watching. Admittedly checking connector on timings, but my goodness. All right, one on two from a 1v3. Yeah, and the bomb down in one of the most inopportune positions. Shocks is going to have to land some bangers right here. 40 seconds. Oh, he's anticipating that JKS is going to go top ticket again, and that's not the case. JKS just jiggling... And the longer that Shox waits for these fights, the less time he has left. Blame F still hidden, still waiting. Oh. Retrieve. Oh, oh Shox now down to the 1v1. He's leaving. He's, he's trying oh. to feign it out. He's trying to fake Blame into a peak, and Blame is oh. going to give it to him. Oh, no. Oh, Shox with a hell of a round. Vitality on to nine. Through that window, who knows? Point being, we've moved into another crucial round, but Twists okay. just blasts Mayern away. Hold on. They tried to go one better, and suddenly this round gets turned right back on its head. MIBR have advanced positioning here in middle, but Twists takes down two. MIBR have no reason to move. They just have to hunker this down, but KNG, he's getting a little frantic here. He turns away his attention at the worst possible time. That gives Twists another chance to win this round. He has all four kills thus far, and Taco, he's gone to the other side, oh. so Twist is gonna take the ace! 
Oh my god, the defuse a it's ten close. second. Oh, oh. Nap clutches it. Big one blind, a second for FNS as well. This is a step up. The IGL trying to lead by example and with Tarek left alone, they line up. Two headshots in a second. He knows that there's another around this corner. Seems like Tarek. His turn to try and clutch. My god, infinite. If only he knew the player pushed up and now Tarek needs to turn his sights. And he catches it! What a shot out of Tarek! Don't tell me he clutches this. 1v4, and now he's got infinite to find. The bomb is ticking away. And Tarek has an idea where he's coming from. Pushing straight in through CT. He ducks under the vision of him, but Tarek gets the kill nonetheless. 12 to 1. And Tarek, he's got his content now. What? A, wow. Honestly, wow. But Zen was unseen, unchecked, and the last one bullet. God sent, narrowly taking the pistol. It comes oh. off of Zen. Sharp shot from Sirison. 0, 0.00 rating on this map. Crystal. Leading the charge. Tabs it walks in dim, and that's a quick demise. Saracen will get a tag, which is good, but it's not a oh. kill. He'll have to reface for that, and he's successful in finding it. Ooh. Continues to rain Ooh. fire and hell. Brimstone will come through and swallow oh. up God said. That's a nice clutch from Saracen if I've ever seen one. Quick redirection. A misdirection. A sleight of hand. Test S up close. Double headshot with the Glock. Very good. Ooh, baby, a third, a fourth, and on for the ace. Tessas kicks it off. How are you going to start off map two that way? That makes things very dangerous. We can see there is a smoke outside the door, but Big did a good job to compromise the position of Vitality in a oh. short B position. And a quick two burst from Zantares, who's ready for the third. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, doing Tars. even more damage. In the blink of an eye, Robin splattered all over the place. Ooh, that is that is a big kill indeed, but you can see Flit, he he just wants to go all the way and, and maybe make his way up. The problem is it's been actually left behind on the stairwell. They actually had to backtrack and give up space on the side to go back for it, but it may just come down to frags anyhow. But Thomas, he's the one winning the fights. He's now into a 1v1 against Facecrack. The bomb being down actually plays to Facecrack's benefit. He's able to escape with it and run it all the way to the A side of the map. Thomas, no idea where it's headed. He's on for the quad kill, on for the clutch to force an OT. He's starting to figure things out. He'll know now for sure where he needs to head. But again, he only has a couple of directions to choose from, and that means Facecrack can just kind of back off and feel pretty confident he knows where it's coming from. This is messy. <laughs> this is messy. But Forza, they have a chance here to make it a clean finish. One more headshot. That's all it takes, and it's all over for this map. There's the pressure on the bomb. Thomas, he's absolutely nailed it. <laughs> what a beautiful prediction there towards Side Ali. He has outbrained it, and that is going to mean we are going to overtime. Well played to, uh, to, to Endpoint. Head in their hands. They need to try and keep the dream alive here and run it back again. Hampus playing close to the outside smoke. He tries Ooh. to go through, but that proves to be his demise. For a second, it's all on Searson. This is for the map. This is for the game, and he's waiting in the window. They have no idea. The smoke phase, a missed oh. shot. He gets the kill. Oh. He gets him off the bomb. The pistol's out. The P250 might just save big once again. And he's done what? it all on his own. Four kills, 23 rounds. Let's keep this game going. The defensive angle with Nico all the way out to the long. Who'll win the same duel? Nico will. Ready and waiting, controlling his aim. Bob goes into the crosshair of Tizian. 1v1, just escapes around the corner. 40 seconds to go. Tizian on the hunt. He's just trying all the tricks in the book. Bomb picked up, but Nico on the other side of the smoke, and the rotation is coming in from the other teammate. It's down. 30 <laughs> seconds to go. I don't think there's any way he can make it towards B now. I do question if they think he's just gone back the other way. Oh, now he makes noise. Stown definitely. Yeah, I, that definitely gives things yeah. away for Stown, but he gets past, and if he Actually, runs the gauntlet, he can get the plant. There is enough time for Tizian to do this. But the rotation's already there from Nico, who's going to make his way towards heaven. The bomb is going to be planted, but there's nades coming back through, and he'll just about get it. Blinding in the flames, he hits the shot, though. And this gives him a chance. Him facing off against Stown, just 13 HP. This looked impossible just moments ago, but Tizian somehow brought it into contention. Stown deciding to lurk within the smoke, and he will have heard the drop. So we'll have a decent idea of where Tizian is going to be as he looks for the pick. He misses, though. May get a second chance. He hits the no-scope through the wall. Tizian with the one versus three clutch.
that never should have happened. What a shot from config. <laughs> Sit down, Apex. It's horrifying, isn't it? Cyber was standing in the wall. <laughs> that's just his head showing. That's, I mean, it's, that's so hard to spot. What a beast. But Blame will take down the Suture and RPK, and Shock's doing his best to try and tap that one away, but it's not going to work out. 50 seconds now for Saibu in a one versus three, and he'll drop the bomb right there on Rush, so that gives him way more of a chance. And now he's out of the open. Why is he walking in here? He knows that the bomb is there, surely. He's so exposed here, but I guess the fact that they haven't seen him means he's suddenly at a huge advantage. They, I don't think they'll expect him to move here. To me, this seems like an absolutely mad idea, and it's working. I, I don't understand. This man knows no fear. And now, oh, well, I like this. Duo, Surely. work together. Yeah, but look, they think he's over there. They, I mean, I don't even blame them. He would have to be crazy to do this, and he crazy. is crazy. He's gonna get blame at first, and then JK is left. Oh my God, what a quad kill. And honestly, the, the relocation in the middle of it. Now they know the footsteps, Centares, oh, Eagle. Oh, wow. he's gotten three. How on earth, Centares? So they go in, they trudge along. Zeppa and Leaf, who else to lock down the B-bomb site? It's gonna be Zeppa extending past the smoke. TRK, he goes ahead and clears the bomb site, but the defenders did their job. They cut it down to the one versus two, and TRK, with the match on the line, is pinned behind Nubox. There's no incendiary for Chaos. Oh! oh he peeks into them! TRK, double headshot! Oh, Time wow. ticking away. Over half gone now. We are starting to see the first CT presence on that. It's Misuta to try and fake it out. And on the side stick. Oh, no. Oh, he's got a knife. Oh. And he's slashing. He's gashing. He's got it. On the bomb Wait. again. He's trying no. again. And he gets him. Shocks him with a blade in his back. And Sticko's trying to clutch it. I think, I think we got a power play with it, boys. We have on control. They're giving up Catwalk by and large. But now Carrigan's going to get tested. And he passes with flying colors as he passes a bullet between the eyes of attacker. Somebody, though, is holding the line with his orb. Two kills to his name, narrowly missing out on a third, but he's going to get pushed by two sides. He's still alive. He's still kicking, and he has batted down Mouseport. It's a solo effort from what somebody. What a ridiculous play that actually is. 7-2 lead to boot. Flashbang at the ready as well. Will start to move back. Peek out as two. AWP misses his shots, but he's been scouted out as he moves back. Will have to take the duel. Oh. One tap straight to the face of Nexa as well. Nico against Kenny, yes. A one versus one. Kenny without the kit, so he needs to get this done and quick. Nico is coming in from behind. Kenny fakes out the defuse. Nico is just using Kenny's nerves against him. G2 trying to pretend like they're sticking it, but Nico with two taps. Two taps. That's all he needs. Ziwoo's comfortable. Misses the shot. Nice movement here from Searson. 2v2 ensues. And now we're down to the 1v1. Santeras. Is bomb in CT or on cat? On cat. Oh, he'll get it. And he's gone. Yeah, he'll run away. I think the info will be there, maybe, that he had it in that position. And Xanteris is trying to... Oh, he's trying to make sure he doesn't get punished crossing mid. Oh, but he's he waited really, too long. Yeah, he could have gone tunnels here. He'll have to walk out, but it seems like he'll have open lines. And now oh, he'll run... Oh my and now Navera's going to get his back. Are you kidding me? Ooh, it's close. What? He loses just a little bit of health. Bomb planted in the nick of time. And Xanteras, knowing Nevera is hot on his heels, posts up on the plat. <gasps> oh, what? shut up! What? He just... He throws the... You rat. He pulled that off like he thought he was simple through the doors. Okay, Electronics AK has been put to bed before it can get out of hand. And oh, disbalance. A very unfortunate miss. Does mean Perfecto can take him down. Oh no, if this translates into a round, Disbalance is going to be very red faced. Another tag from the scout puts Magics on notice down to 15. Oh, he thought SDY was going for another look. Why is Perfecto's scout so scary? They're grouping up. All three are fighting. It's going to be all six members towards Yard. And another frag. It's working. The scout alone has made the round out of nothing. Simple went down early. Electronic recovering a frag and a rifle that now sits on Boomich. He's gone down. Perfecto. Perfecto. Go on, Perfecto. Finishes it with four. Magnificent stuff. Of complex EJT is going to get pop flashed in. It seems like he is just waiting for the queue. Here they come. They're all blind. One player spotted. The next man not going down. The AWP keeps control for complexity.
for CTs to encounter towards short. Good flash catches him off guard, but what more can he do? One good shot on MOTM. Second man spotted as well up against OC. He sees him, but he can't get the shot together. Over towards Ram. He gets another 1v1 up against OC. Poison goes ham. And that's an ace for Complexity's eighth. I couldn't afford many cool skins when I first got skins. So I think the graphite was about eight pound. Pretty cool. And bye bye Acor. Maybe this Kutch has got some legs. Simple. Makes quite the announcement of his presence into main. Hoops, he's holding the cross and he's missed it. That's no fun. The underperforming oh. in-game leader from Mad Lions has given Simple room to move and room to fill his lungs with a fresh set of air as the bomb goes down. This looks so winnable now. Both players for Mad Lions on the A bomb site. Bomb goes down, sound cue comes through, and they know that they're in the wrong place. And simple, he could be anywhere. Yeah, he can evap he could just completely evaporate now. They've got, they've got to answer so many questions, and I quite like that they're traveling as a pack. Kit, Hooksy, Smoke, Shush. Combined, that's a lot of pressure on an AWP trying to clutch. I hope they don't waste too much time. Oil is the jewel. He hears them. And he hits the crazy quick scope. Simple. On for the 1v4. This is exceptional. He's running out of time. Shush needs the kit. The smoke's on it. He doesn't have the kit. Oh. He baits him in. Does he have the time? He doesn't have the kit. And Simple's done it. Just like that, the star of the show steals a round from four mad lions. He drops here. So in the connector pushes the smoke. But that is not going to work wonders. Hampus low. Still lives to fight another day. Tizzy and need to mow down. There's a great spray, but he won't get the second kill. And at this point, every shot matters. Rez is dead as well. Tizzy versus two Whoa. low HP players. And he's going to be able to hold his own. Standing tall, staying alive. Keto coming in through the middle. The AWP is going to get spotted and tapped, but no significant damage. Tizian has 20 seconds. He sees the barrel. He can spray. He can pray. And he might be able to ace. It's done. Vera and Zaiwu, two of the young bloods. They were meant to re-energize Vitality. Well, they've now got to step up. Make that just Zaiwu. They always ask this man to clutch. They always oh. ask him to do it. And he so often delivers. Oh, power. Oh. No, not a third. It's down to Magisk again. And Zaiwu's got to relive the pass. Oh, oh my word. Vitality on to five. It is Woxic and it is frozen up on top of the graveyard looking for the shot, but Summer rips his head clean off and Woxic on the Deagle needing a 1v3. Finds the first, knows Freeman's position, but there's still the unknown factor. Zeta looking to make the rotation. Woxic onto the UMP, gets the second and Zeta in the 1v1. Woxic needs the headshot and he'll get it as well. Woxic with the 1v3 and the A-bomb site is held strong by Mouse Sports and that is exactly what Tyloo didn't need. Three chances to find a kill, and unfortunately, the, the AUG betrayed him. And it just seems to be battle after battle. Nice shot from Farlig, though. We're seeing the AWP, but then there's an instant trade. Crystal trying to run up mid. Left his teammates in a bit of an awkward spot, and Snatchy thus far hasn't really had much of a part to play so far in this map. That's a nice shot, though. Using the smoke, getting into position. A second connected as well. He gets the third. There's only Farlig remaining. Snatchy looking to try and pick up an ace to get their second round on the board. He's not going to be able to do it. And Farlig is looking for a response. He spotted the man in the graveyard. This is only a 1v2. He finds the kill. No way. That is genius. How did he know? He read Favon like a book. Made it a 5v4 immediately. Oh, chance here. RBK gets a solid entry, but a greater spray from Blame F. Shocks will eventually trade. 1v3 opportunity for him. There is a player low that's poison. He has a lot of time to work to try to draw up a picture that's in his mind for how he thinks this clutch will go. He'll play it standard now as the bomb goes down. Yeah. Will this be the correct option? A 1v4, in fact. Like you said, poison susceptible on 18 health. But Shox is patient at the moment. Poison. Oh my god, he runs through his own Molotov, making the kill even easier. A fadeaway frag, and one back the other way. He's just going to be looking to play this post plank. He needs headshots, oh, and he's got them! He does it! Shoxy keeping Vitality in this. Four kills. A little jiggly. Given nothing. Oh my god, he got close enough to find the line. He's pushing him. Oh, oh my goodness! Simple actually does it. He defies every expectation I have.
every time I watch him. Yeah, oh, they know the position, Kanji. Oh, Taco wins that somehow. That's incredible. But still a tough time. Kanji adds one more. They know the position of Roy. No Molotov, no smoke to hold him back. It's got to be a kill, and he's going to challenge against Taco. Fallen has a kit, but Roy puts a stop to it before it can even begin. What an incredible one versus three from Palace. Yeah, I mean, we talked about his scout. The fact it's the second highest kill statistically and nice reactions. The two kills Rops has found so far, I think he's fired three bullets. And there's a fourth. Oh wow. my God, he is looking at Robotic. He gracefully Ooh. executes another as he strafes away from the scout bullet. Giving bomb site. Giving B, giving big. Basically B at this point. Rotate on ramp. Nice shot for Alu. He's got the one open this round. He needs to do so much, and he's already starting off strong. Two shots, a third for Alu, oh. and the bomb is loose. Ends in a four on two. Now, this is one they really shouldn't lose. But we've seen it before, and maybe we'll see it again. Oh, Alu goes for the ace. Tizian coming down the vents. Last alive, last remaining chance for big in this round. Takes down John Pete. Alan 26 HP starts to aggress through decon. Nice. Alu gets his ace at the end of it all anyway. Two players here to try and stand above it all. It's Keto and it's Centares. Missed shot from Keto to open. And now. Oh, okay. All right, Keto. How on earth does he manage that? They line up for him. The stars have aligned. And now Amanek left in a 1v2. Up against the scout and an AK that Tabs has been able to get his hands on. Amanek saw him there, takes Ooh. the peak, and now he's looking to offer up something sick of his own. It's down to a 1v1. Tabson out through the tunnels. Amanek looking so many angles to bear in mind. He goes above oh, and delivers. Wow. Amanek closes it out in the clutch. Keto with the scout collateral. What a crazy round. What a wild round. But ultimately, Amanek is the savior of G2. What a well-played clutch. Despite that incredible once-in-a-lifetime shot for Keto, it's not going to matter. Quick flick for a one-on-two in the site, and then the fake party reads Searson in mid, and off of the back of that kill, immediately realizes Tabson has to be tunnel. Guaranteed kill for him. He doesn't miss those. And he's got a few more on the plate as well. Looking for his third. Simple. Starting to wake up now, but still, it's going to be up to Brokey to try and bring this one back in their favor. P250 has drawn the perfect weapon to take that perfecto. Low HP no. could find Boomage as well. I think he gets his kill, Chad. Looking for the quick scope now, and this is where Brokey shines. If he can show us another clutch here, it would be absolutely fantastic. Two versus one right now. Pressure is on. Time to work with Smoke Deployed. And this is where he's oh. doing something with this. This smoke is huge. He has a gap. Does he know another player is close? Brokey playing around. Oh. He's isolated. He's got Boomage. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Can he get slammed with Brokey? He's done it. And has he broken Na'Vi here? This is nuts. Wound. I'm mad. Yeah. I'm straight up mad. Like, how is it not a timer? I know these guys are constant professionals. I know they're great at what they do, and they will maintain, and they will try and persevere. But trust you me, I my blood is boiling. I'm sure theirs is as well. Blame F trying to do everything he can. One oh, by okay. one, they peak. And one by one, they fall. And now he's got the 1v1. He's got the bomb. He's got 35 seconds. Hadian does have that full util kit. He's got everything he'd want to try and kind of defuse this building situation. Oh, blame given the chance to and he's got the aim to back it up. He's going around the world. There, Kadian goes down. It's a clutch and a one they needed. You said he's leading from the front. Blame does it again. Yeah. Clutches for two. He wanted a strong in-game leader. On two players on a and what their setup was initially. He's he knows. Oh, about this, he can swing out. Ah, oh, he's could be an easy trade. He's gone what? too far, he comes back for more. Damn, Kadian, but Kierby, he's got information. He's he one fumbling over towards Graffiti. Still, he is shut down. Kadian takes the initiative. He could have just hidden on site had he chose to. Goes it <gasps> again? What? Oh my God, how is this man alive? An opera shotgun, pick. He's got some sort of aura to keep him standing. Katie and locks it with the 4K. Big showing. Device cruises in to find Yampi, and now it's all just him. In a one versus four at the moment. That bomb, oh, grenade deep in. Is it gonna be enough? There's one, a headshot as well. Oh, oh dear, that's a massive double kill. And Device saves the round for Astralis. That is so ridiculous. But they're gonna double back through spawn. We've got. One player pushed incredibly close. BMAS, he's gonna get a handful of Emmy. Oh, and they line up for him. And Madden, he's incredibly low. BMAS, oh, oh! He is in a round winning position. 
He's dropped the bomb single-handedly on the ramp push, just as God sent were putting distance oh. between them and Mouse Force. BMAS busts through. Either as the smokes and molotovs are being deployed by Singularity, they force Get right away. He can drop a flash to try and delay this input, but Hallzerk has been found. That is ridiculous, Forrest! What on earth is that quad kill? Absolute insanity, and he shuts down Singularity. Obski only sees them as they come round the smoke, and therefore players like Device are up for grabs. So is Rez to S tag. He pushes B, baits the peak. Obski's still waiting up as well, but no one's coming into this position. This Deagle can be deadly up close. Oh dear, the spam is good. He's found two more S tag. The orb oh. is gone as well, and he is just absolutely ruined. NIP on a low economy round. It's terrifying, and as he creeps forward, this should be the end of Twist. Oh. There's S tag with the ace. Orp to round it out, four with the Deeg, one with the Sniper. Skinned out here in the beginning of the round, and they didn't overcommit to either, but leaving those players in position for a long time. They have all begun to split back out now into the default, and with that, Forrester has caught the aggression from Flamey around short already, a five on four for Hard Legion. About stopping the bomb plant, never mind. Crad did just fake it with that first tap. The issue is now the rotation's being given time down through Connector as well. Rage is gone, and it's all on Crad and Forrester to try and save the day. Forrester is still fragging, though. He's actually looking for the ace clutch right now with three to his name already. Pushes out to force the fight against Electronic, brings it down to the one-on-one, -on -one, and he finds Simple as well. Forrester is just insane. Like, think about the amount of times they lost the opening pick on Long. I mean, it was almost every round. Now they're battling middle. Carrigan just goes straight through. There's nothing they won't push. Vince, we have a game on our hands. Oh, we absolutely do. And it's like the delayed tactical magic now starting to come up from Carrigan. Can they keep it going, though? It's up. One on three with 15 HP to his name. Doesn't have the bomb either. Now, listen, Mouse Sports, I know this has been a beautiful turnaround. You've landed some madness, but do not play yourselves out of this. It's a could get corporate. Robs has his head removed. This is the issue. Sometimes you get too aggressive. You let that confidence dictate everything. This is a, I was about to say, does he realize he doesn't have the bomb the way he was moving? But of course he does. It's in middle. And can he get this? Oh, oh my God! The one tap of dreams! It becomes a nightmare for Mouse Sports. That should have been theirs. But we'll find out if they can come back after this break. Don't go anywhere. Just can get themselves back into this half. It did look like Vici was pretty much in control. And oh. it may well still zoking. <laughs> no, it's Jamyun. Who am I reading? What well, it doesn't matter. Deagle, of course. He's not oh, zoking. Jam Young. He's cracked open pretty much aside oh, no. by himself. <laughs> He's doing his best flying impression what? at the moment. I've no! seen these single rounds before <laughs> as Jam Young just single-handedly just goes to Invictus and goes, you know what your economy is? It's now in the bloody bin. Five Tarek's burned though. He's going to be a little bit crispy around the edges, but he stands. Grand Faction's there. Tarek holding on for dear life, but now just JKS. Where's that bomb? He's got it. He's picking up the AWP. He's a madman. It's a 1v2. This is a JKS special right here. Baiting out the plant, nobody's close. Nobody was close for this. Precious seconds now, being taken off the clock. He's on high alert, he has no idea. Smoke towards Banana. Flash towards Pool. There's no one else you'd want in this. Look how safe EG are playing this. They are not gonna make any mistakes with this one. Stan and Breezy being as patient, as calm as they can be. Another fate comes in, he draws them closer. With every Q, they line, oh! Oh my god, the spray JKS! What a way to close it down, the man's a god! A lot of damage being put down, but if they were to find him without any trade, suddenly Complex's defense would be out of balance. Rush making a good job grabbing Axile before he dies. Yeah, Blame Mephra's ready to lock that down. Shiro, he's up with Inters, and Blame, he falls for the trap. Oh. Inters is not done yet. They might not expect his position at all here. Inter's behind the wall. He's looking to try and hold on. But Config, he's trying to sideswipe him. He doesn't quite expect oh. it. Config misses a key shot. The reload's coming in. Inter's set to get the ace clutch. No way is it. Oh. Oh. Inter's a madman saves the day for Gambit. The ace in play. Yeah, JW still has an HE. So we could get that final grenade in. Oh, oh there, there we go. Yes. One on top. Beautiful grenade, three for one. Oh, Big could just move into the B site if they wanted to though. There's only one CT there. Keto caught with poor timing here. Oh, great shot from Keto. 
Kito still with the high ground. Sirsa now has got a lot to do. Smoke is up for the time being. That's a nice one dig from Kito. Oh, oh. another one! That leaves Lucas alone. Oh. oh my god, he's got them all. Big make it to four in a very unlikely round. I'm surprised that Katie's even going for this. I thought it would have been an instant save on the trend so low, but Katie's been able to work on the edge of this smoke. And with Wiz incredibly low, so with Pawnee, this is still very doable. Katie's now alone. One versus two clutch. She's on for a 4K. Got a little bit of utility in terms of the flashes. As you can hear the footsteps of them progressing. Katie lining them up. The clutch is going to come through. A quadra to come out for her. And a ninth round for Mythic. Lays down the smoke grenade in the face of Masuda, who just jumps right up and tries to find this chase. Oh, and he's going to find the back turn. They were changing guns. They were trading weapons. And Masuda doesn't respect the ceasefire. Comes in quick. Three kills. Slays them all. And then some. A fourth kill for Masuda. He is 22-7. and seven. Glaive. His teammates scattered across the A site. He knows that weapon's in the middle of it all, but Masuda's got the ace, and Vitality have 15 rounds. Off guard, now Mihu's gonna be over on the outside site, but then again, a lot of flashes have bought him some time. He spokes off over for his ladder room, gets around the corner, gets a kill on the phone, and Mayor, not somebody gets himself a third. How does he do this? Oh my oh. god, and he takes Taco down. Oh. Don't know it, but they are walking into a trap. If the flash is paid, but Leaf oh. misses an opportunity. Still two players on side, though. It's not easily quite. Yeah, Marky with the oh. perfect time. He's going to mow them down. CJ answers back with the kill of himself. Marky now known in his position. That kill is going to decide everything. Whoever wins it probably wins the round. Winning on timing. He knows he's got Cindy coming in from the back, bouncing around, oh. finds the kill onto Zeppelin. Now Marky's alone, finds the first kill and the second one! Marky does it all! Ace for him! The flashes will follow. Popsky's gonna smoke his site. Oh dear, two man advantage immediately into the bomb site. Olaf is burning. He swapped position as he gets towards the bench. Down to 50. Brokey with another kill. This AWP in the post barn could be so versatile. FaZe just need that plant. And Nico, he's getting all the kills behind it. They don't know that both players are in the market, and Lecro's already oh. out. Rez has combined with another, and now it's Nico. 1v1 clutch versus Lecro on the other side. That nade has done Ooh. so much damage. Nico's got to wow. land on one top, and oh, boy, does he do it. Oh, whoa, phase 17 wow. on the board, and they take the oxygen out of my lungs. Nico, man, incredible. His 29th kill in the game mad mad and just so confident that he was gonna land it that had to be a one tap or else it was done yeah. and nico that was impressive as again obo will be trusted to play b solo poison and lane up looking to be aggressive once more at middle smokes in their faces but poison slipping through is gonna find art finally an opening kill for complexity it feels like they've had a hard time finding early advantages in these recent rounds but now it's all coming together right when it matters most yeah that art moving up by himself on cat like that is a huge tell of a B-split. The classic, more Danish type B-split that we used to see from MSL teams. And now Poison is just absolutely smashing them. What a flick shot. Now he's just starting on them. Dies. Headshot coming in from Sunny. This bodes well for Ensis' defense, at least at the start of it. Walks it the only player to get a headshot until Floppy starts to chime in. And he's got himself a second, but Heaven's already compromised. There's a player up there. Oh, but that tap and a chance at the last. Sloppy with the 4K. It's Ricky Brrrr Camaro. Look at this re-entering. That's so good with this smoke. Ooh. That's a beautiful play by Dodo. The trades come back. Oh, my goodness. But we've already got this B-bomb site enveloped by Ents. It's a matter of pushing over the final hurdle. And it's from control that Alu does find Estatag. Floppy's position, he is 19-7 and seven here on Nuke. Oh, what's the play? The Molly. Oh, he's going to round it. Yeah. He's going to wrap it all the way around. There's no kit on the play launders. They, they have the stick from the other side. Floppy, then... he's going to find their back's turn. But it, it's a 10-second defuse. Doors go wide. Oh, he gets the bomb oh! and a second headshot from Floppy. He started this half with a clutch. And he ends it with 1-2. Bronze lost his life elsewhere, taking the initial duel. Golden, he's going to be forced out of windows just by bodies alone. There's just so many players, he's overwhelmed. Doesn't make, oh, make it look oh. like that! That's ridiculous from Golden! A third frag! I did not see that one coming. Frozen and Woxic. Oh, config. You can't just walk through a smoke like that. I mean, I guess he can, but he shouldn't be able to. Without rushing it one, he's not going to get the second, though, as Holzik shuts him down, but it puts into the three on two. Now the one on three. Plexi with the man advantage, Halzer with the op. And for the hopes that did a toss here in this match. Ooh, 
Oh, crossing here is going to be tough. He actually gets the shot onto Poison, though. There might still be a miracle play from him. Molotov not quite going to stop him. And he is going to plant on top of the boxes, which leaves Thing in a bit of an awkward position when it comes to fighting from long. The wraparound will come in from Config, though. This kill is going to be integral, and he doesn't even expect him to be this far back. Maybe the game will last just a little bit longer as Oboe doesn't have any utility. He realizes he's going to have to hit the shot onto the man on pit. Only a flashbang he's just picked up. And the AWP to try and close this one out. Initial shot missed. Not spotting anybody on top of the bomb though. It's going to make things impossible. And Halzerk, a 1v3, keeps the hopes and dreams of Dignitas alive. MFJW decides to peek, but Golden instead finds one with a deke. Won't go for the gun. JW's in the back line, and he's got two as well. well. The earlier damage done by Flusher finished off. And JW wants oh, more. Hey. He might take oh. it as well for JW. Wepa, JW. What an interesting decision. It's going to be Daps on the site taken down as well. Just going to be Kusta in the 1v5. Looks like Cloud9 are going to run away. But oh, what a spray from Kusta there, thinning the numbers of the approaching Cloud9 players. And there's low HP on Floppy as well. There is a world in which Kusta is able to win this one. He's going to be pushing through the smoke, using that to his advantage. He's able to take down one. He's going to find Floppy, in fact, bringing it to a 1v1 situation. It's just Sonic and Kusta. Oh, Kusta my God. A 1v5. Absolutely outrageous from Kusta. How on earth has he done that? That's unbelievable. I'm sure there'll be some spray in his direction, but VP don't know the climate at the back of the site, which will make them hesitate. So what a two-man spray down. Oh, he's made a three as well. What on earth is going on? <laughs> Yo, get the warping! No, oh, come on, he doesn't get the ace. Oh my days. <laughs> what was that? And does chip away at a good bit of health. Oh, and more where that came from as well. Rush. Config, what? Config gets three. We only caught the tail end. Put a full unload of his mag, nine bullets to spare. There is one on balcony. And he's hunting for JW. This Give him the nuts. ace. He is insatiable. Give him the USP frag for all I care. It is just Crims. They don't know where he is. He's opted for the orb and does lose his life. Now Crims presented with a one versus three. He could dunk him. It's good. Rush is low. And he's down a 1v2 now. Slowly making something out of nothing. Crims on match point, or rather map point, against him. He needs to pick up the bomb. He's been given the freedom to do so. JKS, though, is patrolling in the balcony area. It will be hard to plant default with JKS as he currently positioned. Crims needs to answer some questions, and he's not such little time to do it. Loud, heading into the site. Nine seconds, he does it just in time! Oh my god! He hits it, and he's got time to plant as well. This is phenomenal gaming. 1v4 from Crims, and there's only one more on it. Blame F, hunting him down, oh but he's got God. the precision. That reaction onto JKS is something else. He is something else. This is a dangerous position to be in. You've got rifles galore now on the seat. He's limited armor, but still plenty there. Leaf has to do oh. something incredible to save this now. Grabs Faction tries to make the play, but Leaf, with just three HP, is doing everything he can. And Azza has no. just been outplayed. Leaf just absolutely run rings around him. So that's uh, that's an issue. And look at what the attention of KNG goes to. He has to look towards Long, and that slows him down to help up Mayer in the site, who's got two kills, add a third on top. He's single-handedly held onto the bomb site. Oh, one more spin. It's absolutely beautiful for Mayer. And Ace, it's magical to start the day. He has been the man for G2, the reliable one. 24 kills so far, and he spots out the head. Down towards B, they descend, and Brokey and Rain hit the deck. Nexa to frag oh! the ball. Simple. He's confirmed Henny's location with his jiggle, and just taken down $7,000 with a bloody P250. Oh, oh no, he's on come on now. On. Recovering an AWP. If Perfecto hits one of these, it gets awkward. <laughs> He hits it! Now Simple's got a winnable clutch in it. Oh. He spots him and executes oh, him. On. Simple's having a round. Not he's having like a simple it. round. He's got the read. He knows he's coming middle, but he wants to bring the fight. Ah, uh, surely not anticipating this. 50 seconds. Simple could be anywhere. Oh. And he hits it! Simple, you're insane! Triangle of Doom setting around him. 
players in front of him to his left to his right he spots a player here very patient play they're unaware it could be a collateral it is a collateral he's got a fine three twist it's just hopping off the bomb down as well he spots the fourth he misses it but that's oh. okay he's done his job the no scope comes in as well twist he's just bullying them at the moment you think oh my and he's gonna end it with the ace holy jesus christ what did i just witness Ooh, Yuri Goes Oof. for one and he's gonna put up a real stellar hold here down in the pit four in the round looking for the ace Probably not gonna get it if I had to guess someone in the site might steal it away I'm looking at you Henny and Caserato Yuri chases it down and he puts five up in the round and you get to see why he is such a brilliant A site anchor from down in the pit He just he just get locks in the round single-handedly. That's all he had to do. Yeah, and uh, and that's great man Like you know, he hasn't really got to play in the last three rounds Just hasn't really got to do anything He's putting a lot of speed behind this one as well RPK gonna be surfing right down into mini and already this a bombsite could be compromised a lot Kill on Lecro, but the return is there for Rez, and he's now down on the hot with the Famas and Twist helping out. And this defense is looking pretty good all of a sudden. Saibu, the last one left, and he's going to take a dive into the vent with the bomb and a smoke, and still a chance for this one versus two to work out in his favor. Yeah, just going to go straight for the plant, not even worrying about where he's going to put that smoke. The question is, where does he go from here? Surely he's heard the footsteps of dropping down the vent as Knock and Twist go for a SWAT team retake. Smoke does nothing up there at all. He goes for the fight and Nock will go down now. Twist coming in from the same angle. Oh. Sai will win it, a quad kill. They put on the pressure round after round. Look at Apex, he can hardly believe it. The date has been read and so on, but here's the push, the surge from Versus Pro once more. Valde changing up his position. Can he get two frags out of this? That would be a miracle. He's got another 1v1 and there he is. Valde still alive, still resetting the situation. Buying time for his team, disappearing into nowhere. Another 1v1 destroyed on that B bomb site, but this time he delivers. Yeah, Buster had to roll the dice, but the game was rigged against him. To the tally, I have to say, this should be their first on their terrorist side. Searson, one on three, does find the pass. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a dear. 1v1. He's found the bomb. Searson says tea time is wrong, and it's all down to him versus Nico. The 1v1 to decide the fate of FaZe. Nico, the man behind the helm, and who better to take charge? Who better to take point? But Sersen has done it. A 1v3, 16-7. Door throwing in a flashbang and a smoke to get down, and they've got two people, and Glaive with a headshot. That is such a huge amount of success. Now, Simple did flank around to take down Glaive, that's not bad, but popping open the door, and Dupree will take the fight. Perfecto there, but the bomb, oh, they actually come off it. I think he almost wanted to do it immediately, Sip, but he waits. He did, but he was the only one in the bomb site, and that's a great Great follow-up kill from Simple, but Device is lying in wait, and he Simple's got another one. A third player coming to challenge, and Simple's ready for that as well. A beautiful performance, four kills, starting out with the CZ. He's got Navi on the board, one to nothing. All down to Chris Stout. And he has to find four, Keith. Not looking good. This is uh, scary territory. You have to save your AGF. Yeah, this T side is just sloppy. A big clutch required from Chris Dow through the smoke back into Arch. And with Getright coming back over, it's all about timing for him. He slips into library. He's actually got through. This is so awkward. Does he find another? He does. Get right's the last 30 seconds. Chris Dow will plant. I don't think he expects Get Right coming the way he does. Did he hear him? He does. Dodges a flash. Goes high, makes noise as he drops, bomb tap, peek in, get right there! What a headshot and a clutch from the young gun in Kristal. 10-10, right when you think it's grim, oh my. It won them the round, so they have to keep shocks here. This is effectively meaning that Zywu and Alex have got to try and get picked somehow from ramp, and they gift wrapped one for free from Olaf Meister. He's trained in on the cross. The flash will do nothing. He'll get the first onto shock. Zywu unable to trade. Alex at least gets one onto rain, but that's a bygone fact. Zywu gets another and perhaps opens up half an opportunity. Gets the no scope as well. That's the bomb down. Nico takes out his teammate in the meanwhile, and it's the one v one. It's Zywu versus Nico, the two heroes and Vitality will get it. Zai Wu with a quad kill on the AWP and he rescues that round almost single-handedly for Vitality.
Great play that pushes a player out, but that player just fights them as they go down. That's a dangerous move for Liquid, but they don't lose anyone on their way in. Twist will follow up onto Liaz, and it's all falling apart for Liquid as 100 Thieves come in on this retake. Twist has got aggressive bomb not for him, though he needs these kills, and he needs them now. There's one, two, and maybe even a third for Twist. He's spamming, and he's got it somehow, some way, leaving Jacob in the clutch. As said, bomb not planted for ramp. Twist has to come through with the help, and he will. The ace for Twist. What an unbelievable round to start. Information he can convey, and oh, a missed shot from Exit Power. Looks like he's just tagged instead. Tabson wants to hunt him down. Nate landing on his head. No, not quite. A little short. And now the shots are connecting. Big Clan looking a little, um, how would you describe this, Chad? Sporadic, spread out, lost. Uh, limp. Limp, that's what it feels like. I think when you consider the context of what happened in the previous map, losing the first half of Inferno 13 to two, and then having a bit of a comeback here, which was denied. Hold up, this gets Hold juicy. On. Okay, Hold on, feeling good. Now. They're actually pretty far away. Almeza in the vents, and we've got extra power coming from ramp. They still have a massive advantage, of course, but Sirison can make this work. He has to bring it down to the one versus one first. Comes towards the ramp. Can't understand this point, and he nails the first one. He keeps defusing the smoke, though, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh! oh! What? That's why he's considered a hot prospect within the big ranks there. Four kills in the round, and he steals it away there. Yeah, we'll see. Unfortunately, uh... I don't quite think so. Prism. Go on, my son. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, go okay. on. What has happened? Go on. Five HP. He's got the smoke. He's got the kit. Oh, I've done it in prison. What is Dude. that? That is insane. That is actually insane. That is insane. the best pistol, pistol clutch I have seen this year. Oh, CT Molly is going to slow them down, though, and two kills have come through. Shush and Hootsie both combining. Kicker gets one from behind. That was Shush who was pushed into the apartments. The A site could still be vulnerable here. Refresh committed to this position. He's got his teammate to back him up. Oh, good kill from Hooksy. Hooksy makes it a second, and it's into a one on two. Kicker already low on health. He's going to get the bomb. He's going to get onto the site, but does he know where these players are? It doesn't look like it. And if this flank comes in, Kicker might be in trouble. Acor about to go for the fight. Kicker sprays away and gets them both. Kicker somehow wins the 1v2 as Mad Lions line up for him. And somehow, danger has been averted. They're gonna get the bomb down here. Poison trying his desperate best to do something, but he will be denied, but Rush isn't quite done yet. He's gonna find one, two, looking for the third kill, but Kirby is holding the line and is lying in wait. Rush runs over the top, another kill for Rush! What a clutch from Rush, that is unbelievable! Complexity, they needed a miracle, and it's Rush the hero for the team. And all the while, all the bomb is in the B. I know we're getting kills on A, it's making it even worse. Then the fake is getting sold even better. But Sam actually does catch on right at the end, actually kills AZ and is getting into the site. Funnily enough, so maybe there's still a hope for Gen G. Yeah, Som has been on fire in some of these recent rounds. And oh my god, he's going to annihilate Kirby. He didn't even know what happened. And they're going to tap the bomb here. And it's a rush for the North players to get back in. And Som and Bentet, do you want anybody else in these pistol cl in, in a clutch situation for Gen G right now? They've been absolutely owning it. Gade is going to swing through the apartments, making all the sound cues. And Som is going to drop him like I don't even know what. That was nothing for Som. 15 seconds on the clock. Kido actually goes down, but I still think they're going to be able to hunt him down. And there's not enough time for Mihu to turn this corner. 10 seconds left. He's going to get the headshot, but I'm not even sure why Santeris is fighting at all. Mihu Oh! He gets it right through the wall! Have a few nades. Uh, I'm trying to find some positives here. At least that, that could help <laughs> them out a bit. But they also do like it a bit. So if it comes to a retake, they're going to be in trouble. But Alu has a little bit of revenge for what we've seen actually from Sirison with this guy early on as he goes for more. That's when you're feeling comfortable. This four on three right now is still pretty easily recoverable for big. Oh, okay. Maybe Alu <laughs> is still going to make sure that doesn't happen. He's just too good. He, it's like an op. He's just moving it around the map and it's working out for him. Pressure oh. could still be on, but Alu, why not? A 4k. He's looking for the ace. A little bit more pressure as is Hunter, who's over by jungle. Go Molly's go in. Where is that bomb going? They've got 15 seconds here. Amadek still stands as he stands tall. He's paranoid oh. about the apartments. They're running out of time, 10 seconds. It's all on Kenny S at this point. He needs to get that bomb planter. No, he's gone. Nico wide swinging what? onto Kenny. No time. It's a bang. He's got it. Straight through the box as Kadian was planting. Or oh, FaZe Clan are taking it. It's a four versus two. 
Reigns tugged in on the site after his funny business on ramp, and he loses his life, but Brokey doesn't miss much. Apex to clutch. Double kill so far on a bomb plant. That's certainly two very big steps in the right direction. Cold low. Olof might be forced to do this, and he is working on a flank. It's going to be a question of when he chooses to walk. Apex is miles away. Hunting for the 1v1, finds it. Now, where does he expect Olof to be coming from? Because he is working up ramp now. Walk key's hit. He's tucked into default. Olof has a bit of an advantage here, but the adjustment from Apex is very possible. <gasps> Looks away. It could be a freebie for Olof. It's all about timing. I think he may have been coming up on the balcony. Doesn't have the info. Time's getting sensitive now. Where are you? Oh, Olof, no. Completely and totally not. Should be knifed, I assume. He's not hurled it. He's just walked off. Well, that was a kooky round. It will be Vitalities. What? CTs will, however, have another buy. It's not the end of the world. Just yeah, but this is again just art doing art things. Aggression into mid. A quick headshot onto Moose. He's even going to go jumping into the window. He's got to be careful because me who waiting on the other side. But of course, Art wins that battle as well. Can Nifty trade in? No, he can't. Art is on an absolute tear, leaving just two players standing and what? Just ace it. Come on, just clear them all out. There's only one man left in your way, and Art's going to do the job all on his own. Let's see what he can do again in map number two. Three massive kills coming out to the top of Banana and Floppy. It's all down to him. 1v4. Oh, what? but he does line up too, Jay. Smoke towards Cross as well. We could secure a bomb point. It all comes down to Junior. Can't hit the orb shot blind, and he's going to secure a one-on-two situation. Again, a retake that he could still win, but Junior with the USP standing by. Low HP is Floppy at this stage. Junior turn away. Smoke's still up, it starts to fade. Floppy gonna wrap around this corner. He spots him, takes him down. Surely not. Not like this triumph. Floppy on for a one versus four. Thanks to one big misposition there, Curry. Smoke down the bomb site oh. and Floppy gets his 4K. I can't believe that. Committing into top mid, but they've gotta be careful they don't run into this stack. Yep, Molotov down, Esther Tyke about to swing on by, that's a lineup, a double kill. Oh, he gets the third as well, Esther Tyke shuts everybody down in this attack. And Heroic have been absolutely dispelled by one man. Nico has given up at the apartments. He takes one look and sees all his teammates are gone, and Esther Tyke with an ace. All five kills, and that's against the buy round. That's the kind of round that will fire you up if you're Australis. Observation as well, glass broken, shot's not going to be landing, and Config's the one to pick that up. Poison with another, and that's it. We're going to go to an overtime unless Golden's got it in him. Oh, maybe not. Am I calling it too early? Plan will come through. They're not going to continue aggressing. Actually, Poison gets blinded by his teammate's flash. And a 1v3. It's difficult. It starts with a headshot, and he makes it through the single door as well. Oh, oh my god, what? Golden is inspired by Brolin right now. Pops out for the headshot on Russian. It's all on Blame F. He's actually tagged up. Golden's going to wait for the top on the bomb. He runs oh. out. There it is. Two crazy rounds in a row for Fnatic to close out Nuke. Drowned Hugo. This should not have eluded Maus any day of the week. Frozen in a 1v4, and he has nailed the first man, so maybe still in with a chance, but this is not an easy spot to be in. Frozen, half health in a 1v3, crossing down towards outside, and he gets peaked, but he's dealt with them both, and now Frozen getting this back into a doable situation for Mouse Sports, for this man, Frozen nails it, four kills, and the round for Mouse, he saved the day. He's even holding off the rotation, actually doesn't hit on Obo. It's a dangerous shot to miss, it, especially against such a dangerous man, but it doesn't matter. Gets that kill, eventually at least notices that Blame F is coming even in from behind, even if he doesn't get the kill. But suddenly it's a one on two. There is some hope now. There's a smoke that could be used to isolate oh. the fights, but he expects the elevated crims. Takes him down. Knows that Brolin is in towards the pit now. Puts the smoke in where he's standing to make things a lot more difficult and just restrict that vision completely. Brolin on the bicycle right now, but he's not cycling. He's waiting for this peak. And there it is. Blame F with a one on four to save the day for complexity. He keeps them in it. Kenny's gonna hold for the ramp key. Pretty ballsy decision as it leaves him on two points of health, but he's still alive, still kicking. Nice. Nexa tries to swing out from Ooh. Goose and Cold with his Deagle, uh -oh. looking for a little bit more. Now down to the 1v3. This is made scary oh by Cold Zera. He's walked down two, oh now in God. with another. Kenny and Amanek, the two players that oh. survive.
Ooh. with Cold Zeran almost on for the ace, and it's only Amadeo. Oh. Cold gets it. Phase an eleventh oh, round. Okay, we actually saw them take that series 2-0 convincingly over Astralis. So I can't wait to see how they stack up on this map. It's a fast A play, and it might be a, a fast ending to this game. Hampus, while he does get one, he's gone, and all the kills come ah. through. It's Dupree with an ace. Two remaining, Kenny and Hunter. They still can get into this side, but Brokey has the audacity to take that fight, and he hits the first two, but so does Hunter. He's found two, a one versus four, bomb on his back, and two more to find. He's got a smoke for the doors. Well, we haven't seen much from Hunter yet, but he will get the bomb down. Up against Olaf Meister and Nico, a player that's had his number in every single one-on-one -on -one duel. They both come for the tunnels right now. Hunter with no grenades, but he has heard both of them there. There were a couple of sets of footsteps, and he's ready and waiting. They're going to clear this together. Surely one high, one low. Nico doesn't adjust in time. Where's Olaf? He asks himself, but he's found them both. A one versus four from Hunter. He finally finds his footing. He can't wow. find anything either, but Nico. Great recovery from Hen and Stown. Just leaves Golden onto the bomb site. He's surrounded by oh! everyone. Oh, the spray oh, transfer from Golden. And he taps the bomb. Into Golden! The 3K. 1v3 for Golden. He's not done with one. He'll double up as Jame and Sanji need to make the impossible happen. That smoke meant to fade, and Jame misses his shot. Does get the follow up, but now he's alone, and Woxic knows exactly where he is. The flank is in. Jame deals with it well. 20 seconds on the clock, and two players on the site. James oh found my. one, and it's down to the one on one. Woxic so low. Pistol would do, but Jame sticking with the AWP, and he's seen the barrel. I think he's seen the barrel. He's going to get the flick. Oh my god. VP, pick it up. But Searson's on top of the bomb. His scoping will have been heard. And that's a free back for Grim. Okay. Taps in from main. Oh! He wins. Oh. 1v1. Full health on Zantaras, though. Grim. So much work to do. Oh, it's so clean. Grim. As we continue with an American cast, as oh my god, it's so easy to sound excited with a voice like this. Furlan waiting by the sandbags, and it's a beheading here on the ramp room. Hunter hunting. Oh dear. Eight frags already to his name, but Furlan stands with the Desert Eagle. The American Eagle flying, soaring through the sky. He goes for the repeat. And next, oh, bye-bye, Kenny, yes, it's all four. Amanek next on the block, and Furlan gets all five. Monumental. But these T's are so close to rounding the corner, and I mean, he is standing on full display. Now with the smokes down, he oh. has honed in. Nice flick. Holy oh, a second for oh, Kenny, my. a third. Phenomenal hold coming out of Kenny S. We fairly reliant on either a crazy flick or more likely his teammate having to bail him out. Actually, his teammate's hiding. This is such a weird round, but somehow Kiels is able to just walk down, finds the player who had the bomb, and then just scurries away. This is because a player can get into this close corner and walk back further forward. I don't like this. If a flash goes through, he should be dead, but he gets it anyway and almost lines them up. He's just destroying them. Kiels gets every single player an ace for the man from Belgium, and I don't know how he's managed to get away with that. Yeah, this is a pretty tough round for Serato. There is no denying that fact. Gonna throw the nade over towards the liege, and it does delete him. Another for Serato. And now we wait with bated breath. They said it couldn't be done. Hugo Byron just confirmed that this was not happening. But yeah, now Hugo this 1v4 say that. turned into a 1v2. Serato. this is a guy whose name is synonymous with clutching. He slowed it right down. He's put that seed of doubt in the head of Team Liquid, and they have taken the bait. They fall out of the A site, they retreat to B, and they leave Twists here. He's holding down the elevator. K Serato is still sneaking up into the site. Twist looks like he's waiting for this bomb to go down, and then is going to take the peak. K Serato. It's happening the numbers, Twist creeping on up, trying to close the distance, and this shot here could decide everything. Oh. Caserato in with it, and now one man left, Caserato with a 1v4 wow. of a lifetime. They're gonna speed it up this time, go right back towards Inner with only one man here. Rops is gonna have to provide a bit of a spray down. There's the first, he's so good in this position. Rops is such an anchor on this wow. B site with four, shutting it down, looking for the ace. The leg is in for Chris, Woo. and Rops will finish the job. It's an ace. Roman could have even cleared things out towards middle. Kiarbi's gotten himself into a very forward position. Oh, there it is. His head will be presented to himself. Kiarbi not going to be 
too present of that fact and roman he's right into this perfectly lines them up oh dear this has really turned the round on its head roman is having a crazy round so far 20 seconds for phase roman maybe he can be the one to give them some space but rain has just run past rain is running directly towards the bomb site itself knows that the time is against someone with a smoke down he will plant the bomb roman creeping in from around it rain will take point but his hp is very low roman's going for the ace clutch that was denied earlier on he's taking phase but he can't find the man oh. and he will do so roman oh no look at the apps player as well he's not even been spotted adren's in the site he hasn't cleared bulk there's a dude just sitting there simple's gonna have to double back he doesn't know they're so oh, close oh. but he's gonna hit the shot anyway perfecto is here to support they're both gonna swing perfecto's got a kill and simple's not even had to try with his one hp jane down to 25 and missed shots the flash is good the shot doesn't connect jane with a pistol simple oh, has one of his simple. own and he's closed out the round with it four Easy kills he does it for simple baby do so, MOTM and JT with a couple of quick headshots and really piling on the pressure now as Floppy finds a third on the Glock trying to run straight through Twist. At least able to get two in response, but he's all alone and he needs the ace if there's going to be any chance in this round. And he's got no armor either. The smoke grenade looking utterly useless at this point. MOTM going to get his head ripped off though and a two versus one now for Twist as he looks to push on in. This is where that smoke can start to become a bit of a nuisance, though. He could even go for the full defuse in the smoke if he feels up to it. He knows time is running scarce. He's going to tap onto the bomb. He's going for the full defusal. They're spamming up through the smoke and twist. He's going to pull it off. How in the hell of Cloud9 let that happen? He snuck the defuse under their noses. To be going, Dinko. It's the B site. The triangle of death here. Heroic need to try and get these kills, but Esther Tyke has just taken away Borup. Absolutely no problem. Mad just falling up as well finally Astralis winning a couple of these duels feels like that just wasn't happening that near kill though is huge from down that keeps it even into this retick it gives a chance to heroic to win this round and Stown is still moving forward he's going to be caught nearly there in the open I thought Dupree was about to peek around but Stown getting close he could still take this kill somehow close up and personal the second kill from Stown as well through the smoke he is delivering as Gliv tries to throw the Molotov but the smoke is just being deployed Gliv realizes he needs to go into the open and Stown is going to shut him down as well that's it is that's all five kills for Stown what a round what a beast oh this is quick from the T side they go from stick oh, doing damage. Oh, what a shot to the second. Grabs an AK on for a three oh. and a fourth. Stick oh, you absolute madman. Five frags and that shuts everyone down. Fires pro slap back into next week. What a play that was. Waffe für diese Situation über Fertizian einfach. Dann ist es plötzlich nur noch Tapsen gegen fünf und Tapsen. Holt sich erstmal Oscar. Speedy noch an der Base. Ist auch zu offen. Da sagt Tapsen Danke. Holz hoch. Tapsen mit dem nächsten. Oh, Tapsen mit dem 4K. Und jetzt ist es nur noch Dennis. Wie kann das passieren? Oh, Tapsen, was ein fettes Ace. It would yeah. be nice to see him maybe push and prod with the AWP a little bit, see what he can get away with. Ooh. And here he is now, trying to hold the top of mid. They're already up and past him. Zai Wu, quick flick. Yeah. And oh, there oh it is. Goodness. We wow. wanted it, and we get it. Zai Wu in with three, and he's taken this round by storm. Even hungry for a little bit more. Two players here, here we Long go. and Zai Wu oh. on for the ace. It gets denied by Brolin, the young gun on the other side of things. I've never casted a hero negative round. This is my oh, first. Yours. This is my first. A smoke and a chance for JW. Starts to unload and Shox uh, is procedurally clearing and he uh, will. Eventually, 88 bullets left in the mag as he continues to unload. Zywoo's his next target and he gets it. <laughs> the Negev, the hero of the round. He wants oh, another JW <laughs> making the LMG sing. Somehow managed to get a way back through it. Oof. Worth mentioning Thomas's tag, but it doesn't matter. Finds a shot through. Keto with two, though. One more needed, and there's only what? one second he gets all of them. That is filth. This man's been having a great game, but that's disgusting. Oh, he couldn't get out. So much spam.
Orp in mid for Jacob does the dirty. Grats have a slow game, so Jacob's picked up this orb to great success. Two with the AWP and backs up into B. Grats here to help out, but they don't know Pesadello's out deep as well. He can find a third. Jacob tagged up. Pesa making this round his, and Jacob, oh, what a flick. He was scared of the B tunnels, but he no scopes the player out of the window. And now Maluki in the clutch. See ya. What a great investment thus far. What about the investment so far here for Liquid? They're gonna have a little bit of utility to work with on it. Point is late. Twist is dinked, and he's gonna get pushed back to the corner of the site. Allege, great shots. He's picked up a P2K. He's making it work. Ethan in the clutch has a low HP target. Finishes it. Pistol trying to find the headshot to Naf. He doesn't know it's one on one. He's checking long, but now realized the bomb ticking, and he oh, can just man. stick it. He has a kit. This could go very wrong for Naf. Oh no. Oh dear. And that's yes. like, oh dear. The kill comes in. Naf at least gets that to consolidate himself with during that early fray. They've lost his opening pick time and time again. As of though, might be able to pull one back. He does spot the nades being thrown towards Ivy and Huge. the bomb train. Wow. That is big. As of coming online now, 14 kills to his name and now 15 points to his name. We'll see, well, we'll see whether this is going to be enough as Marky will pull oh! one back. It's a good be on for the ace. One more, Zelsus is on the site. His head is there, and so is the spray. Ace from Azza. He's been quiet all train long. He can't hit the shots. It's another NIP round in the gamble. The conservative buy has got it close. Maybe Borup can continue to close that gap. He has confirmed they're not necessarily out of this one yet with a frag on his deagle, a fresh mag found. He's even got a smoke, no kit. Rez, oh, reveals his location with a pre-fire and wow, great spray. He's even picked up another smoke. Oh, he's lost track of Nork. There's a kit there though. Yeah, he spotted it. So drops the smoke, picks up the kit, and looks to hold it. Nork, and Nork. Fired off the shot. He has an AK net nearby, needs to spray now. And he ninjas it right under his nose. Borob, that's a big clutch. Where you can hold off the AWP for your next rifle round, because now they're not going to have an AWP when they buy after this round, and Art's going to be on a pistol. Now, let's see if he makes it worth it, right? If he gets two, three kills here, he can win this round off for Furio. He feels like maybe he can take matters into his own hands, but if he pushes, Kusta is in the office of angles. He should have this kill. Art's checking it. Oh, my. Art is ready for any position. Doesn't matter where you sit, where you stand. And the map for Furia. There's an AWP posted. Art avoids it. Vinny takes a bullet. And, oh, dear. Daps is low as well. He's been finished off. There's a winnable round in the hands of Furia. Deagles can provide sa uh, safety here. And Art's got another kill. He's on four. The hero AWP. And Bentet in a one on two to save the day to keep this one going for Genji. It's not happening. Art's found the AWP ace. He is on his own. And he's made it happen here for Furia. That is why you buy the AWP on an eco. Map so hard on the defense. Automatic, great position. This is a great spot to go for the AWP aggression. He finds it. I don't think they've really done an AWP push, slow push just yet, so it's a great round to bring it out. You catch one of the default players playing the extremity, and now they know the D player is coming forwards. It's a question of getting position. It's going to be difficult. Both playing under the window. Automatic, great shot. Oh, it goes for the quick scope. I think quick click too quickly, but it doesn't quite matter. Fix it up anyway. Automatic with the B side defense, looking to clear it all out for the ace. It's stolen Kusta. Oh, how could you do this? <laughs> yeah. Well, we got... Uh, uh, wait. I was building suspense. If you guys could stop talking over me. Then here comes a Max. Snacks Wonderland. Oh, Axile. You rarely see this one. It's joy. <laughs> ah, a triple spray down against the AKs. Fledgling years at the Katowice is gone. The qualifiers for Katowice are no less. And now he's in the finals. And Boomich doing it again. This time versus the full buy. A taste of the flamey treatment from yesterday. A triple kill bomb in his grasp. To just line up a bunch of bodies. But he is fully blind as he retreats down from the apps. Oh, it's a little awkward. Yeah, it's getting weird here. Pistol's going to prevail for a bit. But Brokey hits the shot and can very well bring this back. Lightning fast from Brokey. Another perhaps, a leash pin Woo! down. There's the round for FaZe. Face. Face Seven in a row. On their feet. That is beautiful stuff from Brokey. You, you've leaned towards B early. And so essentially one of those B players is your mid player. Uh, Astralis could have taken that round off of the B pitter kills, but instead they will give it to G2. And now this game gets a little bit more competitive. This fast pick from Device out long, but it is traded. Kenny in middle, dropping the disc of Cat. Dupreece through a smoke, and that is uh, <laughs> risky. 
no reward in this sense. The vice has gotten the kill through the door. The vice cut off by the utility. Kenny going above the box. The Molotov coming. He thinks they're in the tunnels. Does he know the Yugi's already out? The Molly's pushed him open. Yugi's missed a shot, and Kenny does get traded. The vice with a chance to clutch. Yeah, he needs the ace if he wants to pick this round up. And a 1v2 still to find. Jax and Nexa on the other side. Device spraying. Now trying to plant this bomb and they don't let him. They don't yeah. let him get the plant. They rush him down, but they haven't found the kill. And Device, oh, no. oh, there's one. Oh. And the follow up, Device, what an ace. What a round and what a play. You thought the G2 had done enough. They've recovered again and they're going to be tying things up. Uh, yeah, like you said, it didn't really seem like Galtai would have been ready for another quick play here. They probably think, okay. Oh, no. What? What? Okay, Farley running in. He's got a kit. He's got a smoke. Oh, no. no. North. Oh, they're nowhere near this. Farley just walking in with a ninja defuse. No. Oh, my God. He pulls it off and God sent a seventh round. North had it in the bag. They walk in with the pistols. They find success in the tech nines and they all leave the bomb. Farley coming in with a ninja defuse. And... and Reality is this, uh, you know, yeah, it's early. They started real early over here on, on either side of the West Coast, but perhaps they should start scheduling their matches around 9 a.m. They're coming three cat and Gen G. They, it's not just one flank, it's two. Naf is there as well. Palm tree flash for Elise. Gonna go out. He'll surely get both here. There he goes. Nice spray. Stop with one. Dropping in the pit, but Elise will flick right back with an ace. What a legend. On a right for round as well. He was the anchor on B on Dust. It looks like if the pistol's anything to go by, he'll be anchoring on this side of the map as well on Mirage. Electronic, we saw him be the difference maker in the opening pistol through the smoke. He's already got two this time as well. Watch for a third because he still has so much room to work with. His teammates are trying to buy him space. Oh His teammates God. are gone. He's got to get an ace. And he absolutely has a chance at this. As Mantu, excuse me, I said ace, he had to get four. At least the first rack did go in their favor and... Some a good opportunity. Fallen, brilliant collateral shot. Fallen with a quad kill. The king is back. Oh, they're right there. He sees the utility coming over. He's still alive, but there it is. Res with one, what? but only oh. one as Dupree gets the trade very, very quickly. Nork inside of the site, putting on a bit of a show. Now is to get past Dupree, and that is easier said than done. 20 points of health left on him. Taps the bomb to try and bait a peak. One man at cat, one in CT, and that's another fight given to Dupree. Tapping on the bomb now. How oh! Into the maws of Dupree he goes, and that is quite the round from this man. Nine on the board for Astralis. And they don't clear the boost. Crystal, that's an easy frag to find. He hasn't even fallen off yet. Still planting a gander in Far League. Swinging wide with the USP. Mata knows there's no one towards Banana. Stiko's already found one. It's just cold and rain left alone. And Cole's found one. Yes, but he's revealed his position. With that, rain is forced outwards. Rain is spotted and brought down. This is so beautifully done. Oh. Cole has to clutch it out in a 1v1 versus the off. He's trying to go for it, but Martin misses shot. Oh. Martin goes for it again, and it's cold all day with the ace. They've just stabbed each other in spawn no, as well. So Nexus no. just got stabbed in spawn by a teammate. You really don't like to see it. Ramp rush. Here. And the nade lands. Let's go, boys. Let's get it up. Race for Flamey! He's doing it all over again! No armor, a single HG for Amanek. As we move into the next round. Big spray down, a triple kill. It's the quad, and Flamey's got another race. He keeps racking them up. You can't slow this man down. They could be coming in from Palace. First kill for Roy. They know where everyone is, and Fnatic trying to cross the line, but it's just not there. It's just not available to him. Even Oh, I take it back. Golden has opened it right up. Those kills all came in from Fnatic after essentially Mad Lions had stopped the whole push and the round was pretty much done and then suddenly a bunch of kills and another one! Golden! What? Taking down Botsky, he walked right into the Deagle, I can't really believe it. No bomb plant yet, JW repositioning and Asylian right on top. Golden, he seems to know and he will take him down! What a play, an ace from Golden! That's a two on five with nowhere to go. I cannot believe Golden just pulled that off. That is, that is just so ridiculous, isn't it? Unbelievable. And you, what's even crazier about it is JW was wrapping back around to Palace. Golden was all on his own at that last kill. Start to get the heebie-jeebies and decide like, yeah, yeah, no, B actually, maybe not, but doesn't look like they're deterred. It looks like they're still keen. Mantu oh. smokes down, but he doesn't care. He secured a double and he sent them back oh from B. Man to another one. Surely not. 
Oh, he's fallen back into the site now, and they're still looking at pressure. And Mantu in with three. We've been waiting all game for him to come alive, and this could be his round. Mantu another. And oh, oh, it's the ace for Mantu. 12 on the board for OG. Ground reveals his location, takes a gamble. Simple's putting the trigger. Another frag for Simple. Finally, he's shut down. They got time. The bomb will be planted. RPK taking space. Zaiwu and RPK, a chance here to finish it all and take us to Inferno. He's found Boomage. There's two more where that came from. Blind flashed and punished. One more and one tap. The tank seals the deal. Naf picks up a kill crucially over towards B, but that's just one player, the only player. Giving a chance at MIVR to get back into this, but it is still 3v3. Everybody's in the same position now! Oh my god, what? He just runs right through! I mean, there hasn't been too much of a contest. A trade coming out to the A bomb site, but really there's only one on the bomb site itself. Cirque still rotating in. Flash in, back turn from Rampage, not expecting to be still here. Second player from Boos facing in towards CT, and stuck has got that frag. Even then, trade potential was so massive for the CT side. In the three on two scenario, Breezy being seen, takes himself a triple. And now, bone alone, left alone here. AWP on site, does get Breezy the drop. Got a player rotating in the back, so 25 seconds to rotate to the B side if he opts to go for it here. And look at Tarek, he's so ready for the position. AWP project in the corner. Oh, he lands the no scope. Is he going to get to the B side in time? He's got to to and will clutch it. Dead heads to mid, and this time it works out way better. They get their two opening kills, and it costs them nothing, except Twist will double back. They're moving at a lightning fast pace, winning all their man disadvantage situations. Ooh. Oh, still a chance. Twist, he's going to need the ace in the 15th round. Now, he does have the 1v1, and he's got the fourth piece of the puzzle. Looking to slam in that final frag. Oh. But he's got to figure out where the hell is Fur coming in from. And this has been the heaviest hitter for MIBR. He's cleared everything he can, but just he misses the check, timing huh? in apartments. Yeah, he will. Oh, oh my and it's God. No way. It's Russell. Ace. 10,000 start money. If you lose the first two rounds as the CT side in this overtime, you are dead broke in the final. And Shox is committed. I don't think we're going to be seeing him escape here. Sure, surely he's not going for a ninja. Oh, holy shit, he might just do it. This is so possible. Oh my god. He has to run right now. He's gonna be in there with a the knife. I don't think anyone's heard it. He's <gasps> on the ball. He's got it. He's oh done my it. god, he's done it! Right into the overtime, and this is how it starts! What a next level play! Coś nie wychodzi, no to mówię, że widzimy stare dobre za starych czasów, gdy no te rundy Ford zostały przegrywane i zobaczmy jak to wygląda. Stax pozostaje samolot, tutaj bomba plantowana. Oj, Stax zdobędzie tego fraga i może broić bombę. O, Stax! Mi amigo, coś ty teraz zrobił? Bomba brojona na raz i to będzie klacz wygrany w tym momencie przez Janusza. No co tutaj się stało? Jakim cudem on to wygrał? Ja nie mam zielonego pojęcia. They rotate around to monsters. It nicks here with one of these scouts. Devices Ooh. also arrive now. And here's the 5 7 chiming in with one. There's oh, very the little bomb. time, and now the bomb is dropped. Zipnix in the clutch. Oh. oh, he gets that shot. Is there time for Olaf? Zipnix wow. has done it with a oh. scout and a USP. And he believes this could very well be the 8 7 half. Zyru on the M4. Shocks, he's done great work, but I don't think he was expecting that. The timing again, NIP with a spurt of pace catches off the Frenchman. Good nade damage as well. NIP shocked after that one. Yeah, that could be enough, but North will pull one back, and Zaiwu alive and kicking as well. The M4 waits on the side here, and he's multiple kills. He might just do it. The bomb goes down. Still a minute remaining here, but Twist of the Orb will have nothing to say about that one. And we're going to split it right down the middle here. 8 7. But wow, Keto. Poor guy gets spammed through smoke. Here's Tizian's second rifle, and Searson does get his hands back on the M4. A T's gonna walk right past. Oh, more than one. Searson, 3K. <laughs> Beautiful stuff from the back of Mini. Turns this round upside down, but can Asilian revert this? He's able to fall off of the hut, needs to find bomb. And he's got time to just chill if he chooses to. <gasps> He extends out into the site. Oh, the player's through the wall, so it's an easy one for Stearson. God, I hope so. Well, now might be the time for it. 30 seconds, he's creeping around the edge. Yeah, he's certainly thinking about it. He wants to go harder than this time, and he takes down Nico. That's the bomb, and no one's calling it. Another flick, simple. He wants another, he'll get it as well. Taking down Brokey, a leg shot, and that's gonna be it. A quad kill for Simple in the round, taking every single one down. That was beautiful. Something to do here, something to say. They're swinging close. That's some good damage through the wall. Sunny lines him up, but Santaras knocks him down, and Dota traded after one surprise. He 
Chosen puts that up with the damage coming through the wall. Searson can't hit his shot on the ramp flank. He's going to smoke himself off and get out of there, leaving Zantaris to steal the kill and go for the ace. It might be on his plate with only Alu left alive. Oh, they throw the first man in. Searson just takes one for the team. And Santares does get his ace. Now guys, the CTs are going to start to rotate immediately. Smokes are there, oh, but Mirrors, he's oh. locked it out. He's done it right here. Two man spray and phase might have just been locked out of this map here and now. But now they have to recover it in the clutch. Arky moving in with the AWP as well. Perfection meet, meet Nico and Mirrors meet. A terrorist sign. Mirus does find one. The equalizer's there. Still full HP. They do have a kit, but it's on Mirus. So if he goes down on heaven, this is unrecoverable. Nico's very low, and Arky needs to just wide swing this out. Ooh. But Nico tapped in the head, and there you go. Nico can't get the second, and Mirus is given a chance to drop down. Does fake out the defuse. Will flick on. This is an ace clutch, potentially. Flashbang there as well. Mirus <laughs> has come through. He's been. A little bit questionable all throughout the game, but this is going to be his round. 15-11, what a way to take them forward, leading by example. Flashed onto the oranges. Valder's already flanking around Nexus. Lovely. Corner. Should be clean, shouldn't it? We we say this term. Nexus has found MBK. Kenny's getting uh -oh. involved. Oh, Nexus! All right, it's not the P2K, but the Deagle looks just as good, and Issa trying to pick up the pieces. As it all fell apart. Now, this is very doable, though, still, Alex. Oh, it's within the realms of possibility. No doubt about it. It's Nexa who could protect. Ooh, Alyssa was not cognizant. Now spots Jax. Well, he's willingly taking these fights, and Nexa takes four at the end of that one. That is redonkulous. Takes the equalizer. Coming in on that Xbox already. MSL buying time by hiding in the site. Yeah, he's got ahead of the molly. He's dropped the bomb. He could get more than one, but he doesn't. Doesn't matter. MSL's here with a double, and Crucial's already tagged up this orb. Doesn't care about your health, and MSL certainly doesn't either. He's found his third of the round. Make it a 4K. North shutting down the first round of overtime, and they're going to try and make it fast into the A site. Ethan spraying. Only good for one. Breezy going to come out for the head. It's going to go wide. There's another player on the site. Sir keeps the cover and stab with the Molotov burn out of lead. It's Naf now with a safe gun. Go do it all. And this is a great chance. This is an opportunity for Naf. Will he take it? He's got a man trapped and he's trying to keep the pressure on. But in the meantime, EG have got control of the bomb site. Molotov going to force Naf into oh! the open. And he sprays Ooh. them both down. Team Liquid Nasty. was tunnels. Now Kenny's making it all too clear where he's coming from. Leaping into the site. Brokey will hear it. He's only got a USP. I think Kenny might win this. Olaf's on the bricks, elevated above the smoke. And smart of him to reposition Kenny, however. He's only got the scout looking for Olaf! Oh! And Kenny, yes! He continues to impress! Oh yes, oh yes! Nine for G2. And I guess it wouldn't be an understatement to say that this is going to be very, very, very hard indeed. And it gets harder. Key on! Oh okay, then. 3k, okay. 4k, looking for the ace, and he hasn't taken a single point of damage. It's all on Sotvik, and I think Kios is ready. He's aware. He wants that ace, and his teammate's going to give it to him. Alexi B, he had his ass handed to him on a plate before a middle and this time he's just torn him apart nade does slow him down but kievi now gonna be called upon that's gonna be another oh, oh kievi finally comes into his own towards b but there's still so many threats man two still stands easy no, tries no, no, to make no. play up short wow. it's not happened kievi is everywhere right now they can't recover it it's deep into ct spawn but this opens things up. And remember, Golden isn't playing this B-bomb site. They might have thought that there'd be only one player here, and that's just not the case. JW, blind, <laughs> and it doesn't matter. No scope so fast. That's unbelievable. <laughs> and it just continues coming. Oh, oh, smoke. oh no. How many does he have him in him in a round? A slight one, but the cat <laughs> of Jame is there, and he is waiting. Oh, the timing. Not going to help, but Keto does have time for the bomb plant. Now, VP, they have a 3v1 advantage. This should still go in their way, but considering this was pretty much like a 1% chance at a clutch, it's now gone up slightly. Now, Keto maybe can pull this off. He's going to wait. Oh. He's going to bite his time, and he's going to connect twice, oh. and a third time. Oh, my God, Keto. That is carnage. I have some flashes I can help enable Ooh. these pistols. I like the initiative Ooh. here from Harley. He lines up the first brokey there. Oh. The Harley, a double. That could just be enough. Nico outside. Oh. Harley's taking the round in his own hand. A four. He's going. There it is. He's going. He's checking the angles. He's 
putting his hands together. But a man can only pray so much and farling with the ace clutch. And you should see JW rotating over. He's going to get there quick. He has one flashbang he can use from afar to help out. Surely, yeah, Flush is going to get that one burning. Is the rest of 100 Thieves, and he's got two. Flusher and Crim's already in construction. This is an incredible boost up. He almost falls into the orb. Bradis Faction barely staying alive for just another second. JKS and Azza, can they hold this one alive and get back on even course here? JKS has got a good lineup with the AK-47. He sees just the top of the face, but Flusher will win that fight. A quad kill now, and he's gonna get the ace early on in this quarterfinals. Flusher has come alive. Push three men, fight them together. Go in, well, hopefully with the future. Let's see if it turns out that he's gonna try and take it dry. But at least they're doing something. It's a team over the game, ruins them anyway. To convert this opportunity, because they won't come by it too often. Kriaz, still 100 HP as Gade spots speed and slowly ebbing his way up the ladder and then goes in for the ace. One difference from the round before, and that's Nath. He this time decided to go on the Palace push, but Simple's not quite done with this round yet. He has other plans. He has the USP and we know what he can do with... Oh, never mind. He's got an AK, the perfect weapon for the job. Another clutch from Simple. He's won two breathtaking rounds for his team so far. I like this choice though, but if he was to go for the ambitious jump to check it, he can jump on those boxes, but instead he's gonna call the first. Gets the frag, but this is so nice from Liquid. He's holding it and all Naf has to do is check it. Oh, 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 oh. Not again, Simple! That's simply not allowed! I don't believe it! He's done it again. Found an avenue, but Rez is in the best position right now. Look at all the angry T's on the other side of this smoke. There's a chance. Zyra's baby steps do not confuse the beast. A double kill from Rez. He might even find a third here. Yeah, Masuta's gone down. Their default toilety work. Now, with three rifles up, it's down to Rez. Remember, the only player that's been tagged at this point. Three kills to his name, make it four. Looking for the ace of this stage, probably goes for it, but showing a bit of discipline now. Wants to win the round, look at the bigger picture, and then gets the ace. Four versus two then, Pro 100, they're making this one work. It's down to the simple and perfecto combo to clutch it out and looking positive. Oh, that shot was everything. Simple does manage to land the trade and now thrust into a one versus two, faking it, interestingly enough. Yeah, Kinder may not be expecting the push up. He will now though, and a quicker, Joe. Oh, simple. He finds four in the round, but what a snap. <laughs> it ain't open. He's about to close this case right now. There's another, Rush goes down. He's on for the four, but Poison. Pulls it from the clutches of defeat, and he's looking for a 1v4. Finds the first three. And just like that, the star of the complexity show starts to shine a little brighter. Anticipating the push. Molly to reposition. There is a smoke for him to recover. He won't be able to do so now with a floor laden uh, with flame. I'm tucking in for a safe plant. How quickly did he turn this into a winnable situation? Three shots from the AWP. This is the hardest one of the lot, though. Masuta got a good idea as to where Poison is playing. Expecting the re-peak towards Connector, and it isn't un impossible, but he takes it. Oh, the timing. Masuta's coming for a look. He's going to have to flick. Oh, Smoke gives him the chance to be a stay alert. Doesn't have to rush this. Waiting him out, calling the fake. Knows Masuta wow. would heard, not. I think he heard a step there, too. And that's the clean ace. My god, four kills. Not quite the ace, but a spectacular round all the same. Poison forced back in at 22 HP. Now they have some space to... Is he really going for the plant? He is. Assuming Jax can't contest the smoke. Oh, oh, he had the perfect angle, but Kenny still hits the shot. Now Nico smoked off, but catches Jax off the bomb. He had low HP. Oh, and he's done oh. it all! All off! That's ridiculous! The transfer, all three in the blink of an eye from the Swede. And we're talking about it last game though, right? Weren't we, Tim? Oh, if you dear. want to hear who's alive in this 1v3, you don't want to be hearing Simple. Next up, we'll be the first to meet his fate as Simple finding it. The Undertaker, as he is known, just going to wait now. Has 35 seconds remaining, does have the bomb in hand. No, uh, no utility. So he's just going to have to rely on his raw firepower, which he's got plenty of. 16 no to 14, way. Don't they're picking it to him. They're gifting it to him. 1v1 now. Simple just needs to try and swing oh. and he will fall. Oh. In the end, he does manage to find it. To prove himself as an orper yeah. in that particular play, like, it's unnecessary, right? There's no reason to go for that. It's a very high-risk maneuver. So is this one, but a bit more required from RPK. One smoke available. It's going to be more of a contact play here. Try and get a quick frag, then explode. 
all over the site and see if you can catch rotating players. Ooh. There's the contact, and they're gonna have to commit to this, but RPK looking strong as ever. He's dropped the bomb now, and with only 30 seconds remaining, it oh, looks like he's done boy. more than enough here. Beautiful stuff. It's an ace from the old boy here. He's still got it. And how he was creative. It's anything but right now, because he continues to do the same thing, and it's the same result. The definition of insanity wow. starting to present itself. As simple does at least get a shot back, looks for a second, finds Voxic down by the bags, and he's gonna have to fall all the way inside of the pit. Ooh. Makes no mistake to find Chris either as he relocates. Looks Let's for the go. Board. He's got that as well, nearly an ace for simple, but you can see the impact the man can have. <laughs> With the T side start, they're gonna be going outside. Now Tizian is also here outside watching from main, and he takes the head off of Alu. Yampi trying to pressure him, but oh, a great outside my. hold from Tizian. And this is what I was worried about. Tizian is on for the ace. And he's hunting for it. Go on, Tizian. Go on, my son. There oh. it is. Five in the round and big lock in the pistol. The priest still holding outside of Doom. The suitor was what? looking to re-aggress, but S Tag and Device, they have lit up the A site like a Christmas tree. And Zai Wu, Christmas Ooh. is cancelled. Haven't you heard? Zai Wu's in with three. Back that nade is just absolutely brutal. It's a taste of their own medicine. And RPK is administering it liberally. Zai Wu at the end in with four. The defuse found for vitality. Two players for Oh, leaving it onto Zipex, but if one man could get you believing for Astralis, it might be this one. They're on the ball. Zipex oh, is on the damage, and he's going to take down all three. Might not have much of a warning to throw it out. He's fighting. Molotov comes down. They go right through. Before it pops, that's a shot. Zai Wu with the spam. <laughs> and the deagle looks delicious. He's looking to finish it off oh. on his own. The T side as well, which is going to delay even further. Keto, though, not going to be able to find anything. Oh, oh, but look at Zantaris. He's already found two kills. And he's in for the 1v1. Knows where Neeks is as well. And it all comes down to the timing. Can he find the flick? Zantaris, this could be huge. Oh. What a flick from the Turkish star, Zantaris. Borok can hear so many footsteps all around him now. He could come and deny the bomb plant. He's a little bit too late, but still takes the head off of both Hampus Rest. And now Plopski, Borok feeling it. They need a player to really step up, and Borok's gone in for four. G2 don't even have a say in it. Oh, down the middle! A third kill on JW. Can he get He doesn't have any more in him, surely not. It's already done almost everything they need. Amanek with the UMP and now Brolin in a one versus three. And there's no point in running. There's only 30 seconds. Might as well just go for the straight up fight and hope that you could do it. He takes out Jax. And now, could he get the bomb plant? Kenny's on the one side there. I don't think he's even got much time here. Faking it will just buy more time. Yeah, he goes straight for it. And a little bit of a pre-fire there from Kenny. That Krieg, I don't know if it's enough to buy them this round. He's so low on health as well. And now Nexus is going to be showing up with that AK-47. If they knew how low he was, they'd just be using the pistols. They both come through. Oh, he does get it! No help, but the accuracy! Four players lining in upper dark. Dupree's going to have a big job to do. He's scoped in. He misses the first shot. Magus is blind, and there's a chance. Zipnik falls in mid, but a double. Three kills for Dupree, and a fourth on top. Five to nothing. Is that the world we live in? Well, we're pretty damn close. Team Liquid have looked excellent here on Overpass. A wholehearted T-side and a liege. Oh my God, he just <laughs> executes them. Oh, if only he had taken Twist's head off clean, then maybe, but a liege. Oh. He wants this ace and he's got it. Past it, perfect him up on the rafters. Only Ooh. good for one, Simple back in the A bomb site. Are they gonna finally give Simple a taste of the action. He takes down the first man. And now looking for a little bit more. Down goes Electronic. Woxic over here in main and Simple swinging out. There's the peak from Frozen. Simple, oh. another one. And now just Carrigan left. Simple's going to hear him drop down the vents. And now he's in hot pursuit. Carrigan running into this B-bomb site. But look at this. Simple tracking him down. The detective on the door. And Carrigan going to try and swing it wide. <laughs> but Simple with the no scope. Eight for Na'Vi. Shocks he's leaving long. He was alongside toilets, but I think he's piecing it back together again. Humpty Dumpty. Yes, that's one and two. The bomb as well. And the seventh for Vitality looking close to secured. But now with Shoxy coming alive in the 19th round, it's all but a formality. Glaive, four HP. Yes, he found the first blood, but he will be the last. Yeah, for sure. No way he's going to hold this one off. Great positioning there from Shox. I like the flash. He's going to try and push on that, and he has isolated Stout. Good spray. Apex. Zywoo's found all three, four. He could even ace it. Does need a fresh mag to do so. Cadence pushing through, and that's all Zywoo. Five. 
All out A here attempt for the side of Furia. There's a smoke in the palace, but it's already in the sight. It's on oh, Twist back. Sweet spray what? there. Four in total for Twist. Copy at the end, but he'll be fighting with what he's achieved. BMAS is still on the side. You've got Kerrigan in support. And now Boomich. Knows where BMAS is. Okay, Doable goodbye. Now. That's a nice quick kill. And suddenly the bomb plant looks incredibly viable. Chris J's gone there quick, though, to library. Didn't give himself up too quickly either. And Boomich wants a fight. Oh. And he gets the fight. He even sees the player. He's feeling it. He wants this. He's hungry for it. And oh, maybe he's bit off more than he can chew. Care in mind, it's frozen. But Boomich ice cold under pressure this time. He wants to take the peak with the AK-47. Gets oh. the flick as well. Kirby to fall with the bomb on top of it. Armor neck comes in from behind and he might have just saved the day. One versus one, Colzera alone has to wait and he can't make the peak out. He'll instead start to back off and wait Ooh. for it. Colzera again. Completely isolated and Dexter checks the corner. Not going to allow for this again. He does get traded out, but even still, that gives them far more of an opener. But they've got to clear Brolin and once again he steps up. It's a triple kill off the back of the SG, as said. He's a player that's tough to clear as it is, but having that SG in hand is always so difficult. Hat, he's managed to kill, but he's got nine seconds and about the same HP. Can he get another one here as well? Just swinging on by. Luckily, Naphne's there. With the Glia now, trips it out to an AK, but he's shut down by Flames on the Deagle. You are filthy. Another one picked up. And Flames hiding behind Gandalf, looking to move forward. Jump shot is there. Flames of another. What a filthy player Flames is on the Deagle. That is just ridiculous. Oh. Still going for the B bomb side though. They're not slowing it down. Sip is falling back, but Glaive is still in here. And they're not checking it. That's a one. They line up for him and a beautiful triple kill. He can bring it right back. They have no idea he's here. There's the first kill. Simple, he's looking for the flank at the moment, but Electronic cannot convert. Simple has the intel. He knows exactly where Glaive is, but great movement from Glaive to stay alive. He's forcing Simple to be the aggressor, trying to find this kill before the flank comes in, because Magus is creeping behind him, and he can't even handle the first. Yeah, normally you see Fnatic playing just a solo player on the B site, and that would be Golden, but this time he actually has some backup, finds the opening pick. A lovely headshot. All the smoke's being deployed right now. That's going to be a commitment. He knows it. Golden gets another one. Oh. That's the bomb going down, turning his game around here as he's looking for his fourth. Oh, my God, he's on for the ace. This is beautiful stuff from Golden. Look at this. Oh. And he's turned it right around. He's gone from zero to hero, up to eight now after an from ace. From three <laughs> to eight in one round. Three surviving Fury of players. Keserato tries to force the issue, but in doing so, this is all left on the shoulders of Henny, and he's making it look doable does provide the first two. This bomb has to get stuck. There's no more time for faking. Stan's on it with oh, the kit. The Henny, oh, it's so close, and Stan has to get up. <gasps> in doing so, wow. the round goes in favor of Fury. Henny gets it done. I don't want to say it's a one and done here, but that's a scary spot to hold. That's one. He's back in. Oh, it's a double. All right, one and done. I said absolutely nothing of the sort. I promise you, even the barrel's showing. He gets the tag on Perfecto. 15 HP, pistol out. He knows he's doing well here, James. Yeah, do you keep on fighting or do you leave? Because, like, it's a little bit undecided. People are coming and going. Please make a decision. Don't overstay your oh. welcome. That's what's going to happen. Keto is coming in with the tech nine. Make that two. Now, both of these players have to creep through that CT smoke, which is such a risk. Tech nine on Keto gets another one. It seems like the Tech Nine pistol rounds are back with a vengeance. He's going for the ace. He spots another one. That's four from Keto. Can he get the ace? Chroman at long. Tizzy and give it to him. Give him the confidence. Keto wants it. He's like, okay, I'm next to peak. Yep, I'm next. <laughs> Keto is ready. Can we see a pistol round ace from the man? Chroman. Gonna peek, and there it is. The Tech Nine ace from Keto. Well, because of that, they basically just got a free invite when visas didn't go too well already. It's going to be the opening couple of kills coming up, and this is just looking too easy. JKS, he's just starting off fantastically. Four kills in the pistol round. Exactly what we want to see from Justin Savage. He knows that Lollipop needs to be the one manning this gun, and seven and two, a fairly decent start. The scoreline is at leak. And there's Speedak as well. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh. You got a feel for them. Oh, Lacro, okay. Okay, in a bit of a quiet inferno. Maybe you're the point to prove, but he doesn't have control of the bomb. 30 seconds is enough time. You can see him jumping around every corner, anticipating. They may still have a couple pistols, but of course they've had more than enough of a chance to pick up the orb. 
Maybe jumping around the corner affords him the chance of a leg shot rather than an outright frag. He's trying to bait out that shot into effect, and Lacro's got him with a 4K. He's also on for the ace. There's 10 seconds to go. Does he know where J.O.'s position is? Oh, he is jumping around the corner. Oh, oh. Lacro's actually clutched. Electric. Mantu still posted in the apartments. No one with eyes on short right now, but Mantu will go back to get the first and the second kill. Mantu putting in a shift from this position. Finally misses his chance, but he won't miss again. Three kills from Mantu on the B-bomb site, and he's got a fourth. Mantu going massive on the B-hold. How does he get that shot while jumping up? There is nothing that VB can do against that. With him being on his own, there's definitely still some hope. Pretty soon, I would imagine they will start sending some players down ramp. And indeed, that is the case. Lackey finds himself that initial kill on the box. And that is perfectly timed. Indeed, putting it down towards the left, it gives them the opportunity. But the shots still need to be connected. And it was the initial frag again being found to actually just advance that advantage for a win strike. And it's all on MDS now. He needs the ace clutch. Already has three kills to his name at this point. There's actually not a lot of time left on the bomb. And gets one more. Push it in to stop Hobbit. Takes him off and gets it with the Glock. The ace clutch from MDS. That is crazy to keep them alive. And next are in a one versus three. Na'Vi are such a good CT-sided team on this map, and it's showing right now. Next are turning. He needs two more headshots. There's the one. The follow-up, and he gets it. A great triple here for the captain of G2. Very loud on his rotation. They should hear this, but he gets ahead of time. Oh, the miss spray, Allegiant one. The trade is imminent, and Nap has to do it all on his own. A player inside of the site, been spotted. Nap has a chance, and he's got two more to find. Oh, man, the time was an issue. Now it's no factor. We see the plant. Naf, can he do it? Can he secure an eight? He's gonna be holding, finds the first one on the fur, and now he's gonna try to buy himself some time. Let that bomb tick down a little bit. KNG on the AWP. Ooh. Naf likely knows this. A lot of noise being made, nice. and there you have it. The sloth strikes again. An eighth round on the board for Liquid. Plank's keeping it competitive. He's only got the UMP and AK very much available to him, and C's picking up the AWP. They stopped the plant, and C's finds another. Simple seems to know. No way, sees. <laughs> He's such a gamer. He could win this. Perfecto's on the site. Dancing around. Sees closing the gap as fast as he can. No kit. Spots him. They're not going down just yet. Expecting the swing. Trying to fake it. Needs to find a quick scope here. And he does spot him. And he knows oh! him. Sees. <laughs> Clutching up against Na'Vi. It's so poetic it almost hurts. That could be misinfo. I don't see them get down to B. The ramp play might give it up. Simple's already dropped one. The flash is good. Oh, it's the oh, inverse. It's the reverse. B go down the vent, but they're going to lose a player on the way. Simple spotting one. He's seen the bomb crossing the corner. Simple oh, won't no. stop. 13 and no. Oh. Blink it 14. This man is in for a fortnight and a great fight for Na'Vi. They have two smokes at their disposal now being tossed for the cross. And now they can look to try and wrap straight through. Sai Wu, how is your aim? On point as always, even while flashbangs, he gets one. Now spinning around into action, activating this nothing but headshots to Sai Wu again. A 4K, an eighth round to Vitality, and Astralis have been comprehensively beaten down. The gap, he thought, Cooper doesn't. All these four. Good flash. Breezy needs to get this frag cleanly. It's only the one. Flash is removed to help it. But that's the bomb loose. And that's a problem for the remaining T's. They've only got 20. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's so good from Breezy. They're focusing all of their attention elsewhere. And he's going to get them all. Oh. A quick tap of the P2K. Not what they want. This could be a 15th round put on the board for Mythic. Because they have just been charged up with less than weaponry. What? Casey, what? Smoke goes down. Does Lucas realize? Finally, he knows. The molly is slowing him down. This is going to take a while for the plant, but KNG gets the first kill from above. A lot of abusive utility. Lucas has got to make an aggressive play in the two versus four. He's got to take him by surprise. He's got a tight choke point as well. Potential for a multi-frag. Nifty's got to be careful. Mihu goes in first. Legia biding his time. There's the trade. KNG, though, still delivers. One versus two after those frags. Moves around the corner just in case, but he's been smoked off. He's going to have to find a way to do this now. Surely this is not doable for KNG. In the smoke with an AWP. Down to the 1v1. Nifty's gone as well. Match point MIBR. I can't believe it. So many peaks coming out of OG. However, man advantage still held on to despite not having guns. Issa is able to connect another to the head of Hunter. Kenny S closes the gap, sees that in hand, catching Alexi and being dropped down to 12 health. It's him versus Valda. He taps the bomb once, the peeps on the other side, oh. and Kenny, surprise, surprise, 
Tapson towards Dark. Can't find anything. His teammate was setting up a, a flashbang, but Tapson's already dead. Tito has to try and find something. Oh. And on the Deagle, he's going to find more damage. Looking for oh. more. It's a fucking shot. Oh. Oh, that a floor. Immense from Keto as he just bangs out everyone. Seven seconds on the clock. P250 and armor. It's the mini raid boss. Oh, I think the P250 and armor is the best combo there is. So let's see what he can do with it. Oh, that's a nice kill onto Alexa B. There's still a man in the bomb trade. It's Valder just being a pest, being a nuisance. Can Simple succeed where the rest of his team failed? Getting double peak now from the back of the trains as well. Lots of damage onto Valder. Not the killing blow though. Still plenty of time and Simple in oh, with that dear. frag. Now down to the 1v1. This was 1v3 and Simple Ooh. knows where MVK is. He's trying to make it fancy. Fakes go. Going up the ladder, drops back into the site, does have this bomb as well. 25 seconds for Simple. 150 ADR, by the way. MBK wrapping around, is now in the site, and Simple not aware of this. The timing is everything, but he's just dodged MBK. It's ring around the roses. Simple spots him, lands the tag. This is messy. This is wild. MBK's getting whittled down. Ooh, Simple dear. running the gauntlet, and he's gotten into A. He's going to get the bomb planted. This is around the world oh for Simple. God. And MBK is playing catch up now in the connector. Oh, dear. Simple, the slaughterer, taking up this position, ready for the peak. MBK creeping out through con but simple on the angle delivers wow. the kill and navi win round. the pistol oh, oh sergey with that p2k does only get the one but real chance for this oh. after plan simple's oh. just popping heads that's why you put oh. the p250 in his hands and that's what simple's capable of round over Jumpy knows it. Oh. Simple gets himself his quad kill. That was nasty. Yeah, one more time, I think, from the top. Oh, yuck. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Just when he thought it couldn't get better, he had another two to the tally. Look at these shots. Oof. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Four bullets. All those USPs thought they were like, yeah, we got the Glocks. They're at range. Don't worry about them. And then Simple does that. Oh, oh, oh. Not going to favor the pistols at this range, but Zaiwu, he's flashed off the angle. So now they get dangerously close to him. There is still the Fomus in the mix. And Zaiwu, oh how God. is this man still standing? Dude, I Three know. kills. Awkward. It's still uncomfortable. The CT's now forced away. Oh, 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 wait, so wait. Cool. OK, problems. Boomich, another. Perfecto's taken down a teammate, does find one in response, and Boomich, he's got a smoke and a kit. We could be in a clutch city, baby. Oh, Down to 42, bomb. you're right. It's a bad plan for Sanji. He's going to have to push on this. He's going to have to. Boomich is holding it. Sanji, surely. He's got to go faster than this. Faster than this. No, oh, V, clutch, Boomich saves the day. VP, that's a heartbreaker right there. Been able to gain a little bit of sight control. PRT still trying to frag away. Needs to have pains into this back line past the pillar. We've seen the incendiaries coming up towards the new box. Now there's only one place he can realistically be. One frag down. Sees the shoulder of the second. Rav keeps him going. Oh! Misses and gets the quadra to save his team. Does the, oh, what? How has this happened? Goodbye. This was a five on four. In this is suddenly. Gone the way of Maus. And Brokey's trying to fight back. And oh, he's delivered in spades. Just Chris J left. And Chris oh J, God. oh, goodness. Tag down low. Brokey finishes the job. Four kills for the young boy on phase. Fully blind is Olaf. That one's easy. But it's the double up on Banana that could serve as an issue. Twist's not ready for cold. Ah! <laughs> Tiffany taps his way. Woo! Immediately doesn't mean it doesn't go all at once when it does eventually arrive. Cirque been jiggling this and oh, oh there's the collateral. Nice. Cirque get out of his middle as now it's just Stewie and Naf left to try and pick up the pieces in a two on five. The bomb's rotating into ramp, but Cirque, he's not content with three. He wants the whole damn thing. Oh. And it's another. Cirque's coming alive. Just Naf left, misses the flick. It's from by uh, sorry, from Astralis have bought Vitality down to like 50 points of health on a player before they've even seen anyone. Device tries to get thrown up in that boost there. It does at least let Masuta get the trade, but Device another multi-kill round. At the very least, he's on to two. Can he manage any more? There's another. Device, where's this been? Oh, okay. number four. Go on, get Woo! it all. Take them all down. Astralis 9-6 at the end of the first half. Zipex, with ice in his veins, waits out Chris J. 
Five versus three off of the back of that, but good damage from <laughs> BMAS. Two kills through the smoke. That's massive. It's enough. Oh, my God. Oh, it's enough, all right. They've had enough. As they try to get into this A site, we see Astral has taken down a peg. Surprise, surprise. It's BMAS from the corner. Flash through smoke. He's on for the ace, and he's going to get it. He's also the Krieg towards the B side of the map. He's one of the best users with the weapon. You can see why. Cooper does find a gap, though, and a chance to plant. Oh, it's a huge gap. Freaksoid's got the bomb behind him. Brothers in arms now to save the day for Swole Patrol. Skull is so fast. Zerg's pushing in. He wants some close quarters. Jules, he's shoving his barrel in their belly button. He wants the lint, and he's got it as well. Freakazoid Whoa! and food. He ends it with a bang. Quad kill from Cirque. Congregate outside his B bomb site. It's going to come down to the man himself, Dinko. It's going to be Alu. He's going to find the leg on the flame map, but he's completely blinded. And Dodo, though, with a two-man spray down, is going to come down all onto him to hold onto oh. the side. And it's doing a fantastic job. Finds three. Complexity be handed a terrible round here by Dodo. And now Sonny in the pit trying to do something. Dodo with a 4K and he finds all five. Dodo showing up to the server. And Device buys time. Rops taking down Dupree. This pushes Device back behind them. And he fires off immediately. Gets his hands back onto the rifle. Gets Whoa. himself the second kill. And all three. One V three. Talk about clutches. There couldn't be a better time. Device crosses 20 with that one. Wow, Electronics got a lot to do if he wants to save this round from Na'Vi. They haven't checked it though, and that's gonna be the responsibility of Tricky. Now, Electronic arrives in the feed, a double kill delivered, and Clax and C's wondering where it all went wrong. Four for the retake now, as Electronic lives to tell the tale of the nade that didn't hit. The C's on the site. Caught out by Electronic as he finds his third. He hasn't had to move too far, and it looks like Na'Vi have successfully retaken oh. this and over the edge of his own Lift. smoke. But Dupree is wrapping them. He's trying to change the aim of the game. He's left that bomb, and that's what they're both expecting him to hold on to. Dupree <laughs> playing the trigger discipline, and he might get rewarded. There it is, Dupree with the clutch. 1v2. They were able to capitalize on a similar start previously, and maybe Device is going to shut them down again. A hit and run. Crim's able to take down Glaive, and it's onto Device by the truck. He's being pressured from so many sides. Still able to find the frag onto Dead. JW is the bomb looking to get down, but Golden wants another frag. Will find it onto Zipex, and it's all onto Device. First no scope, and the second Device. The clutch, the 2v1 on that A bomb site. To the situation, Tizzy, and he walks into the lobby, and there is still a T return retreating back from that position. They are going to try to challenge Searson on the cross, and you can't afford to make this mistake. Dude. He hit that next one, too. This is just ridiculous. I mean, you've got to flash the guy. His scout shoots magnetized bullets or something. Because it's it's uncanny what Dude. he does to these players. <laughs> it's like Smuya and NA. Nobody's flashing me. How am I supposed yeah. to miss? CT side down 13-4, and he could very well drop these next two frags on top of it. Oh, oh. are you unreal control of short it's theirs Naf trying to deal with boomage and simple has connected onto stewie i'm not sure if that was the boost we saw earlier but it did look doesn't make any sound cues here and simple oh. on the other side of the smoke they're gonna try and split towards b one shot connecting no oh! you can't do that ridiculous he's showboating yeah. not that we can really quantify so we were discussing whether it should just drop at the feet like the ak I think it makes more sense. I don't Sorry. see any reason not to. Uh, Sai Wu just lining up three. <laughs> just a standard day in the office for did Mr. Sai Wu. Did Poison not see him? I don't know how much time he had on that, if I'm honest. He used the one way. Wow, it's not even really that much. Oh, time. Rush trying to get away as well. The reaction time. Sai Wu on for the ace. Smokes down to isolate the pit. They know this is going to be a wrap on the other side. And Electronic suggested accordingly. He's not in the pit. He's not willing to go quietly. And what a tense position to be in with two players on the other side of the smoke. He's gone behind oh, them. And he didn't make contact. They have no idea. What an absolutely brilliant play from Electronic. He refused to be rendered useless by way of single smoke. And he gets three kills to close out the round. They will go off this. But is it a bit of a ruse? They're going to fall back and actually go towards middle. And it might be the correct call. We'll see. The Desert Eagle ready and waiting. It's a lead with two. He's got a Krieg as well, Henry. That could be problematic. And Simple did get oh. sprayed down a liege. Deeg do, through the door. And it finds his third. It's all been a liege in this one. And this force bite from Liquid, it looked like it was going to fall flat, but a liege has got other plans. Looks for the quad. Finished by twists. Yeah, like they're, they're taking the same angle. The, the most confident. Oh, oh my for Sonic God. Push
across this ramp. That's a good start for Ethan. OC, however, did catch Tarek. OC wants to go close. Quarters of the pre-fire from Ethan. Well, oh man, he's got all three. Just floppy now. One versus two. They've turned this one completely on its head. He's looking for an angle on the defuse. Stan can jiggle and Ethan's just oh, aced them. And no, nothing's been communicated. And still, he's dead. Well, there you go. Welcome to B, boys. As has rolled out the red carpet. Elise trying to lock it oh, down with wow. this spray. And down he goes as he knocks down three, rather. It is now just this... Uh, Oh, well, Ooh. another for Elise onto the orb. Not normally an orb, but here he is, one away from the ace with it. But he can get this bomb planted at the very, very least, and that's going to give us at some point. Oh, oh, never mind. He planted yeah, open. He's dead. There yeah. you go. Elise with Get the ace. Chance. All five in the round. And so it's all on Grim. Last round of OT in this first half of it. So he's definitely looking to give this a go. And with two of these players so low, this is actually like a pretty dangerous round still for Fury. Now, they should be able to trade this cleanly. A lot of this is going to come off of this first fight between Grim and Yuri. And he does force oh, him out yeah. into the open. Now that he's won that, it's a 1v2 versus 20 HP split between two players. And while they are trying to play a crossfire, while they are trying to trade off of one another, Grim is taking the fights to them. Just one bullet needs to land, and he Ooh. does find it. The defuse, oh. it's going to be close. It's going to be very very, very oh, no, close, man. but I think he's got it. Oh, That's yeah. it. 17 on the board for Liquid. <laughs> We're in A main. It can be Ivy. That's about it. And instead, it's going to be pressure towards the beast. There's still two players here. Chris Jay's had a bit of a tough time early on, but he still managed to get the initial kill. They checked this time for Robs, but that doesn't necessarily mean too much. He's going to get himself a kill anyway. Chris Jay's still spotting, but Carrigan has actually gone down over in A main. So there's decent potential here. And Chris Jay is looking like he wants to fight this all on his own. Bear in mind, he's only on 13 Flash HP. The Flash Flashbang comes through. They should know that there's someone close, but he's looking for both. He wants both kills, and Chris Jay's going to find it as well. Leaves it all onto Roy, who's only on 10 HP. He got legged very early on. Chris is going to wipe them all down. 13 HP, four kills. Easy. Oh, this is a big play through Monster, but it's slowed down. Great counter flashes from the defense. Perfecto's got the first kill. Nico hits the ground, and Flamey's going to build upon it. The defense is working out phenomenally. Oh, Flamey! Four quick kills right at the end. And starting off Navi nicely. I, when they peek into that monster tunnel, everybody's blind on both sides. Yeah. I don't think anyone saw anything. It was like, oh, what's happening? Kiyabi trying to save what was supposed to be a guarantee. Spots one jungle. No shocks was around the ramp room. Not easy shots to hit here. That's a clean one. Wow, Misuta loses his head. And now another oh. Kirby in the server tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually the B players who are going to be the big crims. Is Dink, but Liaz still not able to find that kill. He's not going to get it still. Golden's found one. What a transfer. Liaz has done just as much as he possibly could. I have no idea how Flusher didn't get that kill. Crims, he's on the site, and he's going to go try and go for the bomb plant here, but they do have a Molotov, and with the Krieg out, they sneak through. The uh, Molotov actually doesn't do anything. 28 seconds, and this should not be a winnable round for him. He's so low already. JKS on the other side. One bullet will do. Oh! No way! And I see the 16 Crims! A godlike clutch! Oh, through the ramp, smoke bomb in first again. Oh, no. oh, Leaf with a lot of damage. He's waiting for more, and they just keep on feeding him. Not looking for style points, though, is Leaf, right? He just wants to win the round, so he falls back, gives oh, them the fight. My. Leaf tapping them out, and Cirk, the last man, wow. the last man to fall, to give over all five to Leaf. All bar Liaz. Brat opens the round up. JKS there with the follow-up, and even though Maluki... And Pesadello have found some ground here. They haven't dealt with everyone. And Jacob swinging out the short side, leaves it all on Maluki. 1v3, up about to peak from CT the moment they make any kind of contact. There's the first. And, oh, a follow up. Maluki with the tag. What a turnaround. He's bought Azza down to just 15, taps the bomb, wow. takes the peak, that and that nice. is absolutely unreal. Clawing their way back into this retake. Keserato is in a bit of a pinch here. Players coming around on either side. He's trying to isolate these fights, and Vinny tries to come in and save the day. Oh, oh Keserato now just one Ooh. man left and he's gonna do it makes it look easy as well 
certainly making his impact felt. Nearly 100 ADR and 15 kills to his name as Fnatic look to try and push into Rambasuta oh. with three, four, one taps in a row. He's on for the ace. And he'd love to see him pick it off, and he has a miraculous pistol hold by Masuta. Yeah, this could be bad for MIPR. Art is in a very forward position. He flashes up, though. Mayan peeks off the back of it, and he does take him down inside of A as they wait for the execute. Yeah, Maya here on top of the uh, the lip of the boxes, peeks on up, and actually Ooh. isn't just content with the first man. Maya locks nice. down the A bomb well, site. He's going to get the ace there. But you can see Nitro in a completely different angle. It's a one and done gimmicky spot, and he is the last line of defense on B, and he has been demolished. Nexa, three kills with the AK, opens the round up entirely for G2. It's now theirs to lose. And what can Elise feasibly do? His position is known. He's done a bit of damage, but it's nowhere near enough to get back into the round. And look. What did you just say? Or out of the server for that matter. But he's got the kill trace, so put some respect on his name. Davy doing some damage. That's all he's good for right now. But running out the monster with the flashes from Poland, they're perfect. There we go. Obviously, PRT with a follow up. And he's got to hold the site strong three so far. Oh, there's a fourth PRT Adam. looking for the ace, and he's Look got it. Him. Nails him in the face. Team one steal the pistol round away. As a result, but. May as well have 3 HP left off a of HE, finished off by Olofmeister, Rigon, wiggling his way around the side, getting one, retaining most of his HP, second hot shot comes through, he's got it for oh. another one! These clutch plays on contact are sublime! He's given up that kill, and now Hunter gets called back into the B site, his duty here is not over yet, they start to pour in through the apartments, oh. but the lineup for Nexa, he secures a double, and with those kills, the bomb goes his way as well, Searson, Gonna follow up with a pick on a Kenny, but next to the immovable oh. object here is short, and he's also an unstoppable force. G2, they take a six, and it's an ace from Nexa to get them there. They know exactly where this is gonna be coming. I don't know how there wasn't somebody getting hit by that AWP, but even still, eventually it will happen. Unfortunately, Perfecto is the one to fall, so still not gonna be padding those stats, but simple, he will oblige. Take oh. them away, that was so clean. To just a single man advantage, Zaiwu making noise, so they know that he's still flirting and floating around this bomb site, but simple bests him. Here comes Shocks, a second headshot, and a third one through the smoke. Nope, not yet. Still, the clutch could be. Flamey's down. Another round for Vitality. Na'Vi are going to have to send Simple back out of the site so they can play retake. He's all alone, and he's already caught Issa on the cross. Doesn't seem to miss this kid. They will be towards the A-star. Going to try and swarm him now. The quick scope connects, and he knows he's going to get a couple more here. He oh connects my now. God. This guy is on another oh, playing field simple. right now. Stop this it. is insane. He's trying to go aggressive. See, they're not able to get all the information that they normally would, right? The T's actually could be waiting in that smoke. Oh. Oh. Perfect flashbang and a double, triple from RPK. All right. oh, okay, a quad. Okay, on for the ace. Give him the Go ace. For it. Let Go him on. have it. Let the old boy Let him have, have it. it boys. He's got it as well, potentially. Spots him. He's hey, done it. There it is. He is taking his time, his sweet time. Now they're going to contact it. No smoke, just a flash in. MBK is spraying. It's a bit of a miss, but he gets away oh with two bombs dropped. OG still with a chance. How does he steal the guns from underneath <laughs> their feet? MBK, the natural wow. born killer on four, and it's just Shoxy alone. They yeah, now know he's here, and while he does get Mantu, follows up onto Valdez. Still more players against him, and it's MBK oh. with an ace to secure the victory for OG. Double flash coming through as Cole jump off main to CT. They've got these deep smokes. Boomich has taken his position. He's the shadow, simple from spawn, finding config going above. Blame does respond in lower, but now he's trapped here by the lockers, and simple is hunting him down. He doesn't want to wait, and he will not. Two kills for simple. Boomich coming outside. Simple's got the cover, and this guy has come alive in the last couple of rounds. Only Rush and NATO. <laughs> that one simple's on for the Bye -bye. ace. How? How has he just done this, man? And Zantares <laughs> spots out RPK. Oh, oh, another for Zantares. Shocks left in the clutch. A monstrous 1v3 required. But how on earth has Shocks done that? There oh. it is for Shoxy. And he looks too good in the 1v3. My, oh, my. 16 on the board for Vitality. Like, you're right. It is. <laughs> Stop it, whining. It's <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good map for you. It's kind of weird. Nobody wants to be that guy. Nevera is like, what did I get myself into? Yeah, right? Yeah, Searson's reminding him. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. That was just an incidental Dude. hit, too. And he gets to. <laughs> oh.
with Whaler's Money teetering on a knife's edge. They're going to force the issue back, take some damage. The AK is the MAC-10 coming through. Two players to line up as Shakezilla comes up with the orc pick. DJ goes down as the first death of the Whaler's side. And they tried something really, really quick there for the Whalers. You saw as soon as that utility came into the top of Banana, they wanted to swing the HG Storm, though, from Triumph. And now for the New England Whalers. Do they just commit B here, Jay? They're in a three on five. Well, Shay gonna make it two at this stage. They were going to commit towards B. I mean, if they come towards oh, A side, then it would have oh. been a decent opportunity. But Shake Zula is going no opportunities to them. A long time back here. We'll pick up the M4. Now, as you said, he invested everything, so saving the M4 would actually be big news. Gonna throw a grenade. That's not going to catch anyone. Bit of damage, <laughs> but not enough for a kill. And, oh, there's one on poison. What a ridiculous way to open this up. Now he's going to flash his way in. If he gets this one, it's absolutely disgusting. He'll take down Oboe next, and he actually has a kit. And Blame If is so far away. If he went straight for the defuse, I don't think Blame If could get here in time. Now, Simple doesn't know it yet, but this is already outrageous. Three seconds on it. He's got his back turned. Blame He's If a it. second away, and, oh, he does it. Now they will win the round. A one versus three. For simple. He can get a lot done from this position if they don't count him here. But there are three players coming around the corner. Someone's going to hit the shot, and they do. Response from Shocks. Time is low. He's got a second. The models are burning, and Shocks is sending him a light. Four kills for Shocks. And Vitality, they're going to convert the post plant. Rather artistic as well. He's actually pushed through the smoke onto Graveyard. Upgrades wow. his MAC-10 for an AWP. And now the round's just spiraling. Nico's got to try and save the day. His rotate from B has already found him one kill. Oh my god, it wasn't even far off. He's got another. And he's got another one, imagine. Oh! oh, Jerry, good catch, good throw, Nico. On for the clutch, one more then, Flit. What have you got for us? Face crack saved the day, now it's Flit with the orb on his back. Extra power on their team and neither of them can ask him for advice now, 1v1. No grenades for Nico. Hoping that his big old brain will get him out of this one. Not towards the pit, I'm afraid. He's actually a quad. Flit has done very well to bring this down to the one versus oh! quad. What's he up to, though? The first mode, one towards the side. He's going to try their best to bust up towards quad. Nice opening pick, but Fetto, he can destroy them from here. He can win the round if he stops that plant. One, two, perfect spray for Perfecto! Ooh. And another salt in the wound. He's done it all. We'll instantly get traded, leaving Shocks alone on the bomb side. This is such a good. Uh, opportunity here for NIP, although Apex did get one. Shocks with the follow-up and a big double. Oh, he comes fighting out of the bomb site with a triple and he turns around for the quad. What a defense. And, but yeah, that falls apart. Yeah, the moment you fall off as the push comes in, that's always a bad beginning. But that's where Naf here tries to give them a good middle and end it. And there's three for Naf. Oh my goodness, looking for a little bit more. Doesn't know about the AWP ramp, but he's there to deliver on to Jacob. Gratisfaction all alone. Astralis might have just dug their own graves. They've gone into the stack site. Seconds. They had an empty B site. Ten seconds time might be the problem. Oh. Masuta with the hold of a lifetime. There it is. Into the crossfire. And Masuta half off the bench. He was waiting to get stuck into this game. He has no idea that Shox could be up here, though. So yeah, he's going to go dead. down. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Got his responsibilities at B and he has to change his mind now. Shox is there in support, confirms their crossing, missing his first. Two of down. Blames lost his life. That's the bomb. Poison's gonna lose it as well. Oh, oh and robotic stuff from Shoxy. Good start from NATO. Could have found a third as well. But it's a full ace. Shox locking down the round. Big could have made a case for it, but opting to go the safer route. And Kadian not very safe. He will be safe though. Oh, oh, go on. Oh, oh Tizian! Yeah. He has just demanded respect in the lobby position. Oh. Stown returns the face.